If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, yesterday, day off, right? I woke up, at, no alarms, woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Thought, oh, honestly, dozed for an hour, five o'clock, wide awake. So I got up and I did seven hours of cleaning. Seven hours of cleaning in my, in my pyjamas, in my pyjamas. Anyway, then I had a lovely shower and everything. I felt, and my house is sparkling. The only thing I didn't do was the windows. So in the afternoon when the sun came up, it, the windows looked disgusting. But... Anyway, I don't know why I told you that, but anyway, uh, hello, got a fabulous show lined up for you today. Shall we start with today's early bird? Now, Charlie is directing, uh, what do they call it? Flying solo. No, what do they call it when the, a pilot goes on their first? Maiden voyage. Maiden voyage. Oh, he's all on his own. Elliot's come in to check on him and he's gone, no, I've done that. I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, sorted that, Elliot. Any questions? No. So Elliot was like, oh, I'll just go then. So he went and sculpted into the other room. Anyway, today's early bird is a Sally Ann Liberty flower quilt pattern. At $9.99, these sell for. Now, we don't normally reduce these. Do not normally reduce these at all. Um, so, uh, let me tell you what it is, first of all. So you've got Sally Ann's Liberty. It doesn't have to be made of Liberty if you don't want it to be. She made it of Liberty, though. All those instructions, all how you do it. Now, if you watch the demo, I'll tell you the date of the demo in a minute. She shows you two different, well, three different ways of doing the curves. Um, beautiful. It's got a lovely Moroccan-y feel to it, hasn't it, this one? Absolutely stunning. 
And remember, if you buy a Sally Ann pattern from us or from her, on the back there's an email address. You have to email her and you can be part of her secret gang. So 9 99 it's today's early bird. Not 9 99 today. And now remember, the price goes back up at midnight. Oh. <gasps> Seven forty nine. That's a different price than you told me in prep. <laughs> Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Oh, they can be doing. I can be doing messages to Hannah like this. Word messages. You did. Italian Liberty Flower Quilt Instruction. I small. She's not meant to take that much off. She's not meant to take that much off. Anyway, seven forty nine. Yeah, it's around the price she's meant to be taking off. Uh, Julie Ford says good morning. Patricia says good morning. Glennie says good morning. Uh, Cousin Susan says good morning. Donna says good morning. Jan, the other one, says good morning. John, all a sunny day today. Is it sunny? Is it sunny here? Uh, Claire says good morning. Patricia says love you from Blackpool. Suzanne says morning. John and team have a fabulous day from Aberdeen. Has the snow gone? Uh, good morning, John and everyone. Happy birthday. Oh, is it Jan Hill's birthday today? Oh, if only I'd known that. Jan Hill, happy birthday to you today. Roxana says good morning. Laurie says morning, John and team. Sunny in Suffolk. Jenny says good morning. Lots of you there. £7.49. Make sure you check out your basket. So it goes back up at midnight. Now remember, once you've done, once you bought this, once you've checked out of this, that's your PP paid for for the whole day. So if you come back and buy the steam iron, if you come back and buy... Oh, we have got the most exquisite Liberty Bundle. Oh, I cannot tell you. It's beautiful. It's already going. It's already going on pre-order. We've got Kerry doing a disappearing nine patch. We've got Kerry doing a table runner. We've got Kerry doing an Easter egg. We've got Kerry doing a, a wreath. What, what? She's not disappearing. Apparently on the website it says, um, living in love, dis disappearing. It's not at all. Anyway, keep going through, keep going through. If, what I was trying to say is if you've bought any of those things, right... You, they, if you bought this, then all your PMP is paid for for the rest of the day. Rest of the day. £7.49. Keep going through for these. This, I mean, Crazy Lorraine says good morning. Pauline says good morning. Hillary says good morning. How is everybody? Is it sunny where you are? I'm presuming it's sunny here. We don't have any windows. We just have our sunny dispositions. We do. You're very quiet, Hannah. Oh, it's because she's nowhere near a microphone. That's why. <laughs> 18th of January, if you want to see Sally Ann demoing this. There's a picture of it made up. Yeah, yeah, we were saying Morocco. She said 1960s Mary Quant. Philippa says good morning from a windy Blackpool. Susan says yes, it's Jan's birthday and mine tomorrow. Oh, I'm not in tomorrow, Susan. Not here tomorrow. Hillary says hot and sunny in Barnoldswick. Jenny says morning all off today. Definitely won't be cleaning. Off to see Saturday Night Fever, the musical tonight. Oh, is that the one that um, Bill Kenwright's put on? Crazy Rain says very sunny in Peterborough. Morning, John and Posse, says Jill. Posse. Message. Message for John. That's just well, because my name's John. Morning, John. Love you, sir. Have a great day from Julia Chuck. Now, this shirt causes the most controversy because people either love it or they hate it. And they don't mind telling me they hate it. And I always feel fat in, fatter, fatter in this one. It looks like I'm, well, oh, like, it looks like a washing powder logo. That's nice, isn't it? It's the last time I wear it when I'm on with Hannah. Oh, and the other thing is, I'm on on Saturday now as well. I remember I was only on on Tuesdays and Thursday this week. I'm on on Saturday as well this week with Stuart. He'll get up to all sorts, I'm sure. Lovely and bright here, says uh, Claire. Beautiful. £7.49. Keep going through. Lots and lots of lovely instructions in there. Oh, brilliant for trying out curved piecing. You, you could just do the cushion. Be a little cushion, though. How big's the block? Oh, 12 inches, yeah. Well, you could do a long cushion, do a, a cushion and a stalk, couldn't you? Morning, John and crew. Nice to see you. Have you heard from Jan Hill? Not seen up. Yeah, yeah, she's been posting. She's been posting. Love the shirt, love to all. Yeah, she's fine. I saw you post on Facebook yesterday. Message on my bottom. Uh, morning, John. Wet and miserable. Oh, wet and miserable here in Keswick. Not Leicestershire. No, Keswick's in the, um, 
Lake District. Oh, I see, because you put it says Leicester Show at the bottom there. Looking forward to a cosy morning in with you and my sewing from Alison in not Leicestershire in Keswick. Oh no, seven pound forty nine. Right, well, are we ready for the menu? Here we go. Coming up today, we have got the Liberty Emily Bell Brights Fabric Launch. Now, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain to you. It's absolute. Actually, if you, uh, I'll show it. To you, I'll show it to you. The bundles already going. I'll show it to you when um, we go through the website in a minute. Right. So then, at nine o'clock, living in loveless, disappearing nine patch quilt. That's this one. That's that one. We've got that bundle. And, oh, then we'll do, hang on, Charlie's showing his close-ups. And, uh, did you take a picture of the other bundle as well? There we go. There's the other bundle. Now, that one's been put together for you by Ian. That one's, Ian special, that one. He's put all those fabrics together for you, Ian, in our buying team. Uh, back to the menu. Then we've got sewing room tools and machines. There's, I'm going to be doing a, a, a um, Oh, yes, yes. Now, Living in Loveliness, Disappearing Nine Patch. There's a new ruler. There's a, not a ruler, a rotating cutting mat and ruler in that hour that Kerry's going to be showing you. Lots of people have been waiting for rotating cutting mats. Uh, now, Charlie, I don't know if, there's, if you've got something loud on in there, but I'm echoing quite badly, just so you know. Might be a volume that's on a bit high in there. Uh, then at 11 o'clock, we've got Living in Loveliness, Easter decorations. So what have we got in that hour, you ask? you? Well, we've got... The wreath. I love this. In fact, Kerry's given me that one. I love it. We think it's good enough to eat, but don't eat it. Then we've got... Look at the little east. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, we've got a lot of those because we know they're going to be popular. They're already on pre-order. And we've got a table and a look. Oh, Charlie, it's a bit wobbly at the top. That's one mark knocked off Charlie's um, score of the day, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Really, really fresh, that... Do you know what you could make in each block? You could make like um, little uh, placemats or mug rugs and things like that, couldn't you, if you didn't want to hold, because I'm not keen on a table runner myself. Anyway, back to the menu. Uh, discounted bundles at 12. Hannah's put together some... Oh, no. Haley's put together some discounted bundles for you today. So we've got the whole team working today. We've got Ian's bundle, Haley's bundles, and Hannah's A bundle. You do everything, Hannah. You are this show. You are. This show would not happen without Hannah. <laughs> That's the only compliment she's getting for the day. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is on Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been shouting out. And I'll shout out a couple more so we keep up. Um, Susan says, you always look fabulous, John. Susan, I'll pay you later. Jeanette says, morning. Sus Cousin Susan says, I like your shirt. It's unusual. I, I'm always wary of people going, it's unusual, because it's unusual good or unusual bad. And the third way is you can send us a message on the website. So what you do is you go to www.sewingstreet.com. You click on watch the live show. Boom, there it is. So then there's a box on the right-hand side there that says send message to Juju. You can write in there your message, and that's what comes up in the white box across my bottom. Uh, Morning, John. Has the prize draw been done yet? Maria, yes, it was done. It was a lady called up. Maria, sorry. Maria, do you mean that on Stuart's birthday, it was a lady called Angel, uh, Amanda. A lady called Amanda. And we, we announced it on the Monday. We announced it on the Monday. Oh, yes. Now, Valerie. No, not Valerie. It wasn't Valerie. It was Vivian, you said. Vivian, we've had an email from you with four answers to a competition. Now, we don't know what the competition is. We don't know what it is, so we're not quite sure. Have you watched last year's Christmas or Easter or something like that? We're not quite sure what it is, but you've sent four answers, but none of us know about a competition. Hmm? Oh, for an Easter egg hunt. Are you watching last year's, my love, or, or Jewelry Maker, maybe? Or, no, we haven't got it. Anyway. Oh, it could have been Jewelry Maker. It said pod, didn't it? So maybe it was Jewelry Maker. Anyway, um, what we said. Back to the website, because look, 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 look. Scroll down the page. In a minute, you will see two columns. The left-hand column will be early bird. Uh, no, the left-hand column will be show tunes. Oh, what is the matter? <laughs> what is the matter? 
What is the matter with me this morning? The left-hand column will be show deals. That's things that we have shown. It's funny, I watched I watched Rebecca E do this yesterday thinking, oh, I'm sure I do it a bit better than that. And I've done it rubbish today. Anyway, and then the right-hand column will be pre-order. Now, these are everything. This is everything coming up for the next five hours. Now, now first of all, why are they not £8.50? Why are they only 7.49 still five meters? These are the new fabrics we've got. Now, you will notice they're all the same design, but look at all the colors. Look at the colors, right? What you gotta buy, what you gotta buy. Well, no, you don't have to buy. If you wanna buy three meters of the pink one there, buy three meters of the pink one, you know what I mean? But, 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 you like what saffron? Right, where, look, 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 how gorgeous. I'm gonna be doing that in a minute. That bundle of fabric there, you get half a meter of each one, you get 15 of them, and you only pay for 14. You only pay for 14. I can't tell, if you're doing a Bargello or something like that, it is just exquisite. We love that bundle. It's coming up in a minute anyway, and you get half a meter for free. Hannah's done, now Hannah's done this bundle, which actually, when it's in the picture there, looks rubbish. No, it doesn't work. In real life, it works beautifully. Then we've got some Alice Caroline uh, patterns and bundles for you there. Then, randomly, we've got some stripy chambres in there. And then now, and also randomly, we've got the, from the Midnight Garden, Emily Silhouette. So it's the same print again, but different, because all the ones we've got have got white flowers. That one's blue on blue. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Then, oh, now, 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 now. You won't pay 55 99 for those, because obviously we've reduced the pattern as the early bird, so Hannah's going to crash those by about £2.50. Then we carry on going down. There's Sally Ann patterns and everything in there, which she used with Liberty. Right, then we're into Kerry's Hour. There's the pattern on its own, disappearing nine patch. Right, the bundles are... There's the one that Ian's put together. Oh, hang on. Which one are you clicking on first? Sorry. There's the one that Ian's put together. Oh, that's got a spelling mistake on it. That'll be Kerry's, not mine, though. Look. Oh. Uh, and then we got the other one there, which is beautiful. That's the one that's hanging on the wall behind me. There's a spelling mistake on the pattern. I'll tell Kerry in a minute. Anyway, scroll down. Oh, no, I've missed out. The most important thing, look. Rotating, cutting mat and ruler. It's a bundle, brand new today. Uh, yep, yeah, okay then, uh, brand new today. Brand spanking new today. Okay, then we've got, then we've got fabric. Well, we've jumped to Kerry's next hour now. So there's the, fa oh, I love this, that fabric. With it's a bundle. It's a bundle. You can make exactly that, that exact fabric wreath. Oh, actually, I've got it here. I've got it here. I'll show it to you in a second. Right. Uh, and then keep going down, keep going down. Then you've got the Easter egg there. Now, look, that's a bundle. You get everything. All the fabric is cut, ready for you. You get roses. Uh, now, are the roses in it? Because you can also get the roses. I'll have to have a look in the little box. Then you've got the string tulip table runner. Oh, yeah, there you go. The roses are extra. Then we've got the table runner. Now, Ian, Ian again, has chosen the colours for you for the table runner. Lovely. Now, there are some on a Liberty background and some on a metallic. Oh, that one's, is it Moda, is it that one? Oh, you can't see the fabrics on that one, I'm afraid. What's that aerial wingspan pre-cut fabric? Oh, yeah, then that we're in the discount bundle hours. Yeah, there we go. They're, they're ones, now, are we going to be crashing or are they the prices? We're going to be crashing on all of those. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm missing an hour somewhere. Oh, here you go. Now, now, uh, last chance, uh, Valentine. But something tells me, I'm not trying to be negative, but what date is it today? Eight today. So Valentine's Day has been and gone next week, hasn't it? Love is all year round. And Susan, oh, we forgot to find that quilt. There we go. Uh, then we've got, look, love is in the air. Love is in the air. Every sight and every sound. Oh, this is Hannah's Valentine's Day. Egret in Jacaranda. See, she's got one of those in her back garden. <laughs> when, when a heron landed in Hannah's mum's garden, Hannah's mum thought it was a pterodactyl. Then look, now look, the seagull quilt panel, it's... It, 
I know. Now the thing is, right? We you lo we know you love that. It's normally it's from the little miniature book that um, Emma Bradford made that gorgeous quilt from. But we just sell the panel on its own because you love it because you get all those samples of sea and everything. Then we've got uh, this is all the machine now. They go right. Stop. 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 We've still got the pre-order special order on. In fact, if somebody from the management comes in today, I'll try and find out if we've got a date for the delivery day of that because it's it's. They said mid February. Well, we're nearly we're quarter of the way through February already, aren't we? Eight and eight. Oh, more than quarter of the way through. Uh, anyway, if you buy that today, you will get a fifty pound voucher. Uh, not a voucher, but you know, credit put onto your credit. Uh, credit put onto your account. Blimey, what's the wrong? I've gotten all the words wrong today, aren't I? Show tunes, right, okay, carry on. Uh, other machines there, gorgeously, there's the Juki, there's the Elna 720, and then we've got other, there are the tools. There's the iron. Oh, I didn't know we had the, um, the ruler, I thought we just had the round one. Where is it then? No. Oh, well, like, listen, in the break, I'll get it out and I'll do a demo on that one as well during that hour. Well, yeah, because that's not, I didn't see it on my piece of paper. It was not on my piece of paper. Oh, uh, okay, okay. We're blaming Elliot. Yeah, we're blaming Elliot. And that's it, that's it, that's it. But look, 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 look. How gorgeous is this? I love this. This is going on my front door for Easter. It's going on my front door for Easter. No, it's lovely, isn't it? Let me just put that there. Poor old Charlie. He's being corrupted by Hannah with her wicked ways. Right, okay, so now, 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 that's everything, isn't it? Please get in touch. It's lovely when we hear from you and everything like that. Now, we love, lo I mean, properly love this bundle. It's not just, it's not, look. Now, they're all the same print. They are all the same print, and you have seen the print before. Even though it's a launch today, you will have seen this print before. But how exquisite is that? If you like, well, I'll tell you, you'd like this, Stuart, because his favourite colour is rainbow, isn't it? 10486, but you can get it in two split payments of 5243. They're already going on pre-order. Isn't it just simply gorgeous? Yeah, when I had it up this morning, because obviously on, on our sheets that we prep with, it doesn't have a price. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. I thought it was going to be nearer the £200 mark, right? But no, look. Well, no, 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 because I was working out at £8.50 a half a metre. Because if you go to Liberty Shop, how much do you pay for this fabric if you go to the Liberty Shop? It's quilting weight. It's not Tana Lawn. It's your quilting weight. 10486, but you're getting one for free. So actually, let's work it out now. So if you're getting 15 of them for 10486, how much does that work out each? <laughs> Please hold the line, caller. Right, so now when you buy this, you're paying 699 for half a meter. Try getting Liberty Fabric in the Liberty shop for 699 and a half a meter. Aren't the colours just extraordinarily beautiful and pure and lovely? Reva says, I was going to be so good, but I've wanted a bundle like this for so long. Do you know what? I bet I wonder if um, um, Kate, Kate, collector Kate, I wonder if she's seen it because she will adore this, won't she? Now, uh, morning, John team. Love Liberty. Trying to make my mind up which colour for a dress. Mandy and Maisie. Yeah, so now, each of them are available by the half metre. I will go through them all in a minute. I will go through them all. But I just want you to see that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open lots of them up. Don't you worry. Um, well, hang on. Let, have you got a favourite? So, Hannah, have you got a favourite? That one. This is Hannah's favourite, right? This is Saffron. Emily Bell Saffron, this one's called. No, you can only have one. So that's this and that lovely. So that's your saffron, which is your favourite, Charlie. That one or that one? That one. This is Charlie's favourite. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. You know which one I'm going for. Well, I don't know if it's that one or that one. 
the yellow is beautiful, isn't it? So now, Mandy was choosing for a colour for a dress, wasn't she? Well, it's, I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that one. I will tell you all the proper names later. That's gorgeous as well. Look at that. That's kind of got a Wedgwoody, lilac-y blue to it as well. But then look how subtle that is. It's a very, very soft aqua, that one. Yeah, yeah, as I said, split pay, two split pay, if you want to take split pay. Now, if you want to take split pay, order it today, at midnight tonight, £52.43 will be taken with your account. And um, it'll be sent to you straight away. It, we don't wait for both payments. The first, it will be, take, be sent to you as soon as the first payment has been taken. That's brilliant. And you only pay three ninety five post packaging. So if you've already bought the early bird, hey, if you've already bought the early bird, you pay a piece paid for. Oh, I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Aren't those colours just beautiful? Absolutely stunning. You see, that's an unusual colour as well. Be interesting to see what colour they've called that. Because I know this, they've got, there's one called lime in here, but I'm wondering if that's the lime one. They haven't put the colours on. Will you better look, Hannah? 84, PD wife. Oh, we'll look, we'll look in a minute when we do them by the half metre. That's right. You do what? That's right, no, 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 that's right. 10486, beautiful, aren't they? Claire says they're so pretty. Jackie says, what beautiful colours. Morning, John and team. Becky Alexander Frost, she's in on Friday. All the right words, not necessarily in the right order. Exactly, Claire. Morning, everyone, sitting by the canal. Oh, Christine, she's watching us on the canal. It is unusually good. Oh, unusual good, my shirt. And then uh, Judith says, good morning. I know, beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Make sure you check out your basket, though. Oh, how beautiful are those? Loads of you there. Loads of you there. Oh, no, no, I'll wait with you. Don't you worry. If there's any colour you want to see me, well, look at that. That's like a petroly blue, that one. Oh, oh, no. You see, all of these would make nice shirts, wouldn't they? I don't need all of them. Hannah, I do not. Oh, look at that that these colors are just even on your telly when you don't you know oh look that's i can hear elliot shouting next door yeah, he's got loud didn't he? these are stunning aren't they liberty emily bell they're called bright's mega bundle well they're just stunning aren't they they're all emily bell they're all exactly the same pattern but just different colors all and what i love is all of the flowers on all of them are white Come on in then. Here he comes. Plodding in. Gorgeous, gorgeous. He was here before me this morning. And they've given him keys. You don't normally get keys till you've been here a year, do you, Hannah? Unless you're like Hannah and you lose them in flower pots and things. Oh, hang on. Now, Becky Alexander Frost likes the pedal blue one. Pedal blue. Never heard that before. And says, hi, John and team. Have a great day. Nicholas says, morning, John and team. Loving your shirt. Lovely pictures of Lutheran ghost. Oh, thank you. They really begin to settle in now. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Right, a, th a third of the stock of the med mega bundle have gone. Right, be careful, be careful, be careful. So I'm just going to go through. You get all of these in the mega bundle. Look, all these exquisite colours. I'm going to fold them up because I'm going to start doing them individually in a second. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's fine. It's going to take me a while. Keep, oh, sorry, keep looking at the colours here. So I've already folded up those two. Just so you know, because I'm going to do them in a minute. When I folded them up, I'm going to do all of them by the half metre. You're not going to be able to pick, which is why it's best, in my opinion, to buy the Mega Bundle, because you get all of these exquisite, exquisite colours. I know they've gone out of order now, but it doesn't matter. Look, look, look. I, I'm thinking that one must be the lime one, even though it's more of a chatrice. Chatrice. Right, now. Now, 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 now. Let me finish folding this and I'll make my announcement, right? Hang on. This is the announcement music. Yeah, you're on hold for an hour. Here we go. Right, look. See this bundle? See this bundle? Let me get it all in shot there. Let me move that, move that. See this bundle? When you all check out, I only have how many left? 
Nine left. How many people got it in their baskets? Oh, eight people got it in their baskets. That is le situation. Now, 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 you can recreate this whole bundle if you want to. If, it's sold, if the bundle sells out, you can create, because I've got all these, but you won't get your half meter for free. If you recreate this, it will be an extra 749. So it'll be 112 pounds or something like that one time. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just gorgeous. I'll just wait a couple more minutes with you while you check out, because I don't want anyone to miss out at all. I'll have a slurp of my water while, while you're doing it. Okay, while you're checking out, let's have a look at this lovely slide. The Emily Bell collect oh, they've called it neutrals. That's cut weird. We've called it bright, haven't we? Emily Bell is a celebration of botanicals, including daisies, marguerites, peonies, and cornflowers, drawn in outline and arranged over a plain coloured ground. The soft, fine lines and delicate, delicate tonal qualities are designed to coordinate smoothly with a variety of Liberty prints from our vast archive for a seamless mix and match effect. Traditionally screen printed onto soft Lazenby cotton, really good quality cotton. This base is suited for craft projects and classic patchwork quilting. Where's the shirt? Shirts? Shirts as well. The possibilities are as endless as your imagination. Now, can I just go back to the first line, right? Say on that, daisies, right? Daisies. That's right, come back to me. Daisies. Did you know that the word daisy, I'll just tell you this, the word daisy comes from days eyes because a daisy is closed at night time and when the sun comes out the petals go back to reveal the yellow sun eye in the middle and then when it gets dark again so the eye in the middle is for the daytime only hence daisy day's eyes now there you go so how many have I got left now Five. Now, five left. Once you've all checked out, got five left, but more than five in baskets. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Look at the colours. Look, imagine a barcella. <gasps> imagine a log cabin. Oh, my wood. Right, okay, so if we did log cabin. No, 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 no. Okay, well, you'll have to help me here. So that's dark. That one's dark. Yeah, with this one, I was thinking that, yeah, but then that means that one would have to be as well. Hang on, let's do pails then over here. So they're pails, pails, pails. I want a pale lemon. Is that, is that Haley's cackling? You see, now is that a dark or a light? Right, hang on. How many are there? 15, right? So hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, you see, that should go there, which means one of these has to come out of here. Oh, well, yes, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, right, there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that one of those has to come out because you only want seven and seven. Then. But that could be, oh no, do you know what? No, 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 no. So you take that one out. That one's the centre of all of your squares. And then they're all, oh, it's, they're beautiful, aren't they? I love these. Love, 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 love these. The bundle is going to sell out. The bundle is going to sell out. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. I want, is there one for me? Is there for one for me? No, okay, never mind, doesn't matter. Oh, Elliot's back in. What do you want, Elliot, love? I could hear you shouting in there. What were you shouting about? He can't remember now. He's in a good mood today, don't know why. Oh, yeah, before we do them by the individual, we'll do the bundle that Hannah's put together for you. That's right, that's okay. Right, look. Beautiful, tell the, you'll need to tell the others that as well then, because one of them will. 
Beautiful. 29.99. Now. Now, look. So you get half a metre of Misty Blue. Is it not Misty Blue? Candy. Oh, Misty Blue wasn't in stock. That must be a new one then. Is that Duck Egg then? Oh, it's Duck Egg, that one. Yeah, Misty Blue Freeze would be nice. Anyway, that one there is Peacock. Coral. Light Lilac. Pink. Then, now they're all solids, right? Then we've got two of your, are they Melange or Blender? Melange. <laughs> they're both called Mustard. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. Uh, yeah, look, 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 look. There you go. I will tidy it up in a minute. Oh, my word, so many people. Uh, petrol, petrol, says Becky Alexander Frost, not pedal. Morning, John, just saying camera work is brilliant today. Well, Julie, that's Charlie for you's new. He says, thank you very much, but he don't expect it every day. He's on best behaviour today. Um, it's because he's got his, his, he's going out dancing after he's got his dancing trousers on today. Um, there is, aren't they, aren't they your dancing trousers, Charlie? They can be. Love the language lesson. English is fascinating. Not Dave's eyes, Daisy's, honestly. Not only, Becky Allen's on Frost, you need to watch what you're pressing. You need to clean your ears out as well. She'll be in on Friday, everyone. Beautiful, aren't they? That's just this bundle here, obviously, for your 29 You don't get all of that. There you go. They're lovely, aren't they? Well done, Hannah. Yeah. You see, the thing is, when Hannah makes up these bundles, we don't have fabric samples in the studio. She has to make it up from pictures on the web, and she was really terrified it wasn't going to work. And I came in this morning, I was like, where's this awful bundle then? She went, oh, here it is. And I said, it's lovely. Even if you don't get any of the liberties. It, oh, do you know what? Though? Even if you just get, like, one of the liberty. Look, just get one of the liberty, and they all go so beautifully with it. Look. Where's the pink? Do a pink one. Look. Look, how beautiful does that look? Anyway, twenty nine ninety nine. you get half a metre all. Now, they're already cut, so if you buy two, you'll pay £60, but you'll get two of those, 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 and two of those. Oh, Mandy, what colour did she go with? Uh, I think I'm going to have to pick two. What's your favourite, John? Only colour I can't wear is blue. Doesn't suit me for Mandy. Oh, but Mandy, I don't know what you look like. But we'll go through it. Right, I like... Well, it depends, Mandy. What, what kind of dress... I love that one. But then if you don't like blue... Oh, hang on. There's another update now. John, could you put the pinks together so I can pick the one I want? Order the yellow, but I want a pink too. Of course, Mandy. So there's one pink. I'll have to tell you what the numbers of the pinks are. No graphics in. Let me put the pinks in. I've got three pinks, haven't I? So now, are you going to put the yellow one with it, Mandy? Right, there are all the pinks. Right, I'll have to tell you the numbers, right? So this, actually, should we just do them? Yeah, so this is the first pink here, Mandy. So this one is, let me move that out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. This one is AKYV75. Watermelon, this one's called. Now, this is where, when you bought the bundle, you got half a metre of each. Now, you're buying it off the bolt, right? Which means you can have as much as you want. How, how strange, not how strange. This is the most popular colour on pre-order on its own. So, this is called Watermelon. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, she's going to make two dresses. You're not going to put them together. Okay, so that's watermelon. That one colours watermelon. Oh, do you want to see the three together again? Just on the safe side. You're, this is watermelon, right? These are the other two that I'm going to show in a second. Very, very pastel. And then that mid bubblegummy pink. But this is watermelon, which is the most popular on pre-order. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, morning, John. I've never used an airlock, but you have... Hang on. 
I've never used an airlock. Do you mean overlocker? Yeah. But you have me the confidence to buy an Elner Air. Oh, I see. I see. I get it. I never bought an overlocker. Gave me the confidence to buy the Elner Air. Wow. So easy to use. Amazing. Thank you. Roslyn, that's why I got so excited about it. I mean, the, the other Elner ones are brilliant. But if you want, don't want to be frightened by any of the threading, the air threader. Now, I haven't got any Elner Air threaders left. I've only got... <clears throat> A Juki air threader now, £1,245.95, I think it is, something like that. But, but yeah, aren't they? I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. We had a brilliant day that day, didn't we? But anyway, right, so that was watermelon. Oh, pale with blonde hair. Oh, any, well, maybe watermelon. Watermelon or this one, or this one, which is the middle one, which is, yep, Oh, vintage pink. Brilliant, brilliant description. Vintage pink, this one. No, you, I'm not saying well done to you. I'm saying well done to Liberty. Uh, Sue said, I need Elliot's fixability. My phone has lost all my contacts and I can't, can't recover them. Sue, I'll send him round. He doesn't seem to do much else today. June, I'm very late this morning. Hope I've not missed anything. You've missed the mega bundle, June. Oh, there's two left. There's two left not checked out. Right, and Gerardine says, I've never had or used an over. I think she means overlocker. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's calling overlockers different things, don't they? Vintage pink, beautiful. Yeah, half a metre, 44 inches wide. Wait, you can make more than little accessories. Look, you make a lot out of that. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Wouldn't this look gorgeous in, if you got a few half metres, not a few, like a different coloured half metres and mixed and matched them with that, they'd be beautiful. Beautiful. If there's any left, we might bring some back in that hour. Then I've got the really, really, really soft pink now, the very, very gentle pink, finishing 07. Oh, which one did you get, Mandy? Oh, she's got the watermelon and the yellow. Brilliant. Yeah, lots of people ordered watermelon. Right, oh, candy floss, this one's called. Candy floss. Does it? Doesn't in here. It's, no, it's not peach at all. It's like the softest, softest, softest baby pink, that one. Oh, it's look, not, right now, the picture on the web is completely wrong. The picture on the web is definitely wrong. The picture on the web is more bubblegummy. I see what you mean now. It looks like, it, it looks, it's on my telly. Uh, it's a bit sharper than the one on, on, the, on the website. It's more real to life what you're seeing on your screen. Yeah. Beautiful. Love your shirt, by the way. Not seen that one before. Oh, thank you. I've heard Serger for Overlocker. That, no, that's American. The Americans call it Sergers. Oh, here you go. Um, uh, Gerard, he said, I'm start again. I've never used or had an Overlocker before. I bought the Juki Air Overlocker a few years ago. So easy to use. I love it. There you go. Beautiful. So that one there is called your Candy Floss. What are you two giggling about? <laughs> right, let's do greens now then. Oh, no phones in the gallery, Charlie. I know, it's Hannah. Right now, uh, would you call these two the only greens then? Yeah, that, so this, this is, well, let's do this one first because I think this one is lime. It ends 84, yeah? Yeah. I love this. I love this colour. I'd mix that. You see, I'd mix those two. I'd put those two together. That's the saffron, isn't it? That one, yeah. Beautiful. Morning, John and team. So, Sue, good morning, Sue. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The whole day through. Good morning. Good morning to you, you and you and you. Who's going to go and see Bonnie Langford in the tour of um, Anything Goes? I am. £7.49 this is. This one is called Lime. 
I'd say it was, I wouldn't say it was as citrusy as lime. I'd say it was more of a chatus. Wouldn't you? Only because, let me get this, because I'd say this was lime over here. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. You see, I'd say that that was lime. Do you see what I mean? Just see that it's a slightly, um, this is slightly sharper than that, isn't it? Beautiful. £7.49. Now, please go to the uh, Liberty website and check out how much you'd pay for this if you went to Liberty. Thank you very much indeed. Gerardine said, that's the show she's doing at the Liverpool Empire. It's on tour. It's on tour. She's going to Bristol, Liverpool, or lots of places, and then into the bar, into the Barbican. I might wait till it's at the Barbican and go and see it there. Anyway, it's £7.49. I used to work there, you see. I used to work at the Barbican. Many moons ago. Right, and then the other green... What did you say this one was called? 08. Right, I don't agree with this, then. They've called this one Olive. I'd say... Oh, no, no, I love the colour, but you wouldn't eat an olive that colour, would you? Well, you wouldn't. Okay, that's really romantic, that is. So Hannah's going, it's a beautiful colour, it's a beautiful colour. You know when they grow mould in a Petri dish, John? Or when you leave a coffee cup on the side of the bath for three weeks? Yes. Oh, now that's not very romantic at all, is it, that one? Playing it in a Petri dish. It is an amazing natural colour created by Mother Nature. Oh, she's got a lot of fungi in her life, she says. Is it fungi, though? Is it fungus growing in there? No, we don't know now, so we won't say that, just in case it's not, because fungus is on mushrooms, aren't they? Helen says, any, no, you, you don't eat mould, Hannah. I used to live in mould. Do you know what? I used to live in a village called Mould in North Wales. Uh, it was where Theatre Cluid is. And the Welsh, so in English, it's mould, M-O-L-D, right? In Welsh, it's earwood grug. See, that long, and it's that long. Anyway. Message from Jill on my bottom. Is the olive more of a mint? I, spearmint, I'd say, rather than mint mint. I'd say it was spearminty. Yeah. Oh, olive leaf. Oh, look that. No, you see. We missed that leaf, didn't we? I've never seen one. Oh, no, no. Well, no, it's, it's correct then. <laughs> it is correct because the olive leaves on the trees are different colours. They are that bluey green, aren't they? Oh, mould is a fungi. I work with it on a daily basis, says Amanda. <laughs> oh, Hannah lives with it. I don't mean, I don't mean a boyfriend. Steph has mould. <laughs> right, so let's go to Hannah's favourite now, saffron. Which is 43, number 43. That's beautiful. Loads of people love this one. Very, very popular, this one. Craig, you look at the time. I've got loads still to do. Don't worry, though, I'll carry on. Mega Bundle has sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Mega Bundle sold out. Have I told you the Mega Bundle sold out? Oh, sorry, Henry, it's sold out. Sorry, Charlie, it's sold out, the Mega Bundle. Charlie, does your girlfriend do sewing or anything? <laughs> Hang on, this doesn't make any sense. She doesn't do sewing, but she used to live with her nan. Oh, she used to do sewing with her nan. I thought she used to live with her nan. Ah, oh. Right, so let's do the blues now then. So we've got blue, blue. Oh, we've got a lovely selection of blues here. Blue, blue. Oh, blue. And blue, oh my word. Right, look at these. These are the blues that you can get. Uh, don't they work beautiful? If, if you only bought those, imagine those with white. Just get some pure white. Hang on, look, 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 look. How beautiful is that? They would look like the waves at the front of Hannah's house when she sits on the bay window. And then this is the froth. Actually, if truth be known, 
The froth is more this colour where Hannah lives, but that's because uh, they've got a leak in the bank, that's all. Right, so which one am I going to first? Oh, thanks. <laughs> this one. Yeah. This. 83, yeah. This is the most popular in the blues, Peacock. Oh, right, okay, the picture on the web is slightly more acidic than it is in real life. 7.49, far from me, it's beautiful, isn't it? A man says, oh, you've done that one. No, Amanda, I was going to read that Amanda, but I've said it. Helen would like to make a dress out of all of these. Isn't that lovely? 7.49, now you're buying it off the bolt, remember this, so if you're going to make a frock or a skirt or a blouse then you can do. It's lovely, isn't it? So that one there is uh, Peacock. Ooh, that doesn't belong there. That goes there. Then I've got that. I love this blue. This one ends 82. Now I think it's called a, like a royal blue, this one, but I don't know what they'll have called it. Cobalt. Lovely. Cobalt. Carol says good morning. Carol, you're up early this morning. Good morning, and John, uh, no, she says, good morning, lovely fabric. Shelley says, morning, John and crew. Hi, John and team. Bought the Liberty Bundle and cannot wait for it to arrive. P.S. The snow has gone now from Aberdeen. Yes, didn't last long, did it? Suzanne. I'm I was driving in this morning because it was like 10 degrees this morning. I had my window open and everything, and I just thought, oh, please don't, because last year we had snow like in March, didn't we? And it's really difficult to me to get in when it snows. Uh, it's all right, fine. No, because it'll be, oh yeah, it's easier to get in from yours, I suppose. Mm. Can you imagine Steph's face if the two of us are getting up at half past four in the morning? Beautiful. 7.49 for half a metre. That, I love that colour. That's quite bold, isn't it, that one? That makes the flowers really pop. Because you know it's taken from an original um, wood block. And all that detailing in there is just exquisite, isn't it? Oh, Carol on my bottom. Morning, John. Gorgeous Liberty Bundle. Tempting plate of candy. Carol, it was, but it's sold out now. Sold out now. Yeah, no, no. The thing is, you could, you could make your own bundle now by buying half a metre of everything, but you won't get the half metre for free that you got earlier. Do you mind which one I go to next? Okay, we'll go to 25. It's FDYV25. Evening Sky, this one's called. Evening, oh, I can't wait for those lovely summer evenings when I've got my awning up and I've got my new garden furniture out. Eh? Yeah, yeah, do you remember I bought it last year? It arrived on the day I went on holiday in September. So it's in boxes in the garage still. Susie Duncan, loving Emily Bell collection, beautiful colours and detail in the flowers. Saffron and Peacock are her favourites. How funny they're the two best, two of the best sellers. Seven pounds and 49 pence. That's lovely. Evening sky blue. Stunning. Now, I'm going to a much brighter blue now. And this one is... Um, 81, this one. Marine, this one's called. Oh, Marine. Marina. No, that's Maria. I'm talking about Marina who goes under the water. What's she called? Stingray. Is it called Stingray? What? No, you're doing the modern day version of Ariel the Mermaid. What was she called? Was she called Marina, the one under the water? Like Thunderbirds, but underneath the water. Oh, I need somebody old to come and work here. Charlie's completely lost. How old are you, Charlie? Oh, what? How long? He's, he's only got a three months probation. I'll get rid of him before the end of that. 22? Are you even allowed to work at 22? 22? I'm just going to have a little weep in the corner now. <sighs> I 
I was still a student at 22. Hang on. Uh, oh, well, he's just very, he's a flatterer. He hasn't told me that. You don't know how old I am, Charlie. <laughs> he needs glasses, obviously. Right, now this one is LQYV97. Is it called Mermaid? Oh, now this is the real colour of a mermaid as well, isn't it? Uh, Stingray, and it was Marina, Aquamarina. Yeah, Marina with Troy Tempest, says Margaret. Turn TV on to see, uh, see that you're singing to me from Marina. She's not the one under the water, though. Wouldn't it be lovely sitting outside with the Mitchell brothers? Oh, yeah, can't wait. Oh, yeah, they said that now. I only have to sit on the sofa now. And they both come running. And then they kind of vie for who... They don't fight. They don't fight at all. Like Norman and Eddie be like, get out of my way. I'm sitting on his knee today. They don't fight. They both get on the sofa and they take it in turns to sit on my knee. They're real proper. They love each other. They're proper brother, love each other brothers. It's so nice. And when they go around the house, you see, I've got the hoover out. Shows out often I've cleaned since I've had them. I've got the hoover out. They were like, what the? And obviously Cherry's never cleaned her house <laughs> once and I was dusting everything and they they followed they they were standing like this together they move like this like kind of in sync with each other going what's he doing now what's that pledge what's what's that yellow duster and then they'd run away like that they'd run away really fast then they come back and they both peer around the door going have you finished yet yes you're affecting our life because that's the first time I've been at home all day with them as well and they were like could you go to work now we want to lie on the sofa and sleep well, one, I haven't got an ornament out anywhere now. Every one of them, I've got this big um, Indian cupboard called a manjus, right, that you get when you get married. It's the dowry that the bride gets and everything. And they had all like little Buddhas on everything. And then Ghost yesterday was like this, going across it like this. I was like something, and the, the lovely mirror, the Indian mirror that daddy bought me, my gardener bought me for Christmas. So I was like, that's going to go. So every single surface, every single surface is empty. But I have put the rug back out. I've got this rug in my lounge which is my pride and joy. I paid way too much money for it. They were like, <laughs> using it as a scratching pad. Anyway, BWYV84. Blue sky. Also, we've had the evening sky, and now we've got blue sky. Misty bought me a different sort of present last night, a ball of wool. Your cats are love. They're not small, Claire. She says they're lovely small black panthers. They are not small. They're huge. If they, if um, Luther, get, Luther sleeps on my bed during the day, and if he stretches out like this, right, right, he's the size, almost the size of a double bed. That's how long he is when he stretches out like that. And they've got great big paws like this. And they're lovely. Anyway, £7.49. Only got three more colours to show you in the range. So now I'm going to do the yellow one now which is 57. This is so, this is lovely. This reminds me of Seven Brides of Seven Brothers, this one. Sunshine, very, very popular. Lots of people buying this for dresses, we're thinking. Oh, I've got to get a move on. Harry's waiting to come on to do a disappearing nine patch. Oh... Beautiful. Then I've got a, now I've got two lilac-y, lavender -y prints. Look, I'll just show you, look. One is slightly brighter than the other. One's violet, one's mauve. I'm going to do 37 first. Mauve. I wouldn't call it a mauve, my, well, would I? I call it, I think I'd call that more light, lavender, lavender, lavender I'd call that. They've called it mauve. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. <laughs> That's not part of a no land song. No, no land. A no land song. She's singing a no land song. Right, last one of the collection now. 24. Violet. Oh, got a house with room for a pony. You, no? No, that's not. That's a quote from um, Mrs. What was Mrs. Bouquet's show? My sister Violet, four bedrooms, room for a pony, swimming pool and room for a pony. 
Oh, I hated that show. Really hated it. Oh, I can't bear it. It makes me, my skin crawl. Yeah. I know, but then you see, my mum used to love it, and on the Christmas special, she wore an outfit that she absolutely loved, and she went, oh, find out where the outfit from. So I had to get in touch with the costume designer and find out where the outfit was from. They actually bought it on the cruise liner that they were filming on. That'll have cost a fortune. They're actually on a proper cruise liner. Yeah. Oh, Hannah knows them all. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Right, now I'm going to show you one more, right? This isn't part of the collection. This is just the same print, but in a different colourway. And it's like the dark blue, but the flowers are blue as well. Look, then this is from the Midnight, Midnight Garden. There's not much that one, but I just want to show you. Now, it does, it's the same print, but it's from a different collection. 7.49 for half a metre. Well done. £7.49. Pounds pence. Right, am I going to squeeze anything else in or am I going for a break? We can go for a break. Now, uh, can I just explain as well? We have got, you know the Sally Ann quilt that we dropped the price of the pattern as the early bird? Been really, really popular. So if you've got that in your basket, please check out. Oh, okay then. And we'll be doing bundles of it with the pattern in the last hour, and we will be taking the two pound fifty off the price. So if you want to, if you want to check it out on the website and pre-order, you will be getting. I think it's two pound fifty you get off that one. Anyway, uh, Kerry's up next. We're going to be doing the disappearing nine patch in this colourway, and in the colourway that Ian has chosen for you, or buy the pattern on its own and use some of these, oh, some of these Liberty fabrics be beautiful, wouldn't they? Anyway, I will see you with here, Perry here, in about four minutes from now. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Kerry's back! Kerry's back, everybody! Kerry's here! Such a lovely welcome, John. Yeah, well, you've had your welcome first thing this morning. <laughs> Early hours this morning. Hiya! I was doing my makeup like this. Just had the door go, Hiya! I'm here! <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome Thank back. You very welcome much. back. Welcome back. It's lovely to see you. Right, we're doing a disappearing nine patch. Uh, so I'm just going to take you through the bundles first, and we'll talk about what it is and how you do it and everything like that. So if you would like to make, should we show a picture of the red one first, please, Charlie? There you go. There's a picture of the red ones. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. So now that's a Moda, a Moda fabric. Uh, what you do is you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fat quarters. And it's called a disappearing nine patch, right? You get nine fat quarters and you get the uh, instructions. Here we go. They're in the right place. I can't see on my screen yet. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nine fat quarters. And your instructions, excuse me, I'm going to cough, <coughs> $39.99. It's, it's such an effective block to do. And don't be frightened by it, because if you're new to making blocks, it's a very, very simple one to do. So you've got $39.99, gives you the pattern and all those beautiful fabrics. Nine different fat quarters there. Message from Susie. Morning. Stunning, stunning disappearing nine patch, Kerry. Beautiful. Cannot wait to make mine, says Susie. That's our Susie, I think, isn't it? That's our lovely Susie. That's Susie. Have you seen her hair? No. She's dyed her hair. Like, I don't know what colour, what colour you call it. Not Conco. It's a bit darker than Conco, is it? Mahogany. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. I did see. Oh, keep up. I did see. Has a sleep since then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, okay, so that's the red one. That's the red one. Now, this is a bundle that Ian has put together specially for you, right? Ian in our buying team, he put this one together for you. So in this one, you get one, two, three, four white ones. You get two, like, kind of peachy ones with love hearts on. You get one grey and white one with spriggy leaves on. One blue heart, one pink heart. And that's your instructions there. Thirty-one ninety-nine, And that, we've got a close-up of that one, haven't we, Charlie? There you go. How many images have we got this one? Three, one, two. There you go. Specially made by Ian. For, no, Ian didn't make it. Ian <laughs> chose the fabrics. Kerry made it. Was that three pictures? Oh, sorry, I thought it was only two. Right, £31.99. Now, 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 what we were thinking, not there's anything wrong with Ian's bundle or the red bundle, but if you were to buy, I know that I know this only takes fat quarters, but if you were to buy some of the now, could you make it with less than nine different colours? Would you have to have nine different colours? Well, in, in the bundle that Ian's put together, we've duplicated the oh, white. Oh, yes. So you've actually got four One, fat two, quarter three. in that bundle. So even if you bought four of half metres yes. of the Liberty, yeah. you could still create yes. the effect, couldn't you? Yeah. Because we were thinking, everyone's gone wild about those Liberties oh, no, we just they're had. they're beautiful. If you, oh, if you bought the bundle, you, oh, now. Oh, actually, if you bought the bundle, you could use, and you're only going to use half of each one, aren't you? Because you've got half a metre, and a fat quarter's half of half a metre, isn't it? So, you, no, it's less. Yeah. It's less. So, so anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> you basically could create, 
your own from that liberty. Imagine how gorgeous that would be. 9.99 pattern on its own. 9.99. Beautiful. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go in a minute. Hannah's going to pick you nine fabrics out. How many? Oh, two. Two fabric. Two bundles. Two bundles. Bring them out. Bring them out. Then I'll pick them out. While while um, while um. Ke- <laughs> whilst Kerry's sewing it, I'll I'll pick you some collections together. Anyway, anyway, pattern on its own. Nine ninety nine. You know how thorough Kerry's patterns are. You only need oh well no because if, if you all you need is some backing and some binding, no some backing and some wadding backing and wadding. Right now we've got a brand new tool today, brand spanking new tool. Now how how long has everybody been saying, oh we need to rotate and cutting mat, we need to rotate and cutting mat. Wait till you see the size of this cutting mat because it's brilliant. Kerry's got the only one we've got. The rest are in the warehouse. Uh, what a brilliant size. Superb size. Perfect for your fat quarters as well. Yeah. So you don't just get the rotating cutting mat. Now, the ruler you get will be slightly different to the ruler that Kerry's using. We're hoping it's going to come up from the warehouse in time for you to see by the end of the show. But it's that new. And apparently it's exclusive to Sewing Street. Didn't know that. Exclusive to Sewing Street, right? Um, so let's just have a look at it. So how big is that mat So this mat? is 18 by 18 inch for the rotating cutting mat. Okay, we just hang on, just gonna see it in proportion with to carry. So there you go, look, look, look. Because the one we normally do is 13 it's inches or 12 one. and a half inches. Isn't it? We haven't had a rotating cutting mat in for ages and ages and ages. So just tell us what has that got um angles and things like that on it. So well? it has got your angles on here as well, and then you've got your um 18 by 18. But what's particularly wonderful about this one right. is you've got your locking mechanism on the back as well. Okay, perfect. So once you slide those open, yeah. then that will stay oh, stationary. So oh, if you don't oh want hang on, did you just click that into place? Yeah. You see, because a lot of them don't have that, and you no. can be using it and the top slides off and everything. So if so, you don't want them to slide off, just oh, line those up and you'll yep. hear it click twice. Yep. And as you click this into position twice, then your mat is now stationary. So if you've got something where you don't want it to move, you have the option to keep oh, that. Oh, fantastic. Still. Absolutely fantastic. So then you've got 18 and a half, in, uh, no, it's, it's 18 inches, did you say? The, the this matter. is 18 by 18. 18 yeah. by 18. And you've got inch squares on there. That's right. And you've got angles on there. And you've got circles on there. And you've got everything. Going, and is it a self healing mat? It's I'm a self healing it is, mat it? as well. No, exactly. If you've never seen one being used, you're going to see it being used in here. Now, you, in yours from home, you get a, a, a three and a half by 18 and a half inch ruler. So what, the, yours is a bit bigger. Mine's a little bit longer, but yeah. the ruler that we've done for the bundle is so it actually sits onto the mat. So Brilliant. it's 18 and a half inches by three and a half inches. Okay, lovely. So you get that. Uh, we're hoping that one arrives from the warehouse before the end of the hour. We've asked, it's so brand new in this. We need to get it on air today. So we've got it in the warehouse. It just hasn't arrived from the warehouse here. So you're getting the mat and you're getting the ruler as well. Oh, half stock's in baskets already. Half the stock's gone in baskets already. Uh, you will see it being used during this hour. Okay, so we've got the bundle with the red. <coughs> we've got the bundle that Ian, we're going to call it Ian's bundle, the bundle that Ian has created for you. We've got the pat- oh, no, two. pattern on its own. And we've got that fantastic ruler and um, rotating matting. Up, and you're going crazy for the mat. Just so you know, if you've got the mat in your... Uh, got the mat and a ruler in your basket, please check out because you're going absolutely crazy for it. It's a brilliant size because, like I say, normally they're a lot smaller, aren't they? And people yeah. say, oh, I have to move it still. It doesn't work. Whereas that, you're never, ever going to make an 18-inch block, are you, really? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is no. the biggest you're ever going to This is the biggest, so it. it will allow you to trim your blocks without disturbing your fabric which well. is what it's all. Which is the whole reason for yes. it, isn't it? Okay, Kerry, so off you go then. Okay, so I thought because we've got the mat today, I'll just show you very quickly. Once you get your fabrics in your kit, now on the back of the disappearing nine patch, I do mention and throughout the pattern as well to use your backing fabric. Yeah. But you'll have enough left over. So the sample that I've made up behind me, there is actually enough left over from your fabric if you want to join those uh, remaining strips together to bind your quilt so you've got the same fabric uh, featuring on the front of your fabric as well. Right. If you're using your rotating cutting mat once you get these, it's perfect for any of your blocks of course, but ideal for this particular one. Now the size blocks that we've worked with 
in this particular pattern and why I love the rotating cutting mat is instead of trying to figure out where you're standing or where you've got to move your fabric to, you're, you can stay in the same position and just bring the mat to you. And also, if you don't have one, how often do you have to cut? To, we always say don't cut towards you, but you end up doing it because yeah. you think, I can't move it, I can't well, move it. Well, sometimes, I think, and especially um, what I find when people come in there newer to using the equipment, is you can't physically figure out where you've got to position yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, whereas with the mat, you know you've simply got to bring it to you. So all the time your rotary cutter is pushing away from mm -hmm. yourself. So the, the hard work's done for you, exactly. really, with the design. Uh, um, Christy says, I love my rotating cutting mat. It makes cutting so much easier and quicker. Couldn't be without it now. Uh, she also says that you, you and I both look fabulous oh. today. Thank you very Good much morning, indeed, Christy. Christy. <laughs> More people got the ruler and rotating cutting mat in their baskets than we've got stock of. We will try and get you more, <clears throat> but it won't be today. So all I'm doing is cutting on the five and a half the 11 inch and the 16 and a half inch line that's for your five and a half inch square are you using the markings on the on the, on I'm the mat to cut? yes yeah. i'm using the markings on the mat yeah. so right, look, 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 look 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 so as i bring this to me now so without disturbing that fabric i've cut those three uh rows there and then i'm going to go ahead and cut again now this time i have staggered it slightly so i can see the numbers at the bottom so this time there's I'm five left and 30 people got it in their baskets the six also, we've got that road. We've got that rotary cutter in today's show as well. Just haven't got a sample of it. Kerry's got the sample of it. Is that yours or ours? This is yours. Oh, it's okay. fab. It's just gliding through. I had brand a, new. Brand new. We are in for a treat. So as you can see, when you bring these out now, you've got all of your squares cut to size, ready to go on and make your block. And it's quite fast as well. So of course, once you've got your fabrics for your kit, if you're cutting through several layers, it just speeds up that process. Course, yeah. And with your nice sharp blade, you'll definitely get away with definitely. doing that. So I'll just pop these to one side for now. Right. Because I've already cut the others ready to make the block. And as you said, John, it is a really nice, easy block to, uh, to be making up. So once you've cut your fabrics down, I think the fun's always in deciding the order that you're popping these out. Of course, really. yeah. Um, and playing with these. So if we just get them out. Sue says, good morning, Kerry. Good morning, Sue. It's always a nice way to start the day with everybody saying good oh, morning. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? isn't it? I love it, yeah. <laughs> so just placing these out in the order that you want these to go. So it doesn't matter what, what order then? You just no. have each, one of each in a different one place? One of each. So you've got your nine different fabrics in there. So place them out in a nine block. We are starting... Uh, with a nine block there and what we're going to do is to just sew those three rows together oh, okay. for you. So in a lot of our patterns we take lots of photos of the fabrics that we're putting together but the for this particular pattern what we've done on the inside of the pattern is just put Am I allowed to open, am yes, I allowed to open course, this yeah. one? Or is it with this one of mine anyway? This one's yours, yeah. Okay, I'm do so it we've just put lots of diagrams in there for you to make that much easier and to keep this nice and speedy as well. I'm just going to pin the first two together on all three rows. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So you've not done you've not done it with fabric. On, you've just done it with colour blocks on this one. Yeah. Charlie, can I have a quick look at this? Sorry, do you mind? Look. So you've literally done it. You see, but it also is going to show how using different colours it's going to because that one is a lovely blend of all the colours. But you can't necessarily see where yeah. what is. Whereas if you do them with solid colours like this, you're going to see where all your different sections are going to appear and end up and everything. So lots and lots and lots of instructions in here for your 9.99. Oh, hang on, what's this here? Squaring up your quilt. Fantastic. Is that binding? Is that a binding yeah. um, instructions as well in there? Look. Gorgeous. Your friend did that. Very busy, very busy. Oh, and also, uh, the, you get a sheet saying, please read this before you start. It says that because Kerry wants you to read this so you can follow her instructions even more easily. That's what it is, isn't it? Right, the mat has all sold out. We didn't have it on its own, but it's completely and utterly sold out. Now, we will get more in. In fact, I've seen, I've seen Paul from buying in, in the office, so we'll mention it to him in the break. Hmm? Oh, Hannah's ahead of us. She's already sent the email to them. <laughs> Jan's in. Happy birthday, Jan. It's Jan Hill's birthday today. Happy birthday. Fully awake now. Did hear you mention someone asking after me earlier. Please thank them for me. I'm fine. 
Now the age, I'm now the age mentioned, mentioned in a Beatles song for those who remember. 74. Is that the song? 74. Now I'm 74. If it's not, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I am. I'm in trouble with Jan all the time anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Happy in. birthday, Jan. Hope you have a lovely day. Well, she obviously loves you because she's come on to say good morning yes. today. You've done your nails to match your frock. Wow. <laughs> I have a teenage daughter who tells me it's, I have to do this, you know, it's what, what you have to do. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Trying to keep up with her, I'm struggling a little bit, I'm going to be yeah. honest. <laughs> So I've just sewn um, those extra three onto those rows now to create my three blocks. And I am using chain stitching just to reduce the waste uh -huh. um, on the thread then and to keep this nice and speedy as well. It's a nice project to make, uh, a nice fast project. And it gives you that lovely, as you say, you know, dependent upon the fabrics, if you're using uh, those lovely um, Liberty ones that you were showing this morning. Oh, you know, yeah, I'm just working out which different. nine I'd use if I did what nine. Because it's just, it doesn't matter about the colours, does it? No. You can just really blend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blend whichever colours you want to blend. I always try and put blend. my favourite in the middle because I always feel like your eye on a disappearing nine patch is drawn to, on this one, it's the grey. So it's always drawn to that little square. Oh, okay. So Not the big square then. No, I always feel like my art, I mean, you might be different. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah, always yeah. put you, I mean, they're going to be showcased more. You're going to have four in there. Yes. But I just think because they're so small, it's drawn to that. So the only thing maybe not to use is something with a really big, bold print. You yes. lose it a little bit. Yeah. So just placing this onto the ironing board, what we're going to do is press the two out to see the, the top and the bottom. So this is row one and row three, your seams outwards, and then your centre seams in, and then they will nest into place when you come to line these up in a minute, giving you that... Um, lovely point in the <laughs> Dan middle. Dan said, thanks, John. Right song, wrong number, as you very well know, you monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in trouble then? Yeah. It's her birthday. She'll forgive me. It's a happy day. So I just give these a little press from the front as well, just to set that seam. They're gorgeous prints, aren't they? Mm. So what have you chosen for your liberty then, John? Well, I can't... Uh, is Hannah back yet? I'll have to show you when Hannah comes back. I can't show you yet. Otherwise, she'll get angry. Lots of people wishing Jan a happy birthday. Teresa, Sue. So now when we bring the middle row over to the bottom row, these seams will lock into position here or nest into position. Yeah. As you feel through there, you can see that they're resting uh, on top of each other beautifully there. And I always tend to put two pins on either side of the seam. Yeah. What's the um, finished size of the quilt? 47 by 47. Oh, what? 47 by 47. Oh, is it? Are you sure? Am I wrong? Yeah. What is it? 45 by 45. Oh, 45. Your batting's 47, 47 by 47. 45 by 45 inches finished. But there's nothing we to like say. We like to add. Eh? You could put some satching on and make yeah. it 47. <laughs> but there's nothing. You can't keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, the more fabric you could, our, Ours are bundled to make that size. But if you'd bought the Liberty fabric, you just keep going. Go. You could do a whole Absolutely, king yeah. size quilt with it, really, couldn't you? If you wanted to, you could just keep going. Message from Teresa. Good morning, everyone. Have a fabulous day. Love that red bundle. Teresa, it's lovely, isn't it? My mum loves this. They're, they're her colours, she said, when I was oh, making really? it up, yeah. I think she was hinting at me. Oh, OK. She's very subtle. Yeah, not that subtle. <laughs> Morning, John and Kerry. February is the best month for birthdays. It's mine tomorrow, and I'm well older than Jan. Happy birthday, Jan. That's from Judith. Oh, have a lovely day, Judith. I won't be here to wish happy birthday have Valentine's tomorrow. Day in February as well. And? Uh, oh, it's not exciting. No. You'll probably be inundated with cards, John. I get never. Never? I never, ever, ever. And, and, and that's not me hinting, Hannah. I don't want you to send me one. <laughs> Hannah, we need to do a card today. We can make one up. We can rustle I'm in one work up. that day. I mean, and I've been saying to everyone, Susie doesn't come in the other day, she, I'm on the 15th. Well, oh, I'm not on the 15th. I'm not on the 15th. I've got home. I am on the 15th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always joke about, oh, I won't be able to get in through the door because of the cards and the flowers and everything like that. Nothing. Oh, we're going to send you one now. No. From a secret admirer. Yeah, oh, well, I know that'll be <laughs> done, don't I? <laughs> I know, you can send it. You'll have it round. Shall I send it round? chocolates and flowers. 
I made a big Peter Rabbit disappearing nine patch with Kerry a few years ago. Great pattern, says Chrissy. Do you remember a rab I do. Peter Rabbit? I do. We've done this lots. This is a really popular pattern, especially um, especially when you're starting out. It's a nice, easy project to Are make. you talking to us, Hannah? Because we can't hear you. She oh, just... she's just chatting to herself. Sorry, Curry. Is she reminding herself to get you a card? No. <laughs> Trouble is, John, I remember <laughs> when I'm 64 as a little girl thinking how old... Oh, yeah. I remember singing when I'm 64 as a little girl thinking how old is that? Now I'm approaching that age. I'm still young at heart. Elaine, we all are. Um... I remember my friend Christine when her older sister was 21 and we were like, oh, she's so old, 21, she's so old. I remember my mum being 34 and she was one of the younger mums, my mum yeah. was, and the girls at school was like, oh, your mum's really young. I was like, no, she's well old, she's 34. 34. And when I was 34, we just had... Um, one of the TV channels on our TV, I don't know whether we're allowed to say that. You say what you like. On Netflix, and my son yeah. was flicking through and he said, oh, Superman, let's watch you. And as he went to read it, he said, oh, mum, he said it was made in um, 1984, 83. And I said, he said, it's ancient. I said, excuse me, that's the year I was born. He went, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey. I thought, oh, that he thinks, I, I remember thinking yeah, my yeah, mum was, was ancient, that number yeah. came around very oh. quickly. <laughs> mm, went to the 62. Yeah, very quickly indeed. Oh, I didn't hear that, John. No. <laughs> I still already thinks I'm ancient. <laughs> and they were doing a project at school for history, and he came home and he said, we've been sent home with a questionnaire. And he starts doing this questionnaire, and he said, how did it make you feel when you were washing our clothes in the river, Mom? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I've never washed your clothes in the river. He went, you did in the olden days. How did you they feel? They just think, don't they? I was like, I'm not that old, Alex. Yeah. And he said, but you were around then. I said, no, I no, wasn't. No. <laughs> it's funny you get on the defensive as yeah, well. Yeah, but my nieces and nephews brought their history books home and it had the 1970s were in the history books. I was like, I was out clubbing then. <laughs> and that was just, that's history now. Anyway, so we've got the nine patches sewn together. What do we do next? So the next thing we're going to do, and again, we're going to use the, um, the cutting mat on here. So just place in your ruler in the centre of those and the best thing to do uh, with this now on the pattern I've used a five and a half inch square today I'm only using um, a five inch square so just work out the center here it's always worth doing that because you don't want it off center right if for any reason you've not used that quarter inch seam allowance it will make the world of difference so mine's measuring four and a half yeah does it matter which center you go through you know like as in you've got it that way yeah but you could it, would it match if the pink one was at the top, for instance? Or... No, so I'm literally going to cut oh, oh, across okay, into okay, both sorry, of them bad. as well. I thought you just cut it down the middle there. So we're cutting it down the middle and then I'm going to pivot and cut it down the other side as well. So what I tend to do with the ruler to make sure it's nice and straight, I'm using the two and a quarter inch line, just lining that up on my seam line there. And then just using the lines on the ruler just to make sure it's absolutely straight. Because it's quite, once you've done nine of them, it's, this is the exciting part where it's easy to make. Uh, easy to make a mistake at this yeah. point. So again, just cutting straight through the center. And then again, as you bring this toward you, so again, we're not disturbing that fabric. Just bring the mat toward you, line your ruler back up, take a moment or two about that to line that back up. Sue says, this is my favorite quilt block with this peering nine patch. Teresa says, my birthday on Thursday, my son tomorrow, my granddaughter on the 18th, my sister on the 22nd. Whoa! Trisha Ann says, morning, John, Kerry and Hannah. Charlie's here as well. Uh, please, can you help? Can you still buy Candlewick fabric? See, there are some oldies watching. Thank you all. Take care from Trisha Ann. I haven't seen it for a while, but I'm sure you must be able to. I'll have a look. I'll look into that. We don't sell it here, but I'll have a look into it. And Maureen says, I've just celebrated my Sunset Strip birthday, John. I won't sing it. Was, right, you sing, so, was you singing then? Eh? Oh, you went really quiet. Was you having a little singing? I was trying to work, no, trying to work out what the song was. <laughs> so hang on, so you cut it down the middle. That's it. And across the middle. That's it. So we've made our four block, our four squares now. Uh -huh. And then what we're going to do is there's... So, so now, you know you said you'll save your favourite. Is it that one in the middle? This one in that the middle. That your favourite one. So in, I'm not sure whether that's my favourite from this fabric, but it's the one that's different to the bundle. That's why I've chosen this from right, this okay. particular bundle. Right, okay. Um, so it's, it's, what is my favourite on there? I think this would be my favourite. Okay, favorite, but it's, so it's the one that, that's so, different that your eye will be yeah. drawn to. So I've chosen the little print there. Right. Um, because that's the one that 
that I was drawn to. And which to one did you say in your favourite? Top, bottom, this left? One. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, and I, I also like this. the reverse of it at yeah. the top right hand corner. I could see you in a shirt in there. Well, there's a lot of fabrics today that would be <laughs> nice in a shirt. Right, okay, so we cut it into four. So then we're going to, so if I just bring that to me a little bit there, yeah. the top left we're going to pivot 90 degrees there, bringing that up. Right. And the bottom right we're going to pivot again. There we go. Right. And then if you open these up, so we're now going to sew the top and the bottom rows together. So oh, we just, don't cut again? Nope, we're not okay. cutting again for this part. So just lining these up onto the table now. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to slide two pins. Now you may need to square your block up one more time. So I always recommend making sure this centre point here marries up. If you've got a little bit out like I have here at the bottom, sometimes that can happen when you're doing your blocks. At a later stage, we'll square those okay. up if, if needed. Yeah. So the most important bit here to get that lovely centre point is to square up the centre. So again, just using a quarter inch seam allowance. I've got a quarter inch foot on the machine. Mm -hmm. Helen says, hello, Kerry and John. First time I have been up. We've got COVID and had it for two weeks. Please tell it to go away. We've all had enough of it now. Fantastic show. Thank you, Helen. You get better soon, my love. He said, I don't think people, people go, oh, I've got COVID, oh, I've got to do my nine, 10 days, whatever it is, isolation, everything, but then still feel rough afterwards. And even if they get a negative test, I don't think they realise that yeah. some people carry on and carry on having the, the, the symptoms. And things, Feeling right? unwell. Yeah. Well, we're glad of your company today. Yes, we are. Okay, so we'll just trim that joining thread there. And as we pop this onto the ironing mat now, if you open up your blocks, just check that they're in the right place. Especially, I mean, it's quite easy when we're just doing one, but if you've done this as a little bit of a production line, which is what I tend to do um, when I'm doing a block where I'm repeating myself, yeah. it's, it's more helpful to just double check that first block. So as we flip these over onto the back, we're going to press one seam towards us and one seam away from us. Again, okay. so these nest together nicely. Break it, you pay for Just it. letting you know. <laughs> Do I get to take it home then? Hey? Do I get to take the broken one home Yeah, then? <laughs> yeah once you paid for it, yeah. <laughs> so resting these on top of each other and just lining up that centre point there. And again, feeling through the fabrics that they're nesting together nicely uh -huh. and just sliding your two pins. I always work with two pins and yeah. it just, you know, slows down any movement on there cool. as well or prevents that movement. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh dear tree, no. Loving the show and the fabrics, really annoyed. Just missed out on the rotating cutter mat. Internet's so slow this morning. D, D, uh, we've already been on touch, in touch with the um, buyers. It won't happen today, but I promise we'll get some more in soon. I'm just moving those pins. And then as you open this up, you can see there that you've got that lovely point on the centre of your block. So we'll just press those seams one more time. Mm -hmm. And then for the quilt, you're simply going to repeat this another eight times because we've got nine of those onto the quilt. Uh, Becky Alexander Frost says, good morning, Kerry. Good morning, Rebecca. Uh, Carol says, morning, I'm having fun sewing hexes together to make a duvet cover and pillowcases, but my fingers aren't liking it. And then Susan, I'm spending my birthday on Sunday with Kerry at her sewing retreat. Oh yes, we have a sewing retreat. I haven't opened the calendar that far, I forgot we had No, one. because you've had one just recently, <laughs> haven't you? We did two weeks ago, so we do one a month. And I tell oh. Craig I'm off to work and I come back and Does hopefully... Did you come with her? No. I mean, he's cooked your dinner though. Cooked dinner, hopefully tidied up. Where are the they? Uniform. Where are these retreats then? Where's this one? Um, our retreat is in Staffordshire. Okay. So, uh, at, at a lovely hotel. We oh, stop you stay over way. and everything? We haven't so far, but we normally would do a two day oh, retreat. Of course, yeah. Um, so we only do one day retreats at the moment, but we have afternoon tea halfway oh, through lovely. the day. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so I suppose before COVID and everything, you stayed over for the whole yeah, weekend. We and you will do again. 
Yes. In the future. Well, I'm told we ha I have no choice but to book them in, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. But yes, we've got another one Sunday. It's oh. a lovely way to finish the week. So that is how um, how easy your block comes together. Right. Um, and all we're going to do now is just to just square this up. Now, the square up measurements might be different to the pattern booklets I've done today with five inch squares and the one inside your booklet. Uh, the one inside your pattern is five and a half oh, okay. inch squares. Um, but to tidy this up again here, I'm just using... Uh, the side of the block here as my guideline and the uh, lines on the ruler and just checking that's two and a quarter inches. So you're literally just skimming off any, any tiny, any little tiny bit. bit yeah. And, you know, it does make the world a difference. So it is worth taking this time um, to tidy that up and trim it down if needs be. So when you come to join your other blocks together, it's nice and easy. Okay. Let's just make a little bit more space. I'm moving that right on the edge there. And again, you can see there's a little bit more out on this side. And the final side. I love it when a, when a block's been squared off because it's so neat and precise, isn't it? It's so satisfying as well yeah. when you're putting it together. And it certainly makes the world of difference when, you're, um, when you come to put your rows together as well. Yeah. Oh, now, Wendy. Uh, morning, Kerry. Got the quilt and the pattern. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. So another one coming on your, on your retreat there. And then Kerry must tell you, oh, hang on, John and Kerry must tell you, I got a 680 plus for our 50th birthday. Oh, how fantastic. Nice yeah. way to spend mm. your time. Um, so that's how we're doing the blocks. And I'm simply just going to sew the, the little parts together now that are left after the fabric uh, just to create that binding. So if you want to, if you have a perhaps a closer look at the finished one. Um, that's you behind me in the pattern i do say to um use the backing fabric have you got one of the binding charlie on the edge okay he's going to come in and show that on the real thing but just using the excess parts of the fabric that you've got left over we can simply just join those together so if you want to get uh, did the you most, start, so you just piled them all in a pile there oh yes and sorry then cut them in half and then cut them to two and a half inches right wide. okay um, and then we're just going to simply sew those together, ready to make the binding for the exterior Brilliant. part of the of the quilt. So it's a nice, easy project uh, to work through, and a great way to use a ball. There you the go. There's that come the binding the as well. Scrappy binding. Well done. Uh, now, Princess says, just sent in a pic of my big disappearing nine patch quilt. Sorry, I'm not chatting as much. Oh, I've been having to watch via YouTube. Oh, what instead of Facebook? Uh, yeah. Um, right. While that, while Kerry saying that, should I just do you a quick recap of the bundles, the Moda Red one first, and I'll talk to you about the Liberty fabrics I've chosen as well. So, here you get nine fat quarters plus you get the ins uh, it, not the inspiration, the instructions, and the inspiration and the inspiration. <laughs> Beautiful. This one you've just seen Kerry sew together. I don't remember seeing that one. Oh, it is there. It is there. So there are all your nine different fabrics there plus your uh, pattern. £39.99. pence. Very, very popular, that one. Very popular. Right, then we've got the one Ian put together for you. So you get your pink hearts, your blue hearts, your grey leaves, your two orange of flowers, and your four, well, one, two, three, four, five, four whites there. £31.99. pence. So it shows you don't need to use nine different colours if you don't want to. Makes it look a little bit different. $31.99. And that one, um, I'll show you. Can we show a picture of that one, please, Charlie? Here it comes. There you go. That's the one Ian's put together for you. Lovely. It's very summery, spring like picnic. I'm thinking picnics for that one. Okay, that one's there. And then the instructions on their own. Now. They're nine ninety nine. the instructions on their own. And I've put together my, I'll show you in a minute, my bundle of the liberties that I'd use for it, right? So there's the pattern on its own, £9.99. Now, I could have sworn I put nine together before, and I've only got eight there now. <laughs> yes. I love the orange. Yeah, I like the saffron. Saffron. The saffron. 
Um, right, hang on a second. Right, you'll have to help me choose in a minute, right? So that's the pattern on its own. Now, this is not a bundle that I'm going to show you now, but it's from the fabrics that we had in the first hour. If you were to pick nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, there's eight. I've picked those eight. I tell you the code. So this is 83. Peacock. That's half a metre of peacock there. Then this one's 57. Sunshine. Graphics coming in. Which is going to be your middle one. I'll decide that in a minute. Thank oh. you very much indeed. <laughs> I'm a boy. I can't multitask. <laughs> then I've got mauve. Oh, have I got mauve? 37. Mauve, 37. That's that one. I move those that way. That's mauve. Then I've got lime, 84. Lime, 84. Then I've got olive tree leaf, 08. Limited, limited, limited now. Then I've got uh, Hannah's favourite, saffron. Oh, the computer's having a meltdown. We will come in. Yeah. Now, Carol says, I always watch via YouTube because Apple TV does not have Towering Street on it. That'll be an interesting channel to watch, Towering Street. Right, then I've got the pink 182. That one's a vintage, vintage pink. And then last but not least, I've got... 84, which I think is Sky. Might not be Sky. Right, that's eight. I have to pick a ninth one. There's the bundle underneath. There's the colours to choose. Bundle underneath. Colours to choose. I think I know which one it's got to be. Right, I'm picking that one. Oh, I, I picked 82 as my final number, which is nighttime sky. No, cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. Okay, but Hannah is going. Oh, what well, this one? 97. Hannah's gone for. Oh, actually, no, that works, Hannah. That does work. So she's only got a degree in painting. That's all. And it's because she thinks she's a mermaid. She is a mermaid. So Charlie, which that's why she needs a bath refitting in her bathroom. Because she thinks she's Hannah, what's it? Oh, were you in that film with Tom Hanks? That was a Hannah somebody, wasn't it? Hannah Gordon. No, not Hannah Gordon. That was just watercolour paint. That was our Hannah. No, she's not a she's an actress. She's not a watercolour painter. Yeah, she's <laughs> She didn't do the original watercolour change. Which colour would you go with Charlie? Oh, we was going to go for cobalt blue as well. Which one would for you the, go for? For the middle. For, no, 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 just the ninth one because I've only I've only chose eight. Patterns in on its own while we're choosing. Oh. So that's the bundle I've chosen. I put that one in. Hannah and Charlie both put that one in. Oh, I'm going with Hannah and Charlie. Oh, okay then. You meant to pick another one so I can see. Oh, it. another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in that case, the the darker one. That one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. So that one, I think that's Nighttime Sky, is it, that one? <laughs> oh, no, which one's this one, then? 25. I didn't get that memo, John. I know for future. No, you'll know for future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. But really, we're picking Hannah's one. Now I feel guilty that I've left these ones out. Just buy them all. Just buy them. <laughs> I feel like that if I do that. Yeah, no. Be well done if you got the bundle of this earlier because they're just so exquisite, all of these. Right, let's have a look at some pictures before we do anything else. Thought you might like to see my version of the disappearing mine patch. Is that like the nine patch, Maya? But the nine patch made for my mum for Mother's Day about four years oh. ago. That's, that's Princess. What's it that is? Oh. That's lovely. I love the colours in there. Now, isn't it funny? Sorry, sorry. can I go back to that? Sorry, Charlie. It's been, been a... Look at the top left-hand block, right? Looks completely different. When you use different colours, yeah. the top left-hand 
You know what I mean? If she's got red going down in one direction and blue going down in the other direction, it looks completely different, doesn't and it? And they look great when people use different tones. Like, I think that one would look with a sort of ombre effect yes, to it definitely. as well. OK, they want to know what's written on the wall. Something about hearts written on the wall. Anyway, is that I the only picture we've got another picture today? Oh, more pictures. Oh, I like Morning, John and Kerry. I made this quilt for my late sister's 50th using this method from Carol. Oh, I love the monochrome, Carol. Oh, is that a button holder? I couldn't figure out what that was. My uh, friend Tara has got bird seed feeders that are perspex and they stick to the windows. So she's got um, a, a child... Uh, um, with disabilities, I won't go into it, but she's got disabilities. And so she can lie in her bed or on her, in her chair and the birds come to the window to feed. Oh, so my it's like love that. they're in the room with you and everything. Because the whole box is perspex. You stick it to the outside of the window. So you see the birds eating their food right against your oh, window. Oh, that's and everything. fabulous. No, they love I, went to, I thought, well, I'll get one of those. Before I got um, Ghost and Luther, I'm not going to get one now. Um, <laughs> they're not cheap. They're not cheap, <laughs> but they look lovely. They look fantastic. Okay, uh, 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 is that one ready to go or not? Oh, they're still editing in the next one. So we'll go back to the stitching together. So you've just sewn all those little so pieces together. So I've just together. sewn the strips together. So with the remainder of the fabrics, once you've cut your um, nine blocks from there, if you just trim those to two and a half inches and then you're simply joining those uh, along the raw edge there, press the seams just in one direction is absolutely fine or yeah. you can press them open, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to fold those in half, okay. ready for your binding. Chrissy would go with lilac. Pam Minihani would pick the same as me. Uh, Jan Hill would pick the lilac. Anne Lloyd would pick the pale pink. Um, Christine says, all morning, Kerry. Gorgeous, Kerry. And John Scott. <laughs> Love living in loveliness, or Lil for short. Love in the liberty, but the moda is very stunning. Hilary says, good morning, Kerry and John. Kerry, I do remember the disappearing nine patch now. I think this will be my next project at class. So Hilary must come to your class. You know who Hilary is. I'm only you pretending. You know who Hillary. is. All right. <laughs> uh, gorgeous fabric, she said. Then she's got pictures of ladybirds and pictures of dancing scissors. Right, is there another picture to show, do you think? Okay, so, oh, now look, this is nice. Love this. Now, I it. see what you mean about picking the little... The centre block. Yes, that were, this is very nine patch using one patterned fabric. Oh, I see, all solids and then one patterned. Oh, yes, yeah, so the bundle of planes that Hannah picked earlier for you would be brilliant for that. And then one Liberty print that you put in that little squares there. Oh, that's lovely. Extra now, you see, maybe. that's a bit like Pam and Nikki Lynn Tot's, you know, overlay one, isn't it? That's lovely. Gorgeous, Nikki. That's fantastic. One more. I've got one more to show. Is it ready? Or so? Oh, no, here we go. This is my first go at a disappearing nine patch. I made it for my friend's daughter. Oh, Look no. Being bullied at school and needs a colour. Tareen, you're an angel. Uh, sorry, Glenn, sorry, I haven't finished looking at the picture. Um, have you got a blue sofa? Blue leather sofa. Oh, I say that's posh. I love that quilt. See, now that's just random because the little squares on that are all yeah. different colours, aren't they? So she's done it kind of random, hasn't she? It's wonderful to see, actually, isn't it? The same design and different Dif fabrics. Completely different. I love that. Your photos, and Tareen, actually. you're a very good friend. That's so sweet of you. Anyway, uh, should we carry on with the binding? Always. That, that's it. That's all we've got for the binding. So it's just pressing those oh, okay. half ready okay. to go on so the then, side. So then what you did was how many of these big blocks did you make? How many of those big blocks? So in, in the quilt, there is yeah. nine uh, There is nine blocks in total in oh, the so quilt. Oh, so it's a nine patch, nine fabrics, nine, nine block. blocks. So that's three across and three down. That's right, that one, yeah. yeah. Um, and then just using the fabrics to make the binding on there. The only thing is if you do decide to use this technique and use the rest of the fabrics that are left in your bundle, yeah. um, the step-by-step step in the pattern instruction booklet shows you how to uh, join it slightly different. And in that case, we would just be joining the two raw edges together, which is actually easier, isn't it? Yeah. Faster and easier. Yeah. But you want them to finish the same on the binding there. Of course. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Um, Jan says, the other Jan, this is, I'd pick the same as you, John, but using the centre for a good contrast. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
That's what I was thinking the other Jan. Jan's with Use you. the blue in the center as your two, your two what's it? So right, uh, pattern on its own, pattern on its own. Very, very busy. 9.99, I'll put it into shot. 9.99, that, so you've seen, like we've got the red block and we've got Ian's, uh, the red bundle and we've got Ian's bundle, but if you get the pattern on its own, and you've seen just from the five pictures that we've shown, how many, how, how many different variations? Oh my, oh, I'll have to wait for it. I can see it before you can, you see, and I, I get overexcited. Not very good at hiding my excitement. <laughs> you ready? There we go. Look at this one. Adele, Skyfall, this is Skyfall. Shame you're not going to tonight. Las Vegas. Eh? She's singing tonight, Adele is at the... Uh... At the, oh, the Brits. At the Brits. Is it yeah. tonight, the Brits? Yeah. You're going? I'm, I was thinking about it. I'm not sure I can fit it in. Unless you got a better offer. Do you know what? Back in the day, I was invited. It used to be invited. And did you go? Br no. Why? Well, I was just like, oh, I'm too old. I even got invited to... Well, I went to some of the after parties. So I'd get there like at half past 12. You didn't do the red carpet. I wasn't too old on. to go party in the middle of the night, but too old to sit through. I'd, I'd have gone if the Spice Girls were there and everything like that. But it was a bit after that and I didn't know who any of the people were. Anyway, uh, sorry, let me see that picture again. Morning, John and Kerry. I made this quilt for a friend's little boy. It's a brilliant technique, so simple, but looks really tricky too. I love those colours. Now, hang on, have you got the elephant? Is that the elephant fabric in there? Have, hang on, I'm coming in. So don't cut up to me, Charlie, because I'm going to look at the screen. Yeah, look, it's that lovely elephant fabric in the blue. And then you've got all the like the animals in it. But how have you managed to get all the elephants going in the same direction? Because surely... Yeah, that's a lot of skill. If you t I suppose if you turn them all the same way, they'll all be going in the same direction, won't they? That's lovely. Nobody ever made me a quilt like that when I was younger. I've had lovely quilts since I've been older, but nobody made me a quilt... I can't go back in time. Uh, when we did nine patch, we were told to put the same colour square in the middle of nine blocks. It really made the little square pop from Joyce in Monmouthshire. Isn't that what you were saying? That's what we've put done, the, yeah. Put the, your, like on that one, you did, because obviously the reds are all very much of a muchness. But if you've got different ones, you put... Put the centre the, one in, it gives, makes and it the gives, pop. And that makes the little squares. To I really the like the picture that we saw that came in where the centre block was all different. The purple yes, one. Yes, yes, the yes, blue, yeah. Was it? The blue was purple, it was the blue one it? on the blue sofa. Yeah, yeah exactly. I really like that. Uh, thank you. Who was that there? Uh, Joyce. Thank you. Thank you ever so much, Joyce. I don't think there's a right or wrong way, is it? There's it's just, no, no. It's a nice it's like way to any... play with your colours. Exactly. It? And with then what what I do if uh, uh, um, what I would either do is do what you've done and colour the the squares in. Before I even started, I'd get a piece. I'd do it in paper. Mm. And I'd cut them out and move them around. Yeah. Then, then you're going to know because it'd be awful if you did it and then go, oh, I wish I put the orange yeah. there and not there. We but, should have put that in the book, shouldn't we, John? Well, no, no, no. We'll no. get in touch with you next time. Yeah, okay. Then. <laughs> I won't charge you very much money. I've got one more picture before we go. But, uh, but, but, but that way you're going to make sure that you get the right colour yeah. in the right place, aren't you? Uh, let's have a look at this picture. Oh my word! Oh, have they not sewn those together then? Hi, I like John and the Kerry. binding. Look at the binding. Oh, it's like rainbow binding, isn't it, that one? Hi, John and Kerry. This is one I made for my granddaughter, Madison. Oh, Alex's middle name's Madison. Last year as a lap quilt using fabrics in my leftovers. Love the... Ra oh, look, the rainbow binding on a roll. Oh, Jackie. Jackie, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I'm not saying that out loud. Blocked. She's blocked. Who's that, Jackie? Blocked. Let's, let's look at the quilt together. Let's look at the quilt again. So I, I thought, Jackie, that you'd pieced little pieces um, to make you square but apparently it's a fabric are you sure it's a fabric to print like that it's all different it's like colors. patchwork print isn't it yeah it's fabric. lovely it isn't great. it now you so you've used pink for all your little squares look but that's, are they different pinks or they're all the same no they're all the same aren't they oh that's lovely oh and we've got a controversial message from man it's an email we'll read this one out hang on Oh, okay. Then who's that from? Anne. Have you gone red, John? No, no, no I've gone red. <laughs> I hate being told off. That's you right. are definitely being told off. No. <laughs> Anne says, "Will you stop saying you're old? Because I'm the same age and I still think I'm young. I, I know I go on, but it's I don't feel old in everyday life. But I come here. My producer's thirty. My director's twenty-two. Twenty-two. And how old are you? 30 something? 31? 32? 38. Had to think oh, then. 38. 38. Ooh, you're doing... I'm quite cross because I turned 38 in December. And for the whole of last year, I told everybody I was 38. So I actually haven't aged. 
Oh, what, well, you just got your age wrong? <laughs> for a whole year. Oh. For a whole year. It was only when Craig on turn 40 that I realised there's a two age. Oh, I'm still only 38. Oh, okay. So I haven't Maybe he's aged. turned 41. Oh, no, God, don't tell him that. If he's watching, he'll be even... If, oh, he won't be we'll... watching. He'll be out on the golf course or something like that. Morning. <laughs> morning, everyone. I made... I nearly read that as disappointing. Then. I made three disappointing... Now, disappearing nine patch quilts for the... Oh, for the Linus Project. Using feature fabrics for the four corner squares. Lots of love from Sue in Nottingham. See, that's where I think... Well, like your, your, yeah. like your friend and everything like that. You know the kind of... Um, uh, what's what's your lady called that collects for the ch that, that, that when you make your pencil Karen. cases? Karen, Karen, I think, who does uses their what their hobby yeah. to help people less fortunate. So yeah. making quilts for for, like for charities, yeah. and then there's the lovely one, isn't? It? I don't know if this is Lance one where for premature babies and they put the little quilt over yeah, their. Yeah, um, we we've got lots of ladies who do that. I think I just think it's brilliant that you can you can put your hobby that you love doing and then passing it on to somebody less fortunate yourself. I oh here you go here you go. Uh, I made this for a friend at church who was very kind to my husband when he wasn't well. Oh, what a, you see, what a brilliant present. Because if you bought, if you bought that from a shop, the right? Uh, am I, the what? The sashing at the bottom. Oh, oh, yes. How fabulous is that? Oh, look at the bottom. That's really lovely, isn't it? Because the border. Are they, are they flags for something Well, I don't know if that one looks like a, one at the races, doesn't it? But... But if you went to, if you were thinking, oh, I want to buy somebody a present for looking after them, helping look after my husband, that would be hundreds of pounds yeah. to buy oh, that, gosh, wouldn't yeah. it? And then, but the thought, also, I think it's lovely that you've given time, I always think time, when a lot of my friends were first having babies, instead of buying, this sounds a bit mean now, but instead of <laughs> saying, here's a present, here's a baby grow, I'd say, here's three hours worth of babysitting when they're a bit older. Oh, because yeah. sometimes time, can I it's redeem mine? Will we friends with too my late children? Too late now. How old, yours are all old now, aren't they? How old's your youngest? Ten. My youngest he won't need babysitting, ten. will he? He'll be looking after me. Wake up! John, wake up! I need he my tea. He makes a nice cup of tea. I'll make you a nice cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, look, we've got to go on. Let me just quick do a quick, quick recap. The red one. The red one. Very popular, the red one. Disappearing Nine Patch. This is Moda. Disappearing Nine Patch in Moda. So you get nine different fat quarters. You see, oh, sorry, Hannah's had so many pictures in now. Sorry, we couldn't show them all. Sorry, 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 we couldn't show them all. We can look, we can see um, them. So hang on. So um, this one, like you've seen, the, all the different kinds of pictures that we've shown, this gives you a completely, this like gives you an overall pattern. You see, to me, I can't see the two little squares in that one. I can just see a lovely creation in reds and pinks and creams and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, at thirty nine ninety nine, very popular. That once you get the instructions and you get your nine mode. Of, there it is. Look, so it's lovely, isn't it? That's just such a lovely. It's kind of joyous, isn't it? All those reds and creams in there. Be nice on the back of a sofa. That one as well, not just in your bed. Message on the bottom very quickly. Kerry and John, I'm so excited. I ordered my first ever quilt, the Disbring Nine Patch in reds. Can't wait to make it from Sue in Cornwall. Yay! That's what we love. That's what we love. And Sue, it's easy. It's easy. And also the quilt, what, how have you quilted yours then? Where have you I've, quilted? Um, and again, that's in the pattern. So I've just done in the centre of the blocks. So where okay. we join the blocks, just some nice, nice um, But you can do whatever you want. You could, you could even do diagonal on that, couldn't you? Because you've got the corners yes. of each of the squares to follow. So it'd be really lovely to do a cross hatch on it as well if you wanted to. So all you need is a 47 inch square piece of wadding and a 47 inch square piece of fabric for the backing. Uh, you're backing and then you're done. Right, okay, so that's the red one. This is Ian's one, the one Ian's put together for you. So in this one, you get pink hearts, blue hearts, grey leaves, orange hearts and white. £31.99. £31.99. That's the Ian special for you, those. When you make it up, make sure you think of Ian. Morning, John and Kerry. The design wall is good for arranging your blocks before you assemble them. Sharon, it is. I don't know if we still have that in stock, do we? Add stop. We're bound to get it back in again, though. Bound to get it back in again. Oh, what she do? oh look, what, what winky face, winky face, tongue sticking out. <laughs> Flower butterfly from Shazza in Nottinghamshire. That's not your mum, is it? Is that your mum? <laughs> OK, so when Hannah was producing at the beginning, Shazza, Sh uh, Hannah's mum, rang the call centre and said, that's my daughter producing the show Aww. at the moment. 
own. She is mad. Right, patting on its own. <laughs> that's lovely. I wouldn't say that's mad. She's mad. <laughs> I tried to, I, I said hello to her, tried to take a picture at Festival of Quilts and she went, remember that time? She was like, don't take a picture of me. Don't take a picture of me. <laughs> you can see where Hannah gets it from now. The da- a dad, Kelvin, Felix, Felix, is, um, <laughs> he's so quiet. And then there's a mum. Anyway, 9.99. That's like me and Craig. He's very quiet. Is he quiet? He's really quiet. Oh, 9.99. Beautiful. Right, we're going to go. We're going to go. So uh, you're back in an hour's time. You're going to be... Oh, the egg's going crazy. Shall we see the egg? Shall we see it? Oh, no, that's right. We've got a picture. I was thinking I was going to have to jump and get no, it. No, no. Now, now, I just need to ask a question. The roses aren't in the kit. They are. Oh, they are, Hannah. They are. Everything's in the kit that you need. Yeah, what, what? Everything that you need is in the kit. In there. So, so, just go, so go back to the picture again, the big picture. Sorry. Charlie. Right, so everything you need, the blue ribbon, the pink ribbon, the fabrics and the roses, and the egg. And the egg. And the instructions. And the fabrics are pre-cut. And the fabric, all in the kit. Going crazy for that you are, going absolutely crazy for that one. And it's no sew. No sew. How'd you stick that? Well, you'll find out. Come back in an hour and you'll find <laughs> out. So there's that. There's also the wreath, which I've... All, so hang on, hang on. So that egg is my present from Kerry for Easter, right? No chocolate, but it's an egg. <laughs> right? She's also given me this now. I love it. I gave you my time. Oh, and my time. No, no, I love it. I love it. Would you put it with nice little chocolate in it? But anyway, no. I, I love that. I love that. So we're going to be... Oh, oh, so, oh, Charlie. Look at those photos. He's, he's, shame's not in the middle, but that's all right. <laughs> so, uh, so we're making the wreath, the egg... And the table runner, blimey, you're going to be busy in the next hour, uh, in her next hour. Uh, isn't it lovely? Now, I think if you don't want a table runner, because you know I hate table runners, right? Make a, you could make a mug rug or, or, or a, a placemat or anything yeah. out of each of those blocks, yeah. couldn't you? Absolutely. I think it's so spring-like and gorgeous. Now, there's that version. The, Lib- the background is Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, I think, isn't it? Something like that. And then you've got your other fabrics on there. We do have another fabric, which didn't get made up. <laughs> but it's got metallic in it. I know, I know. It's another Ian special. Right, so don't go anywhere. Kerry will be back in an hour. I'll be back in four minutes when I, well, it's tools and it's Valentine's fabric and it's a circular and it's a cutter. Have you got one of those? You should get one of those for your cutting. Oh, yes, yeah. The long ruler with the guillotine on. Anyway, we'll see you in four from now. I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Right, I've not got many of these left, just so you know. Not got, we had more, more came in, more came in, and every day another one goes, another one goes. How many? Oh yeah, you see, half the stock of, that they sent in has now gone. Um, and it's good we're doing it this way around because I need to press a piece of fabric for my next demonstration after this. So chat amongst yourselves for a minute because I, I just need to press this. Oh, the pressing is the demo, of course. Yeah, but it's not part of my spiel, you see. I haven't, I haven't learnt this bit, you see. I just need to do this because in a minute I'm going to be showing you the guillotine cutter and the, and the circle cutter and I need my fabric to be nicely pressed for that, you see. So I'll just do that. Look how easily those creases. Now that fabric, this, this um, aqua fabric has been under the desk, folded for ages and ages and ages. And look how the creases just completely come out of that. Right, okay, I'll just put that over here. I'm not going over here. Don't cut me up over here because I'm coming back now. Right, this iron, we love this iron. We love it, we love it, we love it. Dulcie wants some of these for her co costume department on her film. She has, but she needs new ones. So she was thinking that's it's really... And now Dulcie has worked, for you don't know, Dulcie runs big costume departments for big like Netflix films and Hollywood films and things like that, like I used to do, but she still does it now. So in her kit, she needs irons like this the whole time. When Rebecca used to work at Angels, which is a costume uh, production and iron um, and um, hire company, in the morning she worked in the workroom. 
which is where we first met each other, um, she was, it was her job in the morning to go in while they're cold and fill each of them with water because it is a pressurised steam iron. Look at this, right, you ready? Look at the steam. Look at the amount of steam that comes out of there. Now, it's a steam iron, but you don't have to do it with steam if you don't want to. I know it seems really ridiculous, but if you're a quilter, a lot of quilters, oh, let me just turn that around. A lot of quilters don't uh, like to use steam. So let me take you through it, right? So you fill it with water here. Now, you must make sure that you fill it when there's no pressure, because this is a pressurised tank of water here. You must do it when it's cold and the pressure has gone down. When I opened it this morning, I don't know when it was last switched on, it does make a very rude noise when you open it, like that, when you let the pressure out and everything, but make sure it's cold. Now, if you're worried that there are children in the household or a husband, you might not understand that. This, you see, this is like absolutely, you can't just unscrew that. It's one of those safety catches where you have to push down and twist, push down. Hey, what? Yeah, I couldn't get it open this morning. It was early this morning. Anyway, this here is your pressure. This is here um, for how much uh, pressure you want of your steam. As I say, this is a tank full of, now it does get hot. This is a tank of water here that is pressurized in. This is your iron with a lovely cork handle so it's not going to get hot. That's like, uh, you've just seen, that's your steam button there. It does have a dial on it like your good old fashioned, um, um, not kettle, it's not a kettle, John. Irons have, right? Underneath here, you've got a silicon mat, so it sits on the silicon mat, and then it's got a drip tray there just in case it does drip down. Oh, while that's up, I'll just show you these, right? To switch it on and switch on the steam. Now, this is when it's ready, the light goes off there, but also when the tank gets empty, this will start flashing. Now, as I say, don't, don't, don't start using it. Get it hot and everything and then realise the tank because you'll have to wait for ages for the pressure to go back down again. Always fill it when it's cold. Um, and then you can just keep ironing and ironing and ironing. Now, not only is it good for ironing, it's also good for steaming uh, curtains, which are already hanging. It's good for sanitising uh, sofas, uh, chairs, mattresses, because as we always say, after Charlie won't know this, if you buy a mattress 10 years after you've bought it, you meant to change your mattress every eight years, just in case. I'm not selling mattresses, but just so you know. But the weight of a mattress after 10 years is twice as heavy as when you bought it the first time. Why? Because it's full of your flakes of old skin and it's full of poo from little animals that live in your mattress. I'm not being disgusting. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's true. But steam it, Ooh, steam it and sanitise it. They say steam is one of the best sanitizers out there, don't they? Um, so it plugs into a normal iron, a normal plug, sorry. Now, you're thinking, well, John, my ironing board isn't big enough for this to go on there. This weighs one and a half kilos, right? Just like a, like a normal heavy, you know, like a hot, no, it's a heavy domestic iron, that, but a nice weight to it. Um, you're thinking, well, where's it going to sit? It's not going to sit on my thing. Well, it comes with this, look. It do come with this. Right, a lovely little trolley with wheels on it. The actual unit, that the size of that unit fits on there perfectly. So it can be underneath your ironing board or if you need to wheel it to the bed or wheel it to the curtains or anything like that, you can do because it's a fantastic little um, uh, uh, trolley. You get this water filler and you also get a little jug with it as well. The other thing I haven't pointed out, <coughs> it still has the introductory price on it, which is no longer introductory, but you still get £50 off and you can still get it on split pay. So if you buy it today and you want to take up the split pay, you don't have to, you can just pay £299 for it. 99.66, pay the first instalment, it will be sent out to you after the first instalment. Now, this comes from Franklin's, right, in Colchester. I bought my very first steam iron as I bought my very first overlocker from Franklin's in Colchester. They're a family-run business and so, so, so dependable and reliable. Right, so you're thinking, well, why would I need this? Because I don't do anything heavyweight or anything like that. This is brilliant for your shirts. If you want to get, if you've got a piece of clothing, you can put it on a mannequin or put it on a coat hanger and steam it. The steam is so powerful, the creases will all drop out of it. Gary said when we did it, just bring your shirt in, John. Don't press it at home. Hang it on a hanger and just steam it and all the creases will just drop out. It's brilliant. Even on tough cotton like this, right? Now, if you've got 100% wool like this, this is a Catherine Wright wool from her shop that she used on one of her handbag shows. Literally, am I in the right shot? Yeah, there we go. Look, and you just saw it with the cotton, didn't you? The 
So if you don't want to press the, oh, I love the smell of wet, wet wool. Um, you can just steam it like that. Get rid of all of the, um, the wrinkles and things like that from it. It is fantastic. Or if you're thinking, well, I'd only use cottons. I only use cottons and chiffons. And you can use it on everything. Absolutely everything. Look how creased this piece of fabric is. It's our um, Rose and Hubble shutters. Uh, shutters. Look. You see, now I like the sheets on my bed to be beautifully pressed. When I make it with fresh sheets, I love it have sheets that are beautifully pressed. Look at that. With just one going over, gets rid of all of the creases. So it's not just for somebody who runs a costume department or runs a wedding dress shop or anything like that. It's fantastic to have in the home as well. £299, split pay 99.66 three times, and you're saving £50. It is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant buy. And as I say, we had them they sold out. We got more in, they sold out. Then we got more in, we only got half of that stock. How long this um, introductory offer of £50 off is going to be going for now? Now, that's how much you'll pay for it. That's how much it is. It's £299 with £50 off. Brilliant, isn't it? Have a think about it. Also, this is fantastic because the wire, if you do have this underneath your ironing board, uh, un uh, underneath your ironing board, the cables are long enough for you to do the whole length of your ironing board and things. £299. Moving on. Make sure you check out on that. If you've got that, check out, check out, check out. Oh, okay, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were doing, so, uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do um, sewing machines in a minute, if that's all right. Right, where would you like to go now? Circle cutter. Now, I don't know how many people have been playing with this since I last used it, so I'm hoping it's got a sharp, um, a sharp um, blade in it. Right, so... Oh, no, that was wrong. Well, I'm going to, it's very wasteful. People complain when they do it like that, so I'm going to do it like this. Right, so this is how yours will arrive. If you want to cut a perfect circle, then this is what you want. Now, on the website, they've forgotten to take a picture of the cutter. You do get the ruler and the cutter with it. You get all of this with it, right? So inside here is this. So this is your ruler. Now, you can cut, you can cut, it's upside down, you can cut half circles or full circles out of here. Obviously, if you're cutting a half circle and you're going to sew it to another one, you'll need to have seam allowance on it. But let me just explain it to you. So, this is the ruler. You can do anything from a 2-inch to a 12-inch circle. That includes quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now, if you're going to do a circle, you need to fold your fabric like I have here. So you've got your, your fold there and you line up the ruler. So say we were doing a six inch, a six inch circle. You line up this straight line here, this solid line here, and obviously that solid line there, but I'm not wasting fabric, I'm putting on here. And if your fabric has got a pattern, then that's your line there to make sure it's central up the top there. So that's your ruler, Fisker's ruler. Um, if, oh, I'll show you how to do half, half ones in a minute. This is your blade, right? This is how your blade comes in here. It's got a safety um, cap on it there. Now, what it is, is inside here, right, that's your blade in there. Now, the blade only engages when you push this down like that. So do not pick it up like that, right? And you'll also notice, I don't know why, but somebody's coloured these nodules in with a felt pen for you to see better. Yours won't be, yours won't be coloured in with a felt pen. I don't know who's done that. Right, so what you do is you see the nodules there, you line them up with the circle of your size. So I said seven inch, didn't I? I'm going to cut a seven inch circle. Now you'll notice that you've lined the fold of the fabric up here with that, it's moved, you know, there you go, with that black line. But the, the grooves carry on further. That's so that you can have a, you know, not starting off on the edge of the fabric. So what you do is you take your two nodules, you drop them into the seven uh, groove, right? Then what you do is you just push it around like that to make sure nothing's happening because the blade's not engaged or anything. What you then do is you then press down on your blade. You go round like this to the other side. Now, this is, the blade's gone back in again, you see, because you've stopped pressing it down. Put the safety cap back on. 
Remove your ruler. Right, now, this is the moment of truth. Arr! Perfect seven inch circle. Look, there's your perfect seven inch circle. How brilliant is that? How fantastic is that? Now, if you're thinking, well, actually, I'd like a circle that's like blue on one side and orange on the, or any other color on the other side. You, what you then do is you do it, uh, you do it, uh, this is the straight, edge. here you go, I'll do it on this end here. So you do it the other way round with your two raw edges together. Now you'd need to straighten those off. Oh, sorry, you'd need to straighten those off. But do exactly the same thing. I won't actually cut it because I need to use this end to show you the next thing. But what you do is you see you've got dotted lines here. You match the dotted line up with the raw edge, which you've squared off. Obviously, this one's not squared off. You line the dotted line up there, dotted line up there, dotted line... There's not a dotted line there. And then you do your um, pattern there. You literally do exactly the same as you did before. But this time, you'll get two half circles. But you then get quarter an inch seam allowance along here to sew them together. Obviously, you'd only do it on single fabric if you only needed one half of a circle to make the uh, half a circle to go with a different colour. Um, and that's how you cut your perfect circles. $31.99. For, for $31.99, you get this and you get this. Okay, so then in, all the other thing is, is uh, there's, um, there's a, uh, you're wondering about the blade, right? Now, I don't know if we've got them for sale on our website at the moment, but it's a different, it's, a, it's not like your normal rotary cutter blade. I mean, obviously it works the same way, but the way you change it, is you make sure your safety cap's on. You literally twist the top there, you turn that there, so that, that's your blade unit. So when you buy a new blade, you'll get all of that. You literally take it out, then when you get your new blade, so you throw that one away, dispose of it safely, preferably in the Waitrose blade or any other pl pl blade place. I don't know whether anyone else that does it. Then you pop that back in there, you line up the two gaps. Can you see the gap there with the nodule? Twist it round, put the top back on, Come on. Come on, John. Where is it? There it is. Nodule, nodule. There you go. And it's screwed back on so you're ready to go. Now, what would you use it for? Applique. Uh, you could use it for uh, the base. Is the, how, many, how often do you have to cut a perfect circle for the base of a, um, you know, base of a, like a storage thing? Or a bag, bag, like, like little school bag. Or maybe you're going to do a drunkard's pathway. You could cut them in half. Or you do half circles, then cut it in half. That could be your drunkard's pathway, isn't it? Um, and what, uh, what, what does it say? Let's see if it gives you suggestions on here. Uh, 11 different, sorry, Hannah, 11 different circle options with quarter inch seam lengths, half, half, um, template grips fabric to help keep the fabric in place. Use with a, oh, <coughs> yeah, make sure you've got a cutting mat. Always put it on a cutting mat. It doesn't say what you'd use it for, though, so I'm not really sure what other projects you might need circles for. Anyway, it's lovely. It's always one of our best sellers, this. One of our best sellers. So I'll put that to one side. Right, and while I'm here, I might as well show this here. This guillotine cutter is fantastic. Right, so this. Now, if you know we always say with the rotary cutter, um, Always cut away from yourself. With this, you can cut away from yourself and towards yourself. It's very, very safe. It's from Fiskars. It's got the handle here. Now, you can cut up to six inch strips with this or six inch stripes with it, right? Because what you do is this is your cutter. That's, oh, sorry, you can't see it. That's your rotary cutter. Again, it doesn't engage until you press down on it. You see there? Now, it takes a normal 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade from, well, any, any of this is Fiskars, so you could buy Fiskars ones or anything like that. But it cuts straight lines. Now, Alice, Alice and Marion, Marion Allison, she's got one of these. Wendy Orlando's got one of these. Um, Yvonne mcatamney has got one of these. They are apps. Oh, right. Now, if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. There's more people got it in their basket than we've got stock of. Basically, I'll just explain to you what you do is you can line up your fabric. You'll square yours off. Don't use the salvage like I have. Right, and if you're thinking, I need to cut myself some two and a half inch strips. 
So, you line the edge of your fabric there with your, oh, no, two and a half, John. Two and a half line, two and a half line there. Now, as I said, you can cut this way or this way, but as you see at the moment, it's not doing anything because you've not pressed it down. People with dexterity issues, these are fantastic for you because literally, you press down, oh, I think this one needs a new blade. Oh, sorry, this one needs a new blade. But basically, you line it up. Just it. There you go. Look. It, there's only one left. There's only one left. So I'll do that again for you, shall I? So you need a two and a half inch strip. You line this up with two and a half. Hang on, one, two and a half. There it is. Line the top up with two and a half. Press it down. Oh, you see, yeah, this definitely needs a new blade, this one. There you go. It's a normal 45 millimeter blade. Make your own design rolls. Make your own jenny rolls. There's one left. That's all. Just one left. Nine of the circle cutters left. One of these left. That's it. That's it. Do not pick it up when you're using it. Don't, I mean, it's fine to every now and then, but don't pick it up like that because that's how uh, Alice and Marion's broke. And also don't leave it leaning against a wall like that because your husband could come in and tread on it because that's what happened to Wendy Orlando's. So there's only one of these left. One, and also when you're moving it, don't pick it up. Let me show you this way around. Don't, I'm not going to press it, right? Don't pick it up like that. Hello, John. Cut a ruler combo is a game changer. Love mine from Caroline. They are, aren't they? But don't pick it up like that because if you press down there, the blade comes down and I don't want you to cut yourself. There's a handle here to pick it up with. I wouldn't hang it with that. It comes in a nice big box. Oh, this is the one that Elliot left on the trolley, right? Um, comes in a nice big box. I just store it in the box. When you're not using it, store it in the box. But as Alice, Alison Marion, Marion Allison says, she uses hers every day. She uses hers all the time. Right, so I'm just going to put that there. I've done exactly with it what I told you not to do with it. I've lent it against the wall. Righty-ho. Next. We're going to do panels. Hannah's romantic panels. Well, they are romantic in a way, Hannah. Oh, what's that again? That one, yeah. Right, hang on, let's see what I've got here. That one's hair in there. That's a pterodactyl. So this is the egret. Jacaranda. It's called jacaranda tree, this one. Yeah. I just lo I love hearing Hannah say egret. Like regret. Full of regret, this tree is. So this is the jacaranda, 100% cotton. Uh, Hannah's put it in because it's romantic and it's Valentine's Day next week and she's dropping hints to Steph, the boyfriend. Oh, hang on. Um, there's so many. What's everyone saying? Lynn, I'm so glad someone has told you off because I'm 73 and you say you're old. It makes me feel prehistoric. Well, Lynn, you are really, aren't you? Love the program. Do you sell the cutter separately for the circular? No, we don't, I'm afraid. We don't. It comes as a, as a team, I'm afraid. And Lynn, I'm only joking, by the way. Beautiful. What would you do with yours, Hannah? She'd make a lovely wall hanging, like a Japanese wall hanging. What are they called? No, no, Noras. Are they called Noras? Noreens, Noras. Anyway, you make a lovely, like, panel. What, so you'd cut that out like that in a big circle and make a cushion. What would you do with its feet? Make another cushion. You can make the front and the back of a cushion, couldn't you? Yeah, there you go. So there's the front of the cushion and there's the back of the cushion. No. Anyway, it's gorgeous colours, beautiful colours. 100% cotton. Right, Hannah's never seen the pterodactyl one before. It's not a pterodactyl. Is it a heron or a crane? The great blue it is. The great blue. There you go. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, wait. 
Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence, the great blue heron panel, 70 centimeters. Look at it, now you know that it's in still water because water lilies can't live in fast flowing water because I had this lovely pond in my garden in um, Twickenham, which had a great big kind of gushing fountain in it. So I'm going to put water lilies in. So no, you're not, won't live, won't live there. Anyway, so it's gorgeous, isn't it? Would you use it for a centre of quilt? Would you make a wall hanging out of it? Would you make a blind out of it? A big pair of pants, says Hannah. Beautiful, isn't it? What would I make from it? Thanks, Charlie. Uh, I would make it in the centre of a quilt and then I'd do medallion quilting going round it with lovely, soft, gentle colours. Maybe some butterflies or maybe some... Hannah's whispering, can you hear her? A cupboard if you don't have what? A door on your cupboard if you haven't got a door on your cupboard. Well, I haven't ordered my new kitchen yet, so maybe I'll do that then. Anyway, 11.99, let's move on to the next project. <laughs> there we go. Where am I going next, then? Oh, yeah, now this, this, right, this was actually printed for a project. Remember, we had the book about miniature quilts, and um, it was printed up for one of the ones that Emma Bradford made of like a seagull on the beach, wasn't it, this one? And all the different waves. And then everyone wants to buy it. Can you have it on its own? Can you have it on its own? Can you have it on its own? Well, we've got it on its own. And it's only 9 99 Now, it doesn't, there's no seagull on it. It's called Seagull Quilt Fabric Panel. 9 99 exclusive to us. Can't get it anywhere else. My gran always used to refer other as old ladies as poor old dears when she saw them and she was well into her 80s, never saw herself. I do that though, okay? I go, oh, and when I see something, well, it used to be when the Jeremy Carl show was on, I used to watch it and go, and they go, oh, I'm 47. I go, 47, you look twice as old as me. Uh, anyway. No. <laughs> no, but I also say that, don't I? Look at that poor little old man crossing the road. Johnny's younger than you are. Yeah. That's a mirror. Beautiful. I love the colours on here. Oh, that's the still. There's the overhead. There's the real thing. I don't know why I've got an ox there. There you go. Move that that's about to sell out. Congratulations if you get that. Right, now, this is, right, now, we... How am I going to put this, right? Love is here all the time, is it? Not just for Valentine's Day. Not that I'm bitter and twisted, but I've got love always. Oh, that's a film, isn't it? Oh, no, it's love actually. <laughs> Which I could have done, but turned it down. It's one of Hannah's favourite ever films. Surrounding love. Are we doing the quilt first or the, oh, the fabric? Susie did this. Now, have you got a picture of it? Charlie. Not that we shouldn't have told you this before we started, Charlie. Come to the overhead and I'll show you what's available in the kit. So you get the instruction. This is Susie Duncan instruction. Now you get the panel that goes in the middle. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this. It's something Susie. But we're not saying it's just for Valentine's Day because love is always. Hannah always loves me. And this is Hannah on a night out. With her. Remember she used to wear her red shoes and a round handbag that she used to take out back in the day when clubbing was allowed. Beautiful. Oh, I think the heron looks scary, says Diane. <coughs> but you've got a fabulous shirt on. Thank you. Um, anyway, that's the panel. That's the panel. Then you get half a metre of the white. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So you get the, fa the panel, then you get half a metre of white, you get half a metre of red, you get half a metre of pink crisscross, and half a metre of love letters. £37. And what Susie did was she showed you how to make the hearts at the top of the... Oh, yes. There's a printing error. You will get one of these in it, which is that page redone. There. She's shown you how to do those lovely hearts. That doesn't have to just be for Valentine's Day. Could be whenever you want to say, I love you. 
We'll get Charlie to make some for his girlfriend. Charlie, we'll have to get you on the sewing machine and things. Oh, he's down for that. There you go. He loves what? Oh, he's going to learn to sew. Brilliant. At £37.99, you get the instructions, two metres of fabric and the panel. Panel on its own. Here you go. I'll hold, actually, I'll hold it up. Oh, sorry, Charlie, hold it up. There we go, look, 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 look. There's only four of these on their own. Beautiful. But the iron's still there, Hannah. Have a look at that, then. Beautiful. There's only four of the panels left. Four of the panels left. Now, keep looking at that, though, while you check out. Just staying with you while you check out. Oh, they're not here. Okay. Well, Kerry's got one. Yeah. <laughs> No. Right, okay, they're about to go. They're about to sell out. Right, so I've got some fabrics here from that range. Um, now, obviously, uh, they're not going to be... Well, what, what day is it today? T Tuesday. Tuesday the 8th. And when's Valentine's Day? Monday the 14th. Might be a squeeze to get them to you and to... Um, Make something out of them. Depends how fast you can run something up, though. Elliot only wanted a pair of boxer shorts for his um, Valentine present. Here you go. Buy the half metre now. £6.99. It's Henry Glass Fabric for £6.99 and a half metre. Oh, so last year... Or was it the year before now? It's only a year. Mm. Anyway, last year we got f she got flowers. This year she's getting a meal for two from Marks and Spencer's because it's cheaper. Well, he's got bills to pay now, hasn't he? At six ninety nine. No, me love gnomes and envelopes on red. Okay. Which one do you want to do next? This one, kisses and hugs. Oh, there's two with XO on them, but you mean this one? Cuddling. Well, they're not cuddling, they're snuggling, falling asleep next to each other. They've had a row. Cute, aren't they? They did gnomes on the great British throwdown. Was it last week or the week before? Oh, it's lovely, Hannah. It's such a lovely programme. It's, uh, it's, like, it's like, you know, the cakes and the dancing and the ice skating, but they make pottery instead. Six ninety nine. Oh dear, the romance is falling out of their lives. She watched The Apprentice rather than talk to her boyfriend last night. Beautiful. Right, next one. Um, I haven't got one with bows now. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it's hiding. These are angels. They've got wings. They've got wings. Uh, oh, it's multi-directional. I think I'd have it that way. Oh, no, it's multi-directional. I asked my daughter what she was getting her boyfriend for Valentine's Day, and she said, don't be ridiculous, we don't do Valentine's Days anymore. Oh, and they say romance is dead. Beautiful. What are you getting your girlfriend, Charlie? Blimey. I won't say, she won't be, what, is she at work? 
Oh. Charlie, yeah, am I allowed to say? Charlie's girlfriend's training to be a nurse. Oh, I love people who do proper jobs like that. Well, they're doing something to help the community, aren't they? It's brilliant. Anyway, he's, he's doing flowers. He's cooking her a dinner, her favourite dinner. Is it egg and chips? Don't laugh. That's my favourite dinner. <laughs> I'd be chuffed if someone came round and made me egg and chips and beans. And some no secco. That's like Prosecco without any alcohol in it. Not the one they give it talk. Right, next one. Th this one. Stripe fabric. Ah, oh. She 22 as well. She's 40 hour old. Oh, 24. Oh, she's got a toy boy. Anyway. Now, do you need to know that this goes round this way down the fabric? <clears throat> Gorgeous, right. And then I've got two, which one next? One with writing or the one with heart? Writing, next please. Happy, oh this one, now this one is for Valentine's Day. This one is specific, date specific, this one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. So in, Mo in America, Mother's Day is a complete, Mothering Sunday is a completely different day, right? But it's Valentine's, do they even do it abroad? And if they do, what date do they do it on? Yeah, Christine says she'd been married to Gary for 30 years in May, together for 39 years in June, and we still do Valentine's Day. Romance is not dead. That's only because she wants a new sewing machine. Beautiful. And then last but not least, we've got the little hearts. Do you? Yeah, this is a different range completely, this one. Oh, so, so is this part of this range here? But they're bundles, aren't they? Oh, okay. I thought they were bundles. When I prepped this morning, I thought they were bundles. This is a different range completely. This is 7.49, love it in the air, hearts on white. Mother's Day or gift thing or anything like that. Binding maybe for a love quilt. <laughs> I just made that up. I don't, I don't know if there's such a thing as a love quilt. <laughs> don't. Move it on. Right, this next, fa are, we, are we carrying on with this fabric? Because it's beautiful, this fabric. One I thought was in bundles. Yep. Oh, I've got two of those. The big, the big one. Yeah. Now this, oh, hang on. This one's got two numbers on it. It's got 28 and 70 on it. Okay, I'll put that there. One of them might be missing in a minute. There we go. So this is Love Hearts. Can I do what? Oh, he's telling me what to do now. 7.49, for me. love is in the air, hot air balloons on white. Hot, 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 hot. There's nobody in the balloons, look. It's going to sell out. It's about to sell out. <laughs> Next. Okay, I'm going to do, because uh, I've got this one. This is blue Paris, this one. This one's a blue background with the Eiffel Tower on it and lovely roses. Has it got a number? Yep, 60. Zulu 60. Zulu 60. It's lovely, that, isn't it? I'm thinking the lining of a bag. Nothing romantic. I'm just thinking about the lining of a bag. Well, you know. Oh, she wants an iron. She doesn't want to. <laughs> she says, I'm after the iron. I'm after the iron, John, not the sewing machine. See, it's good to have a, it's good to have a, every day is Valentine's Day, says Margaret. Margaret, you're obviously very, oh, I can see from your picture, you're happily in love, you see. Not bitter and twisted like me. Me and my hubby, this is Becky Alexander Frost now, me and my hubby have bought ourselves a big Lego kit as a joint present for Valentine's Day and wedding anniversary, as that's the day after on the 15th. But honestly, I probably won't let him build it. <laughs> 
Oh, poor old Ginger Ninja. Oh, he's lovely, her husband. He works in a bank. Or for a bank, not in a bank. Love listening while making Easter bags. John, I'd make you chips and beans, but not eggs, because I can't cook eggs. That's that harder than bricks, love Morag. I'll do the eggs, Morag. I'll do the eggs uh, from Morag. It's a long way to come, though. A long way to come for the chips and the beans, isn't it? I like poached eggs best, but I'm rubbish at poached eggs. I'm rubbish at poached eggs. I've bought every gadget going. The little bags, the little baskets, the everything. Never can never do them. Right, I've even got those lovely poaching tins that we had when we were little. Right, Paris with bicycles and hearts. Oh, hang on. Now, this hasn't got a number. Is this 70? Yep, there I found it then. So, uh, had a made a poached egg the other night and dropped it. Well, well you didn't do this, did you? Right, so you, you, the cooker's here. She got it out the pan like that. And then walked across like that, and it fell off, honestly. Oh, yes. Oh, Steph bumped into the oven door. 749, love is in the air. Air balloons with Eiffel on pink. It's cute, isn't it? Again, no people. Not many people in this love story. What's not quite right? Oh, the scale's not quite right. No, well, that's one one off your mantelpiece. You know, you get my nan used to have an Eiffel Tower on her mantelpiece in the olden days. Lovely, beautiful. Then I've got two more in this row. And you need to look away if you're watching. Butterflies. This could be anything. This could be a make a lovely quilt, this one. This could be people where the love has flown out of their lives and they're single, bitter and twisted and left at home on their own. <laughs> I met my husband at 17 on Valentine's Day, 39 years ago. I've served two life sentences as a punishment. Sue, so you're not allowed to write that. <laughs> You're really not allowed to write that, but it's funny. Butterflies. Right, the, the last one's my favourite. Oh, no, I've got two, sorry, I've got two. No, I've got two left, but this is my favourite. Oh, yeah. Look, there you go, this is my favourite. Vintage. Oh, there's only a metre, this one left. Only a metre left. Love is in the air, every sight and every sound. Love is in the air. Right, then this one here. <laughs> right, come on, the Charlie, do your magic. This isn't cream fabric. It's like beautiful. I'd call it wedding. Oh, you can see it, look, just there. Can you see, look? Love, they've got a Paris-themed wedding or getting married in Paris or got engaged in Paris. Love is in the air, Eiffel Tower, white on white. Can you just see it? Can you see it at home? Yeah, yeah. Normally on the website, we have um, a copy of it and they colour it in, don't they? So you can see the print. Oh, there you go. So now, the, yours won't be coloured in like that. They've done that so you can see what the white on white pattern is. She soon said, it's all right, he doesn't come into my sewing room, so he can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. What were you saying, Hannah? Sorry. Oh, did you? Right, here we go. Panel to go with. Now, this one, the, the Eiffel Tower, I think, is more in um, proportion, isn't it? See, no, there's no, again, nobody, nobody's at that cafe. Les Deux Magots. It's not Les Deux Magots, it's not that colour, is it? Beautiful. So hang on. Window boxes. Win no, my house isn't on there. 
I love these painterly flowers at the top here, though. That's my favourite bit there. Moving on. Right, now I've got more butterfly fabric, Ange. Look away. What time is it? Oh, I've only got 15 minutes. Cracky. Come on. Right, so this one is um, Feathered Beauty Butterfly on Pale Blue. I've never seen this one before. What's the matter with me? I keep getting it wrong in the wrong place, though, don't I? Oh, it's only ever been on once before, this. It's lovely, isn't it? Keep going through. There's quite a lot of this one. It's only ever been on air once before, so it's a new one, this one. Six, and it's only 6 99 half a metre. And they've called it Butterflies on Light. I think they missed out the blue bit. I think they might have been in a rush. Alison Marion, Marion Alison says, well-deserved day off on Valentine's Day. Steam train from Utoxeter, the prison, to Cardiff and back again. Packing up a nice picnic to take with us. That's only because she wants one of those expensive mugs that she got for Christmas, you see. And then uh, Princess What's It got engaged. I got engaged in France. A little quayside village called Enfleur. Oh, very nice. So where's Alice and Marion going on the steam train? I hope it's got windows and things in it. No, 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 but sometimes they're open. The ones in Africa that I've been on are open-sided. You're supposed to have been to get another set two sewing machines, by the way. Yeah. Right, here we go. Now, I've not got much of this one left, the dark blue one. Six ninety nine. I'm only going to have time to do the six eighty anyway, really. Feathered, beautiful. Oh, no, this one's just called Undark. Maybe the whole range was blue and they just got fed up of writing blue. That's allowed, that's allowed, that's allowed. Well done. Pre-cuts now. I've got holiday, celebrate. It's called holiday love. It is 47.99. Oh, now have I got the open one of these then, Charlie? Uh, excuse me. Why have you just knocked 10 pounds off? Are we suddenly doing clearance or something? These are gorgeous. I love these. If you're going to make a red and white quilt, how stunning would these be? They're 10 inch squares, remember? 37.99. Holiday love, 10 inch charm pack, 42 pieces. Right, I'm going to open this one. Gorgeous. Charlie's got to practice how to pack away a 10 inch charm pack. You see, so. Okay, look, so you get the red. Now on the, on the website, it looks like it's a five inch charm, uh, charm pack. It's not, it's a 10 inch layer cake. Kisses and hugs. Look, hearts. Oh, actually, this one, this one has to be, um, this one's not past quality control. Well, actually, that might be an extra one, actually. I'll count them before I check, but anyway. But Charlie can have that. He can make a napkin for his Valentine's dinner. There we've got big hearts. I like that one. It's nice, isn't it? Hannah likes love. <sighs> Thank you. Diagonal stripes. I meant to say I love you back, aren't I, at that point? Then what's this, then? No, 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 but the petals are hearts. You can't see it there, yeah. I love flower. Oh, hang on. There's your, se there's your second serviette for Valentine's Day, Charlie. I've saved the night. Look at the love flower. Could you make a massive disappearing nine patch for a layer cake? You could indeed. You could indeed. 
Then you've got hearts in... Uh, as long as there's nine fab... Well, no, you don't need nine fabrics, really, do you? Then, look at that. That's nice with a red background. Then we've got the little hearts on red. Then you've got your kisses. Bunting! You can make lovely... Love bunting. <laughs> Do not try and make bunting out of that. Use that as your... Oh, no, you can do your template. No. <laughs> no. Gorgeous. Lovely. £10 off. I don't know why. I don't know why. £10 off. Just enjoy it. Well done. If you've got that, loads of people got that one in their basket. You do need to check out, though. You do need to check out. Morning, John. Just opened a box from Sane Street with my Lula Pink Charm pack in and early Valentine's Day card from Stuart. Oh, what? The, the um, budgie cage liner. I know. I mean, I'm on with him on Saturday. He'll get his own back. Look, so if do you want the design roll? We can call this a jelly roll, though, can't we? Same fabric, same fabrics. Oh, sorry, upside down. Crashing, 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 ten pounds off. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Ten pounds off. I'm done what? Thirty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Is it VIX on there today? He's not presenting though, is he? Is it VIX on there? At thirty-seven ninety-nine, ten pounds off, ten pounds off, ten pounds off. Same fabrics I just showed you in the layer cake, so I'm not going to open it up. Do you know what? All you need to do is get some blue fabric, and you'd be able to make um, jubilee sort of decorations with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, got a jubilee section on the website. Right, keep looking at that. Oh, don't keep looking at that because I'm moving over here. Right. Now, I need to talk to you about this sewing machine. I have got this sewing machine. This sewing machine is the one I own. This is the sewing machine. is the one I bought. This is the one I use. Right? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I've got this machine and it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, let me just tell you. When we were, we, we had, because of lockdown, we sold out of them. We were expecting a delivery, and for months and months and months and months, we were waiting for the delivery to come in. They kept saying, John, big show, big show, you and the uh, 680 plus, you and the 680 plus. Went on my holidays in September. Two days later, they arrived, 150 of them. Stuart was in, Stuart did a show. Within two days, all 150 had gone. Well, no, that's a fib. 149 of them went, because then we found one in the warehouse. And I literally brought it on air and it was sold before I'd even lift it onto the desk, right? Now, Elna, we bought some more from Elna. They've not arrived in the warehouse yet, but the, so they, we're, we're doing something we've never done before. We're selling them on pre-order. It's not like the pre-order in the morning where you put it in your basket and it'll be go through that night. These will be dispatched to you. Now, they're saying mid-February, which to me is in a week's time, say, isn't it? Uh, we will ask. We will try and ask um, when they think they might be in. But... What, we, what happened with Stuart is he had 150 of them, and we thought, oh, that'll last a month or so, won't it? They literally all went within a day and a half, or two days, two shows, right? Um, what I would hate to happen this time, because I know loads and loads and loads of people are saying, oh, I can't wait to get 680, can't wait to get 680. Imagine, because we don't know what day we're going to do the show on, right? Imagine if it's, say, the 15th, or there'll be me if it's the 15th, and they go, they're in, they're in, do it, do it, get it on air, get it on air, right? Imagine if you're not watching that day. Imagine if you're working that day. Imagine if you're out having lunch that day or meeting friends or visiting relatives or anything. And then you come home and you watch the replay that night. You go, oh, it's a 680. And it's sold out because that's what's going to happen. The day they come back into stock, they're going to they're gonna sell out. I haven't got, I've only got half the amount now that Stuart had on that day. Right? I've only got about 75, I think I've got left of these now because uh, so many have gone on pre-order. So now... What happens is you can either pay the full price day, £1,249, 
and then it's yours then. It's, it's basically like you're reserving yours. So no matter what day we do the show, you, it doesn't matter. You can put the telly on and go, I've got mine. Got mine. It's absolutely fine. There'll be none of that panic thing. Because how long will it, may it take for the next batch to come in? We don't know when the next batch might come in after that. Anyway, you could either pay £1,249 a day and then that's, and you post some packaging and then it's, well, if you've already bought something, we don't add any P&P on. So if you bought the early bird and paid your 3 95 post and packaging then, then you don't pay another 3 95 even though it's coming in a week or so's time. Or, this is what I'm saying, pay the first payment of £249.80. Then that's yours reserved then, isn't it? Then you'll have four more payments after that and it's all paid for. It's up to you. You do it however you want to do it. But it means that yours is secured. Now, as a, sorry we can't deliver it today, but we're going to deliver it in a week's time or whatever, whenever they arrive, we've got this special deal going on, right? If you buy it on pre-order, right? Now, what this will not happen. Say it comes in on the 15th. This order will disappear then. This is only if you pre-order your Elna. We will add £50 to your Sewing Street account for you to spend in March. So that's £50 worth of fabric, £50 worth of haberdashery, £50 worth of whatever you want to buy, you can spend that £50 in March. We are giving that as a gift for ordering yours ahead of time. Now, quick, uh, very quickly, because I can see my time's up. Um, have a look at the slides, right? So it's a brilliant machine. It's got 170 stitches. It's got 10 buttonholes. Now, it's a 9 millimeter stitch width, which makes it category D. You've got a maximum stitch length of 5. You've got two alphabets. You've got capital letters and numbers up to 9 millimeters. 1,000 stitches per minute and 91 variable needle positions. You get the table as well. Look, see that? It's like that opaque table. It's quite a big table on that one. It's brilliant. All the things you get with it. Now, this isn't a special deal. That is every single thing that you get with this machine. Look at it all. Look at all those feet. You get your, your um, walking foot. You get your quarter inch seam foot. You get your darning feet. You can do uh, you can do your free motion embroidery. You can do rolled hems. You can do uh, there's so many and everything. You get all of that. You get a knee lifter. You get the table. You get the semi hard cover. You get a stylus which I've never ever used. Um, and needles. Everything you need. Right. It's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic buy. Here's the extension table again. If you want to see it. The legs come off, so if you want to store it like between, I've got mine stored between bookshelves, so the legs come off, so you can just slide it between the bookshelves. And it's got a knee lift, brilliant knee lift. Once you've used your knee lift, you'll, and it's got an over edge stitch as well. And there's your key features again, 10 buttonholes, 170 stitches, needle thread up, large sewing space, free arm, I'll show you that in a minute, automatic program. It's got everything, it's got everything you could need. It's just brilliant. Right, very quickly, here are all the stitches. There are so many different zones and modes in there. Uh, lots of utility, decoration, buttonholes, everything like that. I'll just turn it around for you. There you go. Look at all those stitches. It's just been, you can make these, these satin stitches ones here, you can make them bigger by five times. What's the message? Wendy on my bottom. There's no graphics in at the moment. That's trouble. Oh, there you go. Morning, John. I was one of the ones who got this machine in September. Love, 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 love it. Amazing, amazing machine. Easy to use. Wendy and staff. Brilliant. I was lying on a beach. You were buying a sewing machine. But what I love is you keep your favourite. You keep your favourite feet in here. Look. And there's your pivot pin in the end there. A's on the machine. Then all your favourite feet are in there. But all your others are in here. Look. I'll just. Oh, hang on. Show you this. Hang on, oh, there you go, look, 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 there's all your feet in there, your buttonhole foot and everything like that, your walking foot. That comes off, so you've got a free arm. Oh, hang on, there you go, you've got a free arm. Um, you've got your, uh, oh, hang on, oh, no, there you go, there's your feed dogs on the side there. There's your feed dogs that drop up and down. I'll have to make sure I've put it back up for whoever uses it next. And there was something else I was going to show you. That, oh, it comes with two different needle plates for your straight stitching. You've got, a, and, oh sorry, turn it around that way. Uh, you can put the memory in. You've got your thread cutter here. Thread cutter, needle up, needle down, da -da 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 -da, lock stitch, reverse stitch. You can use it without the pedal. It's got the most fantastic um, button thread, uh, needle threader there. It's got everything you can, and then the extension table sits on there. I've got to go because Kerry's due. Make sure, make sure, make sure you reserve yours because I would hate 
for you to miss out on the day that we do them. It's, ju it's just going to be, there's your other needle plate in there. You see, it's become. Say that again. The eggs are next. Right, this is a bit. We may have an announcement that Hannah hasn't told me yet. So we will have an announcement, will we? We may. I don't know what she's talking about. I'll see you with Kerry here in four minutes from now. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffer in the studio when John and Vic say our ah, Baffer when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however, there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Plain to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister and basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s, but still act that eight year old. My favorite tools or top tips. So, I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this, and one is called Quilter Steak. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot. I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, Andrea, uh, it says, John mentioned the website. There was a Jubilee section. Please, could somebody put a link? Because I can't find it on my mobile version. Oh, it's when you, when you log in at the beginning. I'm just going to check it's still there. I'm just going to check. Hannah's just checking now. So, uh, 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 
Oh no, it's gone. Where where is it? Scroll down. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. I do apologise. <laughs> they've done at the bottom of the fake page. They've got a lovely picture of Stu around. They've got a picture of me going out. <laughs> um, I'm ever so sorry. I don't know where the Jubilee one's gone. It was at the top. You know, when they go across there. So what have we got now then instead? Need help picking the new sewing machine. Jules Fallon is coming on Thursday. Love is in the air. For mum, Mothering Day. Mothering. Oh, no, it's not called Mothering. I'm going to tell them. It's not called Mother's Day. It's called Mothering Sunday. And early bed deals. I don't know where the Jubilee one's gone. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. There wasn't much. There was only red, white and blue fabric in at the moment. Maybe they're taking it off to then put more stuff in it. Because they, they had red and blue mannequins in. But Andrea, you're not missing much just yet. But I'll let you know. When it comes back, if I'm on air, I'll let you know, Andrea. Right, would you like to make something for Easter? Well, we have got this gorgeous no-so egg. Oh, actually, I'll show it on a picture rather than me dangle it. Here's the picture. Right, so in here, in here, in here, you do get a piece of blue ribbon. You do get a polystyrene egg. You do get instructions. You do get some pink ribbon. You do get a gazillion pins. You do get some roses. And you do get pre-cut fabric. For eleven ninety nine, and you can make this gorgeous Easter egg. Look. And there's no sew. There's no sewing on there at all. It's all pinned. Eleven ninety nine. Now these are flying out. Please be careful if you want one of these. Lots of people multi buying. Eleven ninety nine. Beautiful. And they're all that colourway, aren't they? They're all the same colourway, aren't yes, they? Yes, they're yeah. all the same. So you get there the colours. You can choose which order you do the colours in, but it's all in that. Look, look, look at the bottom. It's fabulous, isn't it? Eleven ninety nine. Right, okay, moving on. There will be a demo of that in a second. Right, 100 gone already. 100 of those have gone already and we haven't even started yet. Look at the time. I'm having issues again. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's a tractor. No, no, it's not. It's not I can't hear you. Oh, they're not. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Then look at this. I love this. I have had it gifted to me already. Not to the eat. The wreath kit. Not to eat. It's no, we don't eat it. Don't eat it, but it's lovely to touch. No! Okay, I don't know how many we had of these. There's only ten left. There's only ten left. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, show you a nice close-up picture. Oh, you've not moved it to the centre yet then, Charlie. Right, so <laughs> what you get in here... What do you mean you can't? There's no such word as can't. You'll have to learn. 22. He's only 22. He's got to learn. Oh, well, it hasn't taught him how to do it yet. Right. So you get your polish. So he actually can't. <laughs> yeah. uh, there you go. You got the ring. Then what else have you got in here? Oh, sorry. I've opened this now. So you get the instructions. You do get your fabric. Now, there's a pointy thing in here as your well. Your tools in here. Yeah, well, you'll see Kerry using that in a minute. Hang on. Are there different colourways? Because there's an... It's just maybe a different tone of pink. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not being, I'm not being difficult, I think, because there's, there's an apricot in there. So you get lemon, you I get the soft, it. soft pink, you get the lavender. So it's a slightly different colour of that one in there. Maybe it's random. Maybe it's random. Craig's in charge of packing these, so well, anything <laughs> could happen. Email Craig. Email, yeah, I'll give you Craig's email address later. Anyway, isn't that lovely? Beautiful. But you do get a tool in there as well, which you can carry on using in the future. Um, they're 1999, but there's only 10 left of those. Is that right, Hand? Still 10? Nine? Nine those left. Nine those left, right? So we will do a demo on that as well. Uh, now, I've got the Spring Tulip Table Runner. I've got two different versions. The one hanging on the wall behind Kerry. You get this. This is Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, white on white. You get your fat quarter of your flowers, your fat quarter of your green, your fat quarter of your yellow, and you get the instructions. 
32.99. And that will make you that. You see now, oh, there you go. Uh, I like it because if it's a table, well, I don't like table runners, but if, it's a t if you're going to use it as a table runner, she's laughing. Uh, it's nice because I never got, you got the memo. I need to know these things. <laughs> you know, I heard me say it. I say it every day. Not fond of a table runner. We'll do place mats next time. Uh, no, 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 no. But what I love, I, I do this as a wall hanging. So go back to the main picture, um, Charlie. Right. So what I like is if you're sitting at the table, lots of table runners only face one way. So if you're sitting on the other side of the table, you're a bit like, oh, yeah. I'm not important and doesn't face me. I also like that because what I think I would do is I would buy some extra fabric, put a, a panel down the middle and have it wider. Yeah. So it's, but I'd, a wall hanging, a spring wall hanging, have all the tulips facing the same way up, yeah. make a gorgeous wall hanging, wouldn't it? Be beautiful. I think it's lovely and fresh. Or you can make mug rugs. Or you could make placemats. I'm not saying you don't have to make a table runner, but if you don't want a table runner, you don't want a table runner. It's as simple as that. Anyway, so that's that one, 32 .99. Gorgeous. That will make the one that's on the wall behind Kerry. Be careful, though, because that one's getting limited already. Now, there's another version that Ian's put together for you. So in this one, you get the same three fat quarters. You get the same instructions. Three fat quarters. Instructions. And then this one, you get a metallic. I don't know if they're Chris kisses or cross-stitching in metallic on there. It's coming in closer to show you. It's a kiss. It's a kiss, it's is a it? It's a kiss. Is Valentine's month. Oh, <laughs> this is Moda Whispers. Oh, Whispers. Thirty-two ninety-nine. So you're backing on that one. Will be slightly different because it's a metallic -y kisses and crosses and things. Right, Hannah's going. If somebody tells you to keep the Chris a secret, it's wrong. I don't know what she's going on. She sounds like she's been a bit cross there. <laughs> Loving the eggs, Carrie, says uh, Alice and Marion. Lowe says, good morning, John. You're looking very dapper. J June says, I prefer it when you dangle, John. Gives us a better <laughs> idea of size. Well, I'll dangle for you in a second then, June. <laughs> yeah, I will do for that for you, for you, June, in a minute. Right, OK. So that's that one there. There will be a demonstration on that as well. Now I've got 12 satin ribbon roses here. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'll come back to that in a minute. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come back to the rose in a minute. Pattern on its own of the table runner. <laughs> if you've got your Liberty, imagine, imagine making this out of the Liberty fabrics from earlier. $9.99. I didn't hear a word of that. No. $9.99. So you could do your own colourways because that might not be the colour that your dining room is in. You might want a completely different colour to that. Do you know what? That would look lovely and, as well. It doesn't have to be Easter because in the summer, if you're having dinner outside on your new garden furniture. I've got new garden furniture. It's got a new little glass. It's not, got the di it's not a dining table. It's like sofas in an L shape. Two like square buffets. And a glass coffee table. That looked lovely on the coffee table. When's the party? I'll bring the table. Right? All right, then. I, you'll bring, <laughs> bring the table. Your oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll bring a bottle of wine as well. I don't drink. You oh, you don't drink. drink. No, I'm still like. not drinking, so I'll yeah. bring... I'll make us a Three years tea. now. I started off doing dry January. It's been three, just over three well years done. now. Right, look. 12 satin rovers. Roses. Sounds... Oh, hang on. We haven't got the graphics in. It's all right, Charlie. Charlie, if ever I do that, if I put them in... Charlie's learned it now, which is not his fault. If I put them in and Hannah's forgotten to press the button because she forgets she's the producer sometimes. <laughs> Two ninety nine, Perfect for making your own Easter eggs. Right. They don't melt down. They don't turn into chocolate. You all, if you've got the egg pack bundle, you already get some in there. Maybe you want to put more on your eggs. Maybe. Maybe far away. Two ninety nine. they are. They're cute, aren't they? 12, 12 satin ribbon roses for two ninety nine. So there's pink in there, there's blue in there, there's lemon in there. Just checking. No other colours. Two ninety nine. Do you know what? They'd be lovely if you sewed those to a denim jacket and like a corsage. Get a couple of packets and do a like lovely corsage on his own jacket. 
Right. Feel like uh, uh, you've not. Well, well. Feel like we need to spend a planning day together to bring up some new patterns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite cheap. You're quite cheap. Which order would you like to demo? In? Should we do the wreath as they're almost? Yeah, do Should the wreath because the they're nearly sold out. Quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you will need. You've got your um, ring, your fabric, your pattern, and your tool in your kit. You will need some pink and shears. You can, of course, cut these uh, on with a rotary cutter if you want. But I think. Um, oh no, I like the frilly edge best. It's nice, isn't it, with that extra texture on there? Yeah. Could you just move the egg to one side? Because from the front, all we can see is your egg. That's it. There we go. Perfect. So just cutting your strips into. And I've just folded these all over in the half meter. Yeah. So with some good pinking shears that will just glide through your fabric. So your squares, you're cutting these down into squares. Now I'm only going to do this with one colour. So yeah. you can cut through all of those layers. And they look great in any colour actually. Doesn't matter what size then? Uh, approximately two by two. Oh, okay. Two by two works really well. But it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit at the end. Push it in anyway because oh, you'll add to the yeah, texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, I do recommend in the pattern to use some PVA glue as well, and that really is, if you've put this effort into making it, you really want to make sure they're secure in there, um, you know, and bring these out year Okay, where do you put year. the PVA glue then? So what we would do with this is just place the um, piece of fabric in the centre of your hand, yeah. align the tool so it's coming into the centre from a point, yeah. and as you bring this across, just push this down. And right. at that point, then you dip this into your PVA oh, glue. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, so it's no, it's no added hassle or anything No like added that, yeah. hassle. And if you haven't got it in your collection, don't worry too much. But oh, I'm no, but it's worth it because then I it's going to make so. sure it's there. Because you want to use it year after year after year. Yeah. You don't want to come to it next year and all the bits have fallen out. And all the bits have fallen out. That's it. I have to do it when we go to events because people like to have a little pull yeah. of them <laughs> because we just feel we need to. Um, so that's it really, nice and simple. We've done these previously in Christmassy fabrics into the centre of your um, square there, folding this across and just as you push it down, pushing it into the fabric. Okay. Hannah, just step away from your microphone. Uh, 19, 19, it's bad sell out, bad sell out, bad sell out. Now, obviously, you've got the three different colours in yours. So yeah. you then, I presume, you just put cut loads of yeah. the squares and just randomly. Yeah, put so what them I in. tend to do is just make a pile of each of your three colours and alternate between the colours. Your colours are going to end up touching anyway. Yeah. Um, but we did see some at Christmas with the Christmas ones where people had sort of done rows. Oh, and that looked really nice. nice. Yeah, and then yeah, people yeah. had done sort of all the middle in one colour and then these and the outer in a different colour and then these look like little bunches of well, roses. I suppose it's yours so to do with it's as yours. you want. I just think because these are all I lovely like, pastel like colours, it's all, looks lovely all melange together, I doesn't think it, so, lovely. yeah. And I think we spend so much time sewing other projects getting it absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's so what's nice. that pointy tool? This that is comes a dotting in it, tool. That comes in your kit. Um, and this is just a dotting tool. Right, okay. And you might, yours might not be white, they might be random um, Yes, the colours will vary actually. So you might have a white, yellow, pink, green, yeah. whatever we've, whatever whatever we've got there, in. Yeah. Fantastic. Tw 19 pounds and 99 pence. Then this is just me asking now, how do I hang this up? So you'll need a little bit of ribbon for the back. Yeah. Um, and all you need to do is cut the ribbon to the length that you want. Pop it into the centre. In fact, I've got some ribbon. It doesn't have to go in that round thingy there. It can, but it doesn't, oh, it doesn't, matter. doesn't really it doesn't matter. matter. Right? Um, but when you're putting your ribbon in, just overlap your two ribbon ends. And the important thing when you use your pins is that you actually push these into a 45 degree angle. Oh, okay. And they're just normal. You don't get those pins in it, do no, you? Just normal pins. Just normal pins. So just a little bit of ribbon that you've got in your stash and push those in. And the reason for the 45 degree angle is it actually yeah. has some weight to it when yeah. you hang in this. So just 45 degree angle and that'll secure it. Yeah, and then place. it's up to you how long the ribbon you put in. Because exactly. I like to put mine on my front door and I like it to go in a... Oh, I've got a new front door. I don't know what this one will do. But I like to do it in a V like that. Yeah. So the ribbons like when you do your Christmas wreath I have ribbons going like that even if they're holding it or not just yeah. to kind of a nice big wide tartan ribbon or something coming yeah, down that's to lovely it. actually that's beautiful lovely. right they're about to sell out be careful if you've got that in your basket right so now we'll move on to the egg now I'm gonna dangle it <laughs> I'm gonna dangle it for June that's what you did this morning with the wreath what when you were showing us the wreath this morning what like on my head like this <laughs> or like that Right, here you go. There's the egg. I'm dangling it, June. It's spinning, June. <laughs> it's, this is going on my feng shui tree. This is going on my feng shui tree. Anyway, isn't it lovely? Do you want to come closer? Oh, he's going to show the image. Just want to see the dangling one. He wants to do the image. Okay. All right, show us another picture then. And another. 
It's no so, by the way, it's no so. Right, so in the box, I've got the instructions, the egg, the pink ribbon, the blue ribbon, the pins, and the pre-cut fabric. Yes. And some roses. And three roses, one of each colour. Right, yo. So you've got everything you need to make this. Where's that lovely, what's that bowl? This. Oh, it's a love, it's a teacup. It's my little teacup. It's what? It's my little teacup. Oh. Every reason to use them. Okay. So you'll need lots of pins um, and something really, a little teacup or, or a small mug will really help secure that into position. The pins come in it though, don't they? The haven't pins are in there, yeah. yeah. The yeah, pins yeah. are all in there. Yeah. Everything you need, excluding your little mug, are all yeah, in there. Yeah, of course. So the first thing to do, I've already gone ahead and I've done the bottom here. So I'll show you how to do that. And Hang there's on, so different... We'll just come on to that. Hang on. Um, there's different... Can you go from above? Oh, there you go. There, perfect. And, uh, I'm not very good at lining that. No, the other way. <laughs> there we go. There you go. All right. So I don't know how... I have no idea how you've done that. So to find the centre of your egg, and it's really important that you do this because what you don't want to happen is that you're working one side and then realise it's a bit lopsided. So yeah. the easiest thing to do is to just use one of the pins on both the top and the bottom. Sometimes the eggs come and they're scored and there is a slight one, but to make it even easier to see, just use your pin to just put a little kiss. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll call it a kiss. It's February, yeah. John. And um, then we're folding the first one. So taking um, the yellow one, and it's important that you work in this order because of the amount of each colour that you've got. Oh, oh, now I said it didn't matter, you, but it yeah. is important which order you work in. So your in. yellow must be your first row and your lilac must be your last row. There's the same quantity of the pink and the blue. So oh, OK. Can, so is that, that in the instructions? That's all in the yeah, instructions, fine, fine. Yeah. So I said just use it anyway, but don't. So yellow first. Don't listen to John. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to fold this in half, so wrong side of the fabric facing you, fold it in half and press. And we want to find, uh, what really helps actually is a either a little roll and hem. Oh, you've you got that on the website I think, haven't I you? love this, I love this. So you can either use something to press it, use the edge of your finger, but that first row in particular you really want to see those score lines right. because they're going to sit on top of that cross that you've just made. It might be difficult to see but of course no, when no, you're we making can see it. this. We can see it, yeah. And we're lining those up so the cross is marrying up with the one beneath. Right. Just holding those into place, we're going to pop a pin into each corner. Now you will find that there is folds in the fabric or maybe even overlapping. Don't yeah. worry about that because we are going to we are going to cover that. And you'll certainly find that there are more fabrics that are overlapping, especially on the top part of the egg. Right, of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, I've gone ahead with the rest of these and folded Okay, so would you already. suggest that? Do all the folding yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get your piles set out. And then what you're doing with your second piece of fabric is folding this over approximately half an inch. And again, just giving that a little roll and again into the centre there. So I'll just quickly show you that. Over half an inch. So do all press. the rest of them. The rest are of like them. This. Yeah, there is only two pieces that are like this, and that's for the top and the and bottom. And the bottom, fine. Yeah. And okay. that really is so we don't see any of the polystyrene. Yeah, yeah. The rest get folded like so this. So half an inch in, and yeah. then over and over. That's it. So okay. half an inch in, and then in half. Yeah. And at that point there, for each one of these, what I've done is taken one of the pins and just pushed that through. From the wrong side? From the wrong side of the fabric. Right. Folding this back in. So it just tucks in nicely. Uh, oh, I see. I and see, if I you see. have a look, what I've done there, I've gone ahead and I've made piles of each of those fabrics for each With layer ready. With the pins ready. in, yeah. With I the see, pins. Yeah, yeah. So from the centre here, what we're going to do next is back in that centre point that we've just created, push the pin in and fold the top right corner down to make a triangle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see that from upstairs. That's brilliant, yeah. And then we're sliding a pin in on each side. So one in the centre and one on the edge. And you will notice, especially if you've made the patchwork ball ball before, they normally all marry up, but there's lots of overhanging here right. and layers. So don't worry about that. They all get covered up. And again, folding that second side in to make that second triangle, pushing a pin in either side. Mm -hmm. Now, you might want to get yourself a little thimble if you, because there are a lot of pins that get put yeah. into this project. So if you've got a thimble in your collection, you can use a thimble if you want to. So working on the opposite side, we're now pressing that in again and repeating that folding technique. Well, I bet this gets addictive. It is, yeah, yeah. it is. It is quite addictive, actually. Your little tree would be lovely with loads of these on, John. Oh, what? 
I said, your little tree would be lovely with lots of these. Yeah. Ones. They're nice hung around in the garden when you're doing an Easter egg hunt with actual chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> so just repeating that for your layers. And you can see already these will start to overlap. Yeah. So it's important to do the two opposite sides to begin with. And then we're going in for the third one. So pushing that through and folding this in. Right. I would recommend starting on the bottom part first of the egg. Right. So you see the way it works together. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so you're almost practicing yeah. on the bottom. As and it, it spreads out a little bit easier than worrying about, should that be overlapping? Uh -huh. Is that overlapping too much? But as you can see here, and I have put a photo of this in the pattern as well, you will have that overlap. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the fourth one now on the yellow. Sliding that pin that through. One, then. I know, how did I miss that one? Oh. Talking to Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth one in. And again, folding these down. So that's your first row. And again, what I would do is, I tend to do most projects where I repeat myself, like a little bit of a production line. Uh-huh is do the top and then the bottom and work layer by layer as you yeah, work Yeah, because at one through. point you're going to, you're going to, anyway, I'll let you get on. No, you, no, no, you're absolutely fine. No, no, because you're coming, working down from the top yeah. and up from the bottom. At some point you're going to You're meet going in the to middle, meet, aren't yeah. So then you can use a ruler if you want to, and the measurements are in there if you're using a ruler. But just for ease today, this is half an inch down. So we're starting from that top point and we're taking one of the second colour which for myself is pink it doesn't matter whether you do pink or blue when you right. get your kit but what's important is and you'll see this that overlaps actually really help we're always working from the underneath right one okay yeah. mm -hmm. and we're going half an inch down pushing that in and repeating that same technique so just folding again on all four sides okay so now that will overlap obviously that's it yeah yeah Debbie thinks it's lovely that you've done matching, uh, matching nail polish. <laughs> <coughs> it's my daughter's influence, that is. What? It's my daughter's influence, that oh. is. It's what we do together, sit and paint nails. The egg is today's bestseller already. How am I doing for stock? When everyone's checked out, we've got 20 left, that's it. Load, you got it in baskets as well. I know you're waiting for the um, demonstration to finish, but I would check out, if you've got it in your basket, I would advise to check out now. Just, um, you know, no, I'm not adding any injury pressure, just don't want you to be disappointed. There we go. So again, on all four sides. And as you say, John, it is a nice project to do. It's a nice project in front of the sofa. I quite like doing it. In front of like the sofa? In front not of the TV. The sofa. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh, this is fab. So glad I ordered it, says Kate. Yeah, Kate, you'll enjoy doing this. <laughs> Don't hide behind the sofa when you're no. doing yours. <laughs> Sounds like a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be dropping the pins, though. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why the little cup helps yeah. catch them underneath. And you can celebrate with a cup of tea afterwards. Make sure there's no pins in there, though, Ooh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so once you've got your first four on there, uh -huh. we're then working on these opposite sides. So you can see where the folds of the fabric oh, are. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so you're not putting the same, the next colour you don't That's put it. on, you move it round. So we move bit, it yeah. around. And in those folds as well. So the place where the two fabrics yeah, join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, half an inch down. Oh, is it pink again, then? We're still pink. Oh. So we're keeping it. You could you could actually, going back to what you said, you could mix the pinks and the blue up at this point if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, well, no, and I like the way you've done it, but I didn't realise there was going to be another pink in there, yeah. So if you've got a few of these, it's quite nice actually, mm. isn't it, to uh, make them up. So we'll follow that around and do four on there. And it's when we get to the third layer that it changes oh, just for the okay. measurements slightly. Do you not use a thimble then? I tend not to, no. 
I don't know whether I can feel my fingertips anymore, all the different <laughs> things, different crafts. But I know when we've we've done, um, you know, workshops and things with things like this, people always say, oh, I wish I had a thimble. Yeah. Are you going to be at, at the Stitch Festival in London? No, we're not going to Are you going to do Festival of Quilts? Yes, we're at Festival of Quilts. Okay. Are you going? Any others? Because you just you've just done. Have you just done another one? Where yeah, we. Uh, where was our last one? Our last one was. Where was our last one? You do so many of them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Did you do Ardingly? We didn't do Ardingly. Okay. We did the one early earlier yeah. on in the month. Yeah. John, I don't know. When I open my diary tomorrow. Oh no I'll know no where no no! That doesn't matter. <laughs> but as long as we know you're going to be at festival. Quick. But I'm at Are you festival. doing classes? Not at festival, no. Okay, you just got to stand. That's it, yeah. Not just. You're going to be busy. But... Um, we're there in March um, for the craft one where I'm doing oh, workshops. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you doing classes at the craft? And we're doing craft And is classes. that one called Sewing for Pleasure? Or is that's that one... right, yeah, yeah. Sewing so for Pleasure. So you're going to be there for Sewing for Pleasure Sewing in March. for Pleasure and we're doing classes. And, then and that's we're... at the NEC, isn't it? That's at the NEC yeah. and then we're doing one in Exeter as well and I'm doing oh, classes I'm... there, yeah. I'm going there really, so we can go walk on the beach after oh, the yeah, long be lovely, day. Oh yeah, lovely. Yeah. What day? When? What month's Exeter then? Um, March as well, Exeter. Mm, take your thermals. <laughs> I've always got my thermals. Or your wetsuits. You've always got your thermals. <laughs> I was a bit cold when I came here today. I was like, well, it's because I'm dressed for summer today. I've normally got thermals. And, oh no! Are you, are you cold? I'll turn the aircon off. Are you cold? <laughs> it was when I went oh. outside to make a call. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's a bit chillier today. Now the next one, and this is really important. At right. this point, if you like absolute perfection. Um, and it is in the pattern, use a ruler. Right, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not going to use one now, I'm just going to half that measurement. So again, okay. it's easy to see which is your underneath layer. Right, So okay. we're always working with that first four. Uh -huh. And this time it's a quarter inch. So we go a oh, quarter okay, inch down. Okay. So, there so it's only the first one that's half Only the inch. first one, yeah. I just think it's quite nice to mm. really see that star, isn't it? Especially from underneath if you think, you know, um, I mean, when our children was younger, we would always do a huge Easter egg hunt outside and hang decorations from the trees. So it's don't quite do it nice. anymore. No, oh. we do, but we don't run around. They're sixteen. They tell me now. We oh, still okay. we we try. I'm thinking two years time, they're going to want bottles of alcohol hanging from the trees, aren't they? In two years time, they're telling me they're going to have left home. <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, imagine. Let's not talk about it. It's so sad. Oh, I'm doing I everything. You're be glad. No, no, absolutely not. I'll be devastated. Oh. Craig's counting the days down. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does realise it'll just be you and him then, though. No, no. I know. We'll have more to do. We'll have less on the to-do list, less running around, he thinks. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I'll still find him plenty exactly. things to do. <laughs> Definitely. Well, he's much older than you as well, isn't he? So he's, uh... <laughs> he's a lot older than me. Yeah. <laughs> it's our anniversary this month. Oh, is it? Yeah. How long have you been married? We've been married 16 years, <gasps> but together 22. Oh, my word. I know. That's gone very fast indeed. Yeah. There we go. And it really is a case of just following the layers through, using the selections that you've made. Uh -huh. When you're making and folding and pressing, put them in sets. So your first one, so for your yellow, you have sets of five, so if you do two sets of five, and then each of your others divide those down into piles of eight, and it'll make it easier as you work yourself around uh -huh. the layers. Oh, I see. And the same on the bottom, so you know each time work yourself up. Um, there's a few more layers in the top la in the top row. Yeah, because your ribbon's not halfway round; it's more like yeah. on a waistline, isn't it? About That's three right, quarters yeah. of the way down. And if you look at it closely, you can see actually the difference that having the fabrics nice and close together really makes. Yeah. Nice to be playing with colour today, actually, isn't it? Mm. Lots of bright colours. So I've done those first four, yeah. and again, here where the folds of those fabrics for that second row that we created, again, we're just working with that quarter inch. Of course. So after the yellow going downwards, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of doing this. So you've yep. got the yellow one up there, and then the ones that are all like you're doing now, the six days you go, on this one you've gone blue, pink, lilac, yellow, blue, pink. That's right. Yep. 
Oh, yes, because on the bottom, after the yellow, you've only got one, two, three. That's it, yeah. Rows. So you've got less on the bottom. I yeah. mean, you, you could shimmy that if you want to, but I think it looks oh, quite nice. Oh, no, no, nice. it's nice. It's nice on there, yeah. And, re and, and also, the extra rows is when I came to put the ribbon on, so we've chosen that lovely uh, ribbon there. It just wasn't sitting right on the shape of the egg either. Yeah, yeah. So it's just getting it so that's nice and flat. Um, for this particular one, you could use a pin to secure your uh, roses into place if you wanted to, but I used a glue gun. Okay. I try and avoid using yeah. glue guns on fabric projects, but it definitely makes it easier. Yeah. To just make sure they're not going to fall off. Well, there. they're more likely. Any, they're more likely to be the things that come off. Aren't yeah. They? What, <clears throat> what you don't want. You don't want errant pins. Yeah. You know, depending on who you're giving it to, if they've got pets or children. Well, or I, like I did it with pins, but it's particularly difficult to get the correct angle on there. So yeah. we went glue gun. Uh, Sue says, my late hubby used to say to our twin daughters, as soon as they reached 18, they were out. He was joking. But when one actually did move out to her own flat, he was devastated. He missed her so much. Aww. Oh, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. I can't believe I've got a 16-year-old. He's very good. But I will be, and he's, he's very independent, so I will be gutted. Aww. I'll be back, though. They, you know, they never... That's what they say. They'll never fly. <laughs> In fact, I, 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 they saw more of me after I'd moved out than they did when I lived there. Because all the time I was in, I was always going out. But when going out was going home. I was quite insistent I wanted to live on my own and, and did from a very young age. Yeah, yeah. But realised the costs were a little yeah. bit more than what I was earning. Yeah. So I used to go to my mum's with my carrier bags and fill them up. And she'd say, what are you doing? I'd say, my weekly shop. <laughs> my weekly neck. <laughs> my weekly shop. <laughs> my dad would go, hey, excuse me, you don't live here anymore. I'm like, I know, I know. Yeah. Shall I make you a coffee? But it's funny, isn't it, that you can just, you wouldn't just turn up at friends' houses just regardless, would you? Like, but you think it's all right just to go home. <laughs> Even when you've left home and you're all, mind you, I've said this quite a few times, I was never, ever given a key to the house. Even as a child, John. I didn't have a key to the house. <laughs> really? Yeah. Gosh. Well, my older brother didn't live at home. And by the time twin, the twins were older, they were just given key to My mum. Oh, look, June misses, misses her too desperately. The house is so tidy, I hate it. Oh, Aww. I won't mind when the tidiness comes, because I do, <laughs> I do feel like I repeat myself quite a lot following <laughs> yeah. around. One of my friends was given a set of suitcases on her 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got that, that kind of as well. Didn't get suitcases. I just Didn't even that. give you a suitcase? No. I know I was out that door. <laughs> I'm going to college. Bye. See ya. This is what you have to pay at the end of every month, bye. <laughs> yeah. So just working in that third layer now, uh, sorry, fourth layer now. So again, keeping to that quarter inch. And you can see actually how satisfying it is and how quickly yeah. it comes together. And also you've been chatting away while you're doing it. So it's not like you have to shut yourself away in a quiet room. Or you could do it in a room like at the dining room table while the family are around. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like it's a nice craft to do with your friends as well. Yeah. I know a lot of people have gone on to, you know, sort of have the same kit, have a Zoom, have a glass of tea, cup of wine, cup of, cup of tea for us, glass of wine for everybody yeah, else, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, uh, and do do the same project. And these projects allow you to do that. Yeah, there's course, not much. Yeah. I mean, if you want to measure every section, the measurements are in there, but yeah. I'm quite happy to just um, How am I doing it. for stock, Han? Oh, single figures, single figures, single figures. And there's loads of people in baskets. Also, you've moved your microphone when you did that clunking noise. I can hardly hear you now. OK. You'll have to move round then to talk into it. If you're going to tell me, when, I'll switch it off when you're going to clunk it. Oh, you've done it. It didn't clunk then, you see. <laughs> oh, I don't know. There we go. So I'll just put the last two in. Oh, it looks in. gorgeous, It comes together it? really well, doesn't it, and very quickly. And they're nice, vibrant colours as well. They look great in all the colours. We had the extra bundles of roses because, as you say, they are quite, um, quite really easy to make, quite addictive to make. So if, once you've got your pattern, you might have your own fabric stash. Your measurements are in there for the sizes you need to cut. You might, you know, go on to make several yeah. of these. I loved it when the children left home. Oh, says Jill, I don't think I should read out the second half. <laughs> but she didn't wear many clothes. Oh. That one didn't come up on screen. <laughs> no. I love living on my own in my own space, says Shelley. Oh, blimey. You've left the pigs now. They're not children. She used to live on a pig farm. She used to live on a pig farm. No, no, she used to live on a pig farm. I think they're lovely to live with pigs. 
really? No, oh, yeah. Getting up, sorting them out every day? No, no, I don't want to work with them. I just want to look at them. <laughs> yes, but you can't have that and not have the cleaning afterwards. Somebody has to do it. Would you employ somebody to do the cleaning? Well, no, they're not allowed in the house. Yeah, but just you're still want to look out the garden. So I was <laughs> when I first moved in, I was thinking of getting um, micro hippos for the garden. I was oh. going to have a water garden, have micro hippos until somebody told me how to go to the toilet, and I'm not having them in my garden. <laughs> right, okay. My brother's got ducks, and I love going there. They've got six ducks, and I'm yeah. like, oh, just I would love that. But then when they're cleaning them, I'm like, yeah, yeah. we'll just. Have you got a pond? Has he got a pond? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll me. admire it when we come. Yeah, yeah. I'm not exactly. having the no, mess no. to it's go. Like with chickens. It. I was going to have chickens, but then I went to another friend's house where chickens had that. Oh, they stink yeah. out in these. Anyway, anyway, let's get on because we've got another project to do. So, yet. yep. So, if we leave that there because you're so simply hang on, just so you get, repeating you get this. To your five, you do all your six that way and yep. you do your four, whichever it is going up. And yep. then, literally, where they do they join? Do they, they join hit? together. Yeah. Um, I'll show you the ribbon very the quickly. Blue ribbon. You want the blue? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we've not got the join for the blue. So, yeah. you've got your ribbon inside and you can trim this to the length you want. But you're simply just taking one of the pins, pushing this in at an angle. Is this in the instructions as this well? This is in yeah. the instructions, but to make that little loop, use your two fingers. There is the measurements there if you want to. I tend to just go with two finger spaces. Pop another pin in. Two fingers on the opposite side. Pop another pin in. Always putting these to a slight angle so yeah. the weight of it doesn't pull oh, it yeah, away. Oh yeah, because you just put them straight in, they're just going to pop out, aren't they? That's it. And then we repeat that with one finger and the second finger. And then once you're happy with the length of your ribbon, you can trim this to size. I'm not yeah. going to trim it now. No, 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 no. Let's just put one in there so that's secure. There we go. And then using the edge of the ribbon, folding this over once and over again so that will hide the raw edge. Mm -hmm. And as we rest this on the centre of that heart now, pop a little pin on either side and then you've got, I've got a very long hanging loop yeah. here. <laughs> I can show you on mine actually. So this is what it looks like finished. Yeah, so you've got 25 inches of the ribbon there, so it'll yep. finish your size. I've just got excess ribbon here. Can you see that? So there's your bow, and then there's your, your loop with your... And they've been put in on an angle as well. Slight angle oh, to those, yeah. Can't even see it now at the moment. There you go, there you go, there you go. And then, that was my eyes, nothing else. Right. And then with your flowers, you can oh, position yes. these. Uh, and that's really why I put the flowers in the kit, to be honest, because you want to cover over that raw edge of oh, your Oh, yes, ribbon. you don't see a raw edge and of your blue also, ribbon. And also the pins as well. So just glue those over the top, and then you're ready to make your next Fant one. Oh, sorry, fantastic. There they are. Right, OK, so let's now. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. If you've got them in your basket, please check out. Now let's move on to the table run of them. So I'll just tell you the two versions I've got here. We've got the one that's on the wall behind Kerry is this one, which is the Wiltshire Shadow Liberty. So you get your fat quarters of your three colours, you get your ivory background, and you get your instructions. Now, the only thing you need, you're going to need uh, backing, and you're yes. going to need wadding, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. So you're going to need your own backing, your own wadding for this one. There you go. Oh. So, no, it's not you. It's the, the, the fading in and out of focus. Thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's the Wil Wiltshire Shadow one. Instructions: the cream, the ivory fabric, or white and white, I think we've called it. Plus your three fat quarters. Thirty-two ninety-nine. And then there's the, that's Kerry's uh, version. So we call that Kerry. And then we've got Ian which is this one here, which you've got your mode, was it Moda? Yeah, Moda. Kisses or metallic kisses, plus your three same fat quarters, plus your instructions, 32.99. I love my kids, but they're great when they moved out. Got my craft room, but grandkids are better. Always told my kids, wish we could skip them and just have the grandchildren. <laughs> You see, you'll have that. You'll have that, won't you? Do, do, do. I had this conversation with a lady who was at my class, and she said the funniest thing, and it's really tittled me. She said, the one thing my children will always remember me when I told them it was time to go is that throughout their life, I was always consecutive with them. And I said, we've watched it. I was consecutively mean, so it wasn't a, a shock to the system when I said, it's your backs. <laughs> I was like, was you mean deliberately? She went, I wanted them gone at 17. I oh, was like, blimey. oh. 
Oh. <laughs> right, here's Ian's version. This is the motor one with the metallic, with the kisses, all the stitches, plus your three fat quarters, plus your instructions. $9.99. Um, $32.99, sorry. $32.99. Thinking about the pattern on its own, that was all. And one ahead, because I forgot to do it last time, so I'm going to do it one ahead now. And pattern on its own. $9.99. I knew that. I knew that. Gorgeous. Right. What are you going to show us on this one? Then? So this is how to make the block. So of course we're going to repeat the block. This will make John's little um, placemat. Or placemat. It's little mug rug. Um, so I've cut all the pieces out. Measurements are at the front, and you're simply going to repeat this uh, eight times for the complete table runner. So from the fabrics in your collection, it's really nice actually, that floral print there has got all these lovely little flowers in there so you can fussy cut those out like I have oh, them here yeah. if you want to. And the green fabric has got writing on there as well, so of course I've chosen the word love but you've got some of the words on peace, there, joy, joy. Peace. So in the one that we've made up as the sample, yeah. I've used the word love on the leaves, but for this one I've cut it out so it's on the stem this time. Right, okay. So we'll start by sewing these together. We've got the little row here, so I always tend to start with the smaller pieces first. Uh, they're so small, I'm not going to worry about pinning those. Again, quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. And we'll do these, so just in sets of two. Oh, Sharon, Sharon, the pins come in the, in the Easter egg kit. You don't need to supply anything at all for the Easter egg kit. It's all in there, isn't it? We've Everything's it all, in yeah. there, pins and everything. But obviously the pins aren't reusable because they stay in. So just opening these back up, popping them out in their order. Again, we'll just finger press those because it's only a small seam. Mm -hmm. And we'll start with that little row to begin with. Let's get this right. I'm going to have that there. Just re-thread that machine. It's got very cold in here suddenly, so I've just switched the aircon off. And the same, just joining those extra little two ones. We'll take a moment in a minute just to press out those, just to trim away uh -huh. those threads. But we'll do all the sewing first. So we will press that in a moment. And then we'll just sew these pieces together at the bottom. So okay. this is the stem for our tulip. Thing is, once you've got the pattern, if you do buy the bundle, you've got it. You could do these in all different colours, absolutely, you, different seasons. And, and I think you're right, John. I think you know once you've got that that section there, it'd be a shame not to use it and have the play settings as oh, well. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Your, your summer party. I think it's, again, if you're doing um, just like a, a not a conservatory, but like a garden room, yeah. If you did all the tulips, all the flowers the same way up. You can have a really lovely, yeah. even if you only did it narrow and did it twice as long, it would almost be like tulip bunting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Then along one oh, wall yeah, or something. Lovely. Nice idea. I like the wall hanging yeah. idea, actually. Also, that way nobody will spill gravy on it if it's oh, on I the know. wall. They might, they're not allowed to put gravy near this table, <laughs> for an, especially you know what, when it's white. But you know what Mandy Shaw <laughs> does? She sets her Christmas table, takes a picture of it, invites everybody in, goes, dinner time, dinner time. They all come in, they go, oh, what a lovely table. And she goes, right. And she takes all the <laughs> rugs, and all, everything that she's made off and puts all the cheap ones down. So if they spill anything, it doesn't go on yeah, all the way. But the designs right. and the effort is just a lot. So I, I'm with Mandy on that one. I do feel like doing it on mine, definitely. But I don't. No. So we'll just give these seams a little press. So always press into the darkest side, especially when we're working with uh -huh. that white on white there. It's like the towels, isn't it? You're for show towels and your cushions. And oh, yeah. Well, my cushions, everybody sits on my cushions. But my yeah, you have your show towels when people come to stay. We and have they children. Use them, we it's have... like, oh, you're not meant to use them. We've got children. That long went out the window. Yeah. I, th I suppose that's what we have to look forward to when they leave. Show towels. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, kids. Aww. I'm off to buy some new towels. Yeah. 
So I'll just take away these extra threads. You got some scissors. So, um, one of the first drawer is full of scissors. Oh, um, fabulous! Rebecca Reed, or oh, it should be. Very organised. My drawers don't look that organised. Well, no, ours don't normally. But Rebecca Reed had, <laughs> you know, for some reason she started tidying up last week. She must be nesting <laughs> for a spring. So just pressing those seam to the darkest fabric there. Yeah. And all I've done is just sewn the tops and the bottoms together to make those sections. Uh -huh. And again, it's a nice, uh, a nice project. That comes it's a nice together. project for a beginner because there's nothing too yeah. difficult, is there, in it? I don't do difficult, John. Uh, you don't do I difficult? I don't do difficult. I like easy. Uh -huh. Easy and speedy. And pretty, we like pretty. As oh well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking how pretty it looks. I mean, I know it's sideways on the wall, but it looks so pretty up on the wall behind you. So then, bringing that bottom panel down, lining that up, and just sewing that seam. Uh, together. Is it all quarter inch seam, Lance? I forgot. All quarter yeah. inch seam, yeah. Oh, very noisy outside today. It's isn't really it? noisy today, yeah. Well, Jacko's not sliding up and down in a trolley today. He's got some kind of sort of machinery, like heavy. Yeah. They're having a move around. Rebecca's up there, tidy enough. No, it does nothing to do with us upstairs. <laughs> oh, is he no. not? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's having a good move around. They've got trolleys on ra rails up there, apparently. Oh, right. That's but that's louder than usual. And apparently, everyone at home can't hear it. Oh, so that's the good then. Say, yeah. That's good then. Yeah, when we go to the new studios, you won't hear any of that. So just taking those pins out and giving that another press. So I'm pressing that seam in towards the little squares there, towards the darker fabrics. Not that there's much dark fabric on uh -huh. this at all. We've gone for nice brights. Now, I know we're going to run a little bit over. I've got an announcement to make at the end of the hour. Stay with us. Tell your friends. <laughs> oh, Hannah hasn't got any friends, she says. Well, she has, but she's moving away. You have, but she's moving away. No, not you, your friend. <laughs> I was going to say, where's Hannah going? No, Hannah's not going anywhere. She loves her house, even with the leak under the street. Oh no, so not only the leak underneath, there's now a chimney issue. Okay, Zoe says, hi John and Kerry, great demos. Any tips on the small squares getting chewed up by the machine? I put paper underneath, but it's not ideal. Um, to be I honest, I don't tend to put anything under there. All I make sure I do is just when it's on the machine, just bring it across certainly yeah. the first one and chain stitching all really or well. or if you if you some machines are more prevalent to doing it if you just get like a scrap of fabric i'm not saying this scrap of fabric and just fold that up and sew across that and then butt up the edge of that one with the bit that you're sewing there's nothing for it to take through it'll just they're called um a donkey is it called a donkey <laughs> emma well, Emma Bradford said they're called donkeys. Or, it, I don't know if I should, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> no, I don't understand that. I'm not going to say we that. Like so it might be rude. No, no, I don't know why it's called donkey, but basically if you run a piece of fabric through first and then you run the fabric through that you're actually sewing, it shouldn't then go dunk into your thing. So just a scrap little bit yeah, and perhaps start scrap, at yeah. least quarter inch off that yeah, raw edge. Yeah. Right, so the next thing to do, you've got your templates. So the only templates that come in this particular pattern is how many of the petals you need to cut uh, from your fabric and your lightweight interfacing. Right. And how many of the leaves that you need to cut okay. as well. So there we go. So I've already cut one of the petals out. So it's important that you have the petal facing up towards you so you can see the pretty side of the fabric 
and then with your interface and it's the glue side down the fusible side down on top right. of that little petal there so you will need a little bit of that for this project right okay Got and it then, available on the website and then we're going to sew around that raw edge there using a quarter inch seam allowance again now in this one for yeah. mine i've just sewn this just using a slip stitch to secure the petals to the project right but you could use a blanket stitch or even one of your decorative stitch to secure mm -hmm. those to the fabrics as well it's entirely up to yourself the same as your quilting as well you know um i've just done straight line quilting on the panels but you could do some um some stippling on there would look great yeah lovely it? Uh, Claire says it's called a donkey or a leader. I was going to call a it a leader. leader. That's good. Yeah. And uh, apparently Emma Bradford and Hannah call it a donkey. There we go. So um, oh. what we're going to do for don't each... Don't use that. Don't use that. That's mine. That's yours. <laughs> You're doing well today, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just trim almost to your seam, but, you know, not on the seam. Uh -huh. So you'll get a nice finish on that petal. Just on the corners, absolutely fine. And from the centre of here now, now the best thing to do is to just separate this a little bit. Yeah. Make a tiny little incision into your interfacing and then cut along to approximately a quarter of an inch away from your seam line there. Right. And then we're going to reverse this. Right, make sure you don't put an iron anywhere near this at the moment. No. Because your interfacing's got glue on it. Yeah, nowhere near this at the moment. And I always use a pressing cloth as well if I'm doing anything because yeah, it's yeah. quite easy to get it the wrong way. Yeah, of course. Um, and once the mess is on your project, it's almost mm. impossible to get board, it off. Or your ironing board or your iron or anything. Yeah, so pressing cloth or even uh, a white piece of fabric is absolutely yeah. fine. Uh, just using either a finger press, I've got this little pokey tool here, so yeah. this will work. We just want to push into the corners of those petals. And again, I have actually for this one and put it into the pattern to just give this a real good finish. Like John said, we don't want the irons anywhere near this. This is where your roll and hem will really help you. So on each one of your petals, just That's follow these around. That's available on the website, around. the Clover Press, if we've got any left. Just following the, each of your petals around and giving this a real good press on there. So you'll repeat that for all of your flower pieces. Uh-huh. Um, now this one I've gone ahead and I've already finished that one off and this is just using that beautiful print that's on one of your yeah. um, one of your fat quarters that come in the kit. Centre in the petal in between your um, stem line just here and then with your first petal and there's diagrams in this pattern for you as well. You're simply going to line the petal up with the bottom of your project there uh -huh. and I'll just quickly turn this one through. While you're doing that, I'll just remind you of the bundle. So the bundle that Kerry's working with is this one here, where you get the Wiltshire shadow in the back uh, for the background, and then you get your three fat quarters plus your instructions. Thirty-two ninety-nine. You do need to supply your own backing and wadding. And then there's the other version, which has got the silver kisses. Just to mention, John, oh, yes. sorry, I should have mentioned No, this, no, it's fine. But you've actually got enough fabric in this kit to do the top of your table runner and your binding as well. Are you so, binding? Yeah, yeah, so yeah but not the back end. Not so the you can backing. do that thing you can see from the front you yeah. can do, but you can't do So you've do got that. enough in there oh, that's for the good. binding So you've got enough well. to do the binding as well. And then this is the other version here, which has got the Moda uh, metallic kisses there. Plus you th the fat cords are the same as in that one, plus the instructions. Thirty two ninety nine. Enough to do the front and the binding. But the, the back could be anything, whether you're going to put it on the wall or on the table. It doesn't matter what no. the backing is, does it? No. It must be something out of your stash. And then the pattern on its own, if you want your own colour way to do. There we go. Oh, now, if you've got the wreath in your basket, we said it was almost sold out. You need to check out. You do need to check out on that now. Well, we'll do the wreath as well now, very quickly, because people haven't checked out on the wreath. We thought this had sold out. How many other people haven't checked out? Okay, nine of you need to check out on that. So if you missed it earlier, if you come in now, put it in your basket and check out straight away, you'll get it. 
because just putting it in your basket doesn't mean to say you've you've you've, you've um, secured it. So if you love this and you want this and you didn't watch the demo earlier, put it in your basket, check out, or ring the call center now, check out, and you'll get it. Or if you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out. Okay. So all I've done for the petal now is to just place that onto the pressing mat. And as I mentioned, just use a pressing cloth in between to secure those into position. Uh -huh. um, to finish your project, you're going to do seven more of these blocks. I do need to pop the leaves on there as well. Yeah. Um, but you'll do seven more of these blocks and then you simply... Do you do the leaves the same with the interfacing exactly on the, the back? Exactly the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly the same technique. So uh, reversing this through a little bit more fiddly on this one. Yes. Um, because it's a bit smaller. Yeah. And I have used the fabric and as I mentioned earlier use the wording on the fabric as yes, well yeah. and the positioning of how you place these onto your yeah. panels is in your pattern as well and then you're as John mentioned so you can see um, the petal the tulip from each side of the table we've done this so there's one facing each of you and then it's quilting as you want to quilt the project um, I've just done straight line quilting on here uh, but you can do as much quilting on here as you want to and then binding to finish mm -hmm. Inviting all your friends around John for a party. Yeah, <laughs> coming to my house for a party. Anyway, uh, make sure you check out, check out, check out, check out. Right. Announcement. Could you be ready for this, please? Oh, madam? yes. Madam. I get called that everywhere I go, you know. Do you? Madam, yeah. because you're bossy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, assertive. Right. In <laughs> Kerry's first hour, we had a rotating cutting mat and a ruler, and they all sold out. The powers that be have been on the call. There's more. There's more in stock now. But wait till you see the size of this rotating cutting mat. It's 18 and a half. Is it 18? 18 by 18. 18 by 18. The ruler's 18 and a half. 18 inches by 18 inches. It's a rotating cutting mat. It's um, self-healing. You can lock it so that on the back, if you lock it, you can lock it so that it, the, the thing sits in. You lock it out so you can use it as a straightforward cutting mat if you don't want it to turn around. You've got your angles on there. But how? I've never seen one that's 18 inches in size. We've, I've only seen 12 or 13 inches at the most. This is 18 inches. But you don't just get the mat. You also get... Now, the ruler you get was not the one that Kerry's got there. Your ruler's slightly shorter. Yours is 18, 18 and a half, and a half inches. 18 and a half by 3 and a half. Kerry's is a little bit longer than that. But it fits perfectly with the mat. And how brilliant. If you watch the uh, for, Kerry's first show today, you'll see when she's a disappearing nine patch, how easy it is to cut your blocks and square off your blocks without actually moving any of the fabric. It sold out completely in her first hour. It's taken us this long. Not this long. We've got it. We, the reason we haven't said anything about it before now is because we had to make sure they were definitely checked in and in stock and ready to go to you. So for $39.99, you can get an 18-inch square rotating cutting mat plus the ruler exclusive to Sewing Street. Make sure you check out on that. Congratulations if you got it. Uh, you, you will get that colour. It is the grey colour. It is the grey colour. It's funny, isn't it? Because somebody messaged me the other day going, my cutting mat's always green. Well, this one's not. This one's grey. Right, are we done? We are. Right, now we're going to go for a break now, but you can keep going through for it. While we're on the break, keep going through for that ruler. I'll just say thank you so much thank indeed. You very much Lovely good. to see you again. When are you in next, you know? 8th of March. 8th of March. 8th of March. I don't know if I'm in that day. We haven't got our March date yet. Um, I will be back. Oh, what, what, what? Through the break, we're going to keep the graphic in. It looked weird over the break, but it's just so you can check out easily. Yeah, exactly. All right, then. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Uh, and I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hi, guys. I'm Becky Alexander Frost, and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffer in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffer when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I 
used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaid's dresses for me and my sister. And basically, I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature, by the way. Um, she said, I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight-year-old my favorite tools or top tips so I have two best friends one's called the bulky sea maid which is this and one is called Quilt Estate. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot, I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Right, just before I start the next hour, I'd, oh, it's less than an hour now, isn't it? 45 minutes. This and this are flying out. I'm going to put it flat on my desk so you can see it from upstairs. There you go. These are Crafter's Dream, right? 18 inches it is. Look, so you've got your inches on here. You've got your 30 degree, your 45 degree, your 60 degree. You've got circles on there if you're going to be doing circles on it. Plus, you get the ruler. Now, your ruler will be 18 and a half inches long. This one's about 24. So your ruler will be that size, but it's big enough to go across this if you're working with this. 39.99. Hannah's going to get a slap after the show, metaphorically, not physically, obviously. Yeah, 39.99. She just came in, she went, oh, your glasses have got fluff on them. Oh no, it's makeup. Anyway, 39.99. How many have I got left? Right, okay, so the new stock, uh, over half of the new stock has gone already, and believe me, we had a lot. Believe me, we had a lot at 39.99. That's not a song, Hannah. That's definitely not a song. Keep going through for that, keep going through. We've got discounted bundles this hour, so make sure you don't miss out. Yeah, I was just checking that that pressing mat wasn't Kerry's own, that was all. 39.99. I might remind you about it again at the end of the show. Let me just put it over here for the time. I tell you what, the back, I love the fact that you can, oh, sorry, I'll come back to talk to you. I love the fact that you can lock it 
So if you don't want to use it as a rotating automatic, you just use it as normal and it won't slip anywhere because there's a little clock underneath it. And also the back is a lovely um, squeegee, so it's going to stick to your table nicely, the backing. Also, when what? Yeah, 39 99 I'm not going to use that one. Yeah, you try slapping me. Yep, okay then. Yes. Uh, right, where am I going? And now Haley's done this hour for you. This is a Haley special, so anything could happen. We're going to crash all the prices bar one, because the, the money's already off that one, I believe. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Right, hang on a second. Let's do this. We love this bundle. So you get half a metre, the screw deep blue and ivory. So you get, I'm in the right place. Yep, there we go. Right, so you get half a metre of this, half a metre of this, half a metre of this, and half a metre of that. If you buy this after midnight tonight, it will cost you £27.96. That's how much it costs. It's gorgeous, this fabric. It's lovely cotton. No! Right, so Haley the Boss has done these. I don't think we'd be allowed to do crashes like this if we were in charge of it. So £27.96, you get all of those. Half a metre of each. Watch this crash. No. 16.96. 16 pounds and 96 pence. That makes it like four pounds. Hang on. That's four into 16 goes four. Four into 96. Four pound 25. Four pound 24 a half a metre. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, are we doing the calculator? Four pound 24. No, it's not that the calculator's slow, Hannah. 16 96 it's only because I trained on a fruit and vegetable when I was 16, that's all. You wouldn't have been allowed anywhere near the fruit and vegetable. Apparently, there's a new market opened in Chester. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to go and have a look when I go next. No, I'm not coming to the farm behind yours. She hasn't got a farm behind her. She's got a pound shop behind her. Yeah. Beautiful. There's also a, a butcher's in the pound shop, but nothing in there's a pound. See, it's not just me. Look, 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 look. All four of those for sixteen ninety six. Check out, check out, check out. Sixteen ninety six. Okay, somehow she's managed to put check out, check out into a Les Miserables song. Uh, Tim Holtz Monochrome. Are there one, two, three, four, five, six fabrics in it? Yep, yeah, I've got the right one. Right here. My friend Johnny Barr put a picture on um, uh, Facebook this week of he was in Aspects of Love, the first uh, cast of Aspects of Love. And uh, he looks like a child. And I remember, at the time we thought I was running a costume department, he was appearing in a West End show. It was like, oh, we're grown up now. And you look at him, he looks like a child. Anyway, here we go. This is lovely. Tim Holtz. Now, this has never been reduced for, but Haley's done it for you. Okay, so 46 pounds and 14 pence is how much this will be after midnight, if there are any left. You do get half a metre of your stars. Half a metre of your numbers. Crash in. £33.14. Oh, excuse me. £13. Was it pennies or... Hang on. Oh, it's just £13. Uh, so it was 40 Sorry, I didn't see the first price. Sorry. Yep, so you saving. £13. Sorry. I'll get there in a minute. Fruit and vegetables worn off now. It's because it's lunch time. I need some cheese. I need some. Do you, know, you know you never see Cheshire cheese anymore. We used to sell Cheshire cheese. You have to wire it down and everything. I went to the supermarket. They think, oh, I fancy some Cheshire cheese. Could I get any? No. Thirty-three pounds and fourteen pence. We'll go back up because we're crashing the prices. They will go back up at midnight. Remember. Huge saving, £13 is what you're saving on that bundle. Gorgeous. Single figures now, you're loving that one. You're loving your Tim Holtz graph paper and numbers and stars. 
Right, okay. Next. Yes, yes, we can. Lilies on blue, lilies on black, and lilies on pink. Colorido went was very popular on pre-order. Now remember, you pay the final price. You don't pay the price you saw. Ready? 14.47. 14 pounds and 47 pence. It's not even five pounds a half meter though. Beautiful, aren't they? Lovely lilies on the pink. Now we also have a discussion about this, about which one we like the best. When we sell them by the half meter, the ones on the black are always the most popular. And yet I love the blue one and the pink one. Look, there you go. You're getting half a meter of each. Colorido, peace lilies. Already cut. If you buy two, they don't come joined together. So you'll, if you buy two, you'll get two pinks, two blacks, two blues. Fourteen pounds and forty-seven pence. Yeah, the bears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The antlers, the red antlers, yeah. Yeah. 14.47. Oh, here we go. I can't find Cheshire cheese anywhere either. Giving up looking, says Julia. Julia, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to go to my, we've got a really lovely farm shop near me where I don't eat meat, but when you buy your meat, they tell you which cow it, well, no, if it's beef, obviously, they tell you which cow it came from or which pig it came from with a picture and everything. I know. But Dulcie quite likes that. Oh no, they've lived a really good, they've lived in the village. It's more, Dulce, more towards Dulce's village than my village, but they've lived in the village. We, no, we have cows in my village, but not in the field behind me. Oh, yesterday it looked like they were digging for oil in the field behind me. They had a big triangular thing, and they were like drilling down like oil, you know, like drilling down into the mud. No, it was an agriculture. I went, don't you worry, I was out there straight away. Pajamas or no pajamas. Excuse me, what are you doing? What are you doing? They were agricultural. They're doing something to do with the mud or something like that. That's what they say now. I'll get home tomorrow and there'll be a housing estate there. You watch. Oh, no, I'm at home tomorrow. There won't be a housing estate tomorrow. I got my pajamas. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, a meter of each of these. You get the antlers and you get the reindeers on purple. I think they're reindeers anyway, aren't they? Stags, stags, stags. So it's a meter of this and a meter of this. You will pay twenty-seven ninety-six for this after midnight. After midnight tonight, you will. But now, oh blimey, how much is she taking off that? Eleven pounds is that nearly? Oh, huge amounts they're taking off these fabrics. Yeah, no, look. So you get a meter of this. And a metre. That's, no, there's only half it. There's the whole metre there, look. There's your metre of that. There's your metre of this. I'm thinking waistcoats. I'm thinking... Oh, I don't know. Something else Scottish. Sporran. Sixteen ninety six. If you like a themed house. Oh, Tesco sells Cheshire cheese, says June. No, June, I was in Tesco's. I was in Tesco's. Yeah, I go to Tesco's for the basics. And then I go to Waitrose for the posh. Barato, I get my Barato from Waitrose. Yeah. <laughs> now I buy my toilet rolls and my things like that from Tesco's. <laughs> oh, listen, you know the shirts I ordered? <laughs> no sign. No idea where they are. Don't think I'll ever see those again. Right, moving on. Oh, here we go. I, I buy Cheshire cheese direct from Cheddar Gorge. Now, Cheddar Gorge isn't in Cheshire. It's matured in the caves and it's delicious. Oh, Joe, that sounds like... So if I just if I just write Cheshire cheese, Cheddar Gorge, will it come... Will I find it? 
I only like it because it reminds me of childhood. I must have to get it and go, oh. Sainsbury's for Cheshire cheese. Oh, look, everybody's saying now. Sainsbury's for Cheshire cheese. No, I don't look properly. Oh, I don't want it prepackaged though, Jan. I want it cut off the block. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Marks and Spencer's Cheshire cheese and also Ricardo's got it. Oh, my goodness. Cheshire cheese. Is that the white crumbly one? Yes. Next. Yep, got it. So this is like, the, now you think this is a panel, it's not. This is half a metre of fabric, this one. So you get half a metre of this one. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? The sticker came off and then landed back on him. So you get half a metre of that one. Then you get half a metre of your leaves on black and half a metre of your leaves. Was £16.47. £6 off. £6 off £10.47. Just need to get those shelves cleared for all the new fabrics coming in. Lancashire Crumbly, Wensleydale are similar to Cheshire. Thanks, Jan. It's only a, a, a momentary memory thing I thought of. No, they're not testing for fracking in my field, Carol. It's fine. It was just two men. and It, was, it wasn't a great big machine. It was two farmers in wellies. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the size of an oil rig. It was, only, it was just like this three poles and a bit of a bucket going down yes it was it wasn't um, it wasn't high tech at all anyway 1047 we'll go back up to 1647 after the break uh, not after the break <laughs> be a long break till midnight uh, <laughs> I thought I was on Cracker Jack then for some reason be nice to have a break wouldn't it when I move to Aberdeen, I can't get it anywhere, so I buy it when I'm back in Sunderland from Morrison's. Well, it seems everybody's got it then, apart from the one I was in. And Morrison's too difficult to get to because it's down round past the station round that way. There we go. It's next. There's not one. It's on here. Oh, where's Starbucks? Is that Morrison's? Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's the big bundle. Is it a metre? No, it feels like more than that. Whoa! Two and a half metres of the yellow dots. Right, 29.95. Better than half price this is going to. £12.95. £12.95. Um, that's not even three... Uh, hang on five into that that's not even three pounds a half meter that you are saving 17 pounds i think the farmers have to take soil samples every year oh that's what it'll be soon thank you and there were no sheep all the sheep are sausages now well no no the, the pretty ones have been kept for next year to make the babies but the, you know. oh i would say sausages you can get lamb sausages Oh, uh, lamb curry, Hannah's having tonight. What's it called? Rabangus Joshi. Yeah, Rogan Joshi. Uh, yeah, Josh Rogan. Josh Rogan. Uh, 12.95. There's two and a half metres there. Two and a half metres. Is it a takeaway? You're cooking it. Oh, she's cooking it from scratch. Have you got all the herbs and spices and everything? Oh, you just put curry powder in, like in the olden days, like in the 1970s. 12.95. Does he never cook then? She cooks from scratch every night. I imagine he likes chips with everything though, doesn't he? What's next? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, this one. Oh, there's another sticker here. I'll put it on there. Right, this is lovely. It's delightful, this. So, oh, it's called delightful. So this is Love Hearts. 
Then you've got your flowers on stripes and your flowers on stripes. Oh, that's a pretty bundle, isn't it? 22.47 is how much it should cost you, one and a half metres. Chicka chicka, 22.47. Oh, 14. She's taking seven pounds off that. Blimey, these are good discounts, aren't they? Hayley's done these for you. She's not in today. She'll be watching from home. Fourteen forty-seven. Keep going through for all of these. They're fantastic. Oh, if I'd known they were going to be this good, these deals, I'd have shouted about it a bit more often. That's all right, Hannah. Yeah. Thanks, Hannah. They're such good deals. She said they are. Half meter of each of those. I'm not doing woo. The plate. Oh, no, it's not off that one, is it? Oh, it's not off that one either. I'll just put that there. It's not even very sticky. It could have been here for weeks. Right, yo. This one here. This is a lovely colour. Printed in Japan for stoff fabrics, 29.95. You get two and a half metres. Oh, two and a half metres in this bundle. Better than half price. $29.95? No, $12.95. 12 for two and a half meters of fabric. Excuse me. Excuse me. Two and a half meters of fabric. Look, it's incredible for $12.95. Seventeen pounds off that one. Seven. It's lovely colour, isn't it? Do you know what'd be good for a backing? That wouldn't it? Two and a half meters backing of a something. Backing of a something. I know. It was full of ideas. Backing of something. Make a nice baby quilt out of it. You wouldn't see it when it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't want to. Right, okay, okay, okay. Have I told you this, right? One of my cats was sick on the rug upstairs, right? Like yesterday. And I was like, oh, it's got grass in it, right? They don't go out. And I, I went around the house looking at all the plants. There's no plants with long, thin blades of grass on it. Anyway. No, I don't know. Anyway, they were fine. They were eating their tea and everything, but it was fine. Right, moving on. Oh, no, I don't know what that's going. Ooh. Yep. I have indeed. These are glow-in-the-dark fabrics. We're going to show you what they look like from the website. <laughs> oh, not five of these, you won't. 13.98. They're both, they're both, um, was it on that one? Oh, 1398. These are glow in the dark. You get half a meter of each. Chicka chicka. Not 1398. Oh, six pounds off. Six pounds off. Oh, what was that noise for? Oh, that was excited noise. Blimey. At seven pound ninety eight. Oh, seven ninety. Keep going through. Keep going through. Glow in the dark. I've just shown you glow in the dark. Oh, I've got all that to come when I let the cats out. They're going to be bringing in mice and frogs and all sorts, aren't they? Hi, John. Is the psychedelic yellow dog fabric extra wide? No, Claire. I don't think so. Let me have a look. It's a two and a half meter bundle. I think this one's just, four. that's 44 inches wide, I think that one, isn't it, look. Oh. Yeah, it is 44, it felt, felt a bit wider, that. 
It's a nice big bundle of two and a half metres, that. Oh, excuse me, my only nose. Yeah, Claire, you bought this one. You won't get this one, don't worry. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I've said, it's because since I switched the aircon off, we've gone a bit sniffy now. Someone's got cheap perfume, I think that's what it is. Cave, I've seen that. Oh, there it is. Now, it's an unusual bundle, this, because you've got chips, you've got banana plantation, and you've got oranges. Might not necessarily put them together in a project, but they're good for your stash. 22.47. Better slow down. I'm going to buy these too quickly. 14.46. Seven pounds and a penny off. No, eight pounds and a penny off, was it? Oh, I can't have forgotten now what the first number was. Yeah, seven pounds and a penny, I was right. It was seven pounds and a penny, I'd just forgotten the first number, that was all. Oh, wait. Eight pounds and a penny. Eight pounds and a penny, I do apologise. Yep. Oranges. Chips. And banana plant. Oh, food. Or oh, food. You do like what? Potato tops. What's that? Oh, I love hash browns. Oh. Are there little squares of hash brown? I think they'll be full of fat somehow, Hannah. Yeah, a little nugget full of fat. Yeah, but it's only miniature if you only eat one or two, not if you eat 20 of them. Yeah, we chill, like, that can't be part of your diet, surely. No. £14.46. So she buys them on special occasions. Any day with an A in it. Fourteen, fourteen. Where in your village do they sell pancakes? Three half metres. She got in from work on Sunday and went to a dessert shop after Steph had cleaned all weekend. Aren't they lovely? Did you pay for the pancakes? Yeah. Gorgeous. Three K fabrics there. Uh, for fourteen forty six, less than five pounds a half meter. I have got farm friends got in two different colours. <laughs> okay, which of these two would you say was bright? I think she means this one. <clears throat> so you get your smiling animals, your smiling horses, and your smiling pigs. There must be another animal in there. And a smiling cow. You get it on the sky blue. You get it on the lavender. You get your chicky chick chickens on green. You get your carrots on blue. And you get your carrots on yellow. This will cost you £34.95 at midnight tonight. Yours will not have uh, tape measures across the bottom. £22.95. £22.23. £12 off. Twelve pounds off that bundle. Yeah, you make a little kiddie's quilt out of that, couldn't you? One, two, three, four, five, two and a half meters. Or oh, you can make little dungarees, little grow. Uh, what's they called? What are they called? Those all-in-one things. Thank you, baby grow. No, you know you stretch it like dungaree baby grow. Or when they sleep in, what's that called? Yeah. Twenty-two ninety-five. It's fantastic, isn't it? Less than five pounds for half a meter. That good quality cotton as well. This Whistler Studios. Twenty-two ninety-five. How do you know these things? Carrots, carrots. Did you ever tell us that who it was? Uh, 
Uh, happy, happy animals and chickens, multicolored chickens. Twenty-two ninety-five. Oh. Okay, I've got it in a different colourway now. Got oh, it's not. You don't get as much in this next bundle. There's only one. Oh, one less fabric. I thought you said there's only one left. Right. So you get happy animals on red. You get your chickens on black, your chick oh I like that one, chickens on red and your carrots on white. No, 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 but look, the, on all the others, the chickens are multicoloured, but they're only yellow on that one. I didn't think I'd like that, but I do. Right, not 27.96. At seven, no, yeah, it's seven, nine pounds off. I don't know how she's worked out her figures, but she's knocked a lot of money off these, hasn't she? She's gone loop-de-loop -loop on this. Love this. Love the multicoloured chickens. Oh, I was about to say that one's got a number three on it. It hasn't. It's, it's wing. <laughs> well, look. I thought that had a number three written on its, on its body. Go and see the number three. That's got a number three on it. That's got a W on it. That's got an M and M on it. Have they? Would you, uh, do you know that though for certain? That's lovely. I love that colourway. Eighteen pounds and ninety six pence. Oh, keep going through, keep going through on that one. Move it on. Now, what's next then? Words, Hannah, words. Here we go. Yeah, uh, this is the Conservatoire. It's uh, Monica, uh, isn't it Monica this one? Yeah, Monica Forsberg for Anna Maria Horner's Conservatory. Beautiful, look at that, that's the pink one. But then we also have it in a bigger print on the green. Now, I'm not saying you'd necessarily use these together, but what gorgeous fabrics for your collection. And then, the flowers on lilac. So, and all of this is £20 and 97 pence normally. Ooh, £12.97! £12.97! half metre. That's brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. That's brilliant for Anna Maria designer fabric. I've got my earpiece keeps breaking. Elliot's supposed to have ordered me a new wire for my new one. No, exactly. I'll just find out where you get them from and order my own. Can't bother waiting. Beautiful. £12.97. The lilac flowers. The green homes, and then the pink homes and bushes and flowers and hearts. Very popular and pre. Well, I'm not surprised you get an Anna Marie Horner, Monica von Forsberg. Not von, there's no von. Monica Forsberg. Yeah, she's just called Monica Forsberg. <laughs> £12.97 for half a metre. Is he? Dan Morris will be on your screens after me. <laughs> and all these words are spilling out. One, two, reflection. I'm presuming it's this one. I love these. 
But this is it now. I don't think there's anything left but this. 13 98 is what you'd normally pay for this. Oh! I have no idea what price they're going to. 8 £4.50 a half metre. We're just left, isn't it? 4 49 a half metre. Love, love, love. This is my favourite one. All these little flashes of turquoise in it. That can, that kind of, um, oh, I don't know what words you're allowed to use anymore. You know, like cowboys and the people they used to fight. They're kind of colourways. Native. I don't know what the word, I don't know what you're allowed to call them anymore. To what? No, no, it's Native Americans. Native Americans. Or Seven Brides of Seven Brothers. We used to do a lot of fabric like that in Seven Brides of Seven Brothers. Yeah. Except, yeah, but then you have to, because one of the characters in Seven, in Seven Brides of Seven Brothers, oh, no, is he in Oklahoma? Or he might be in Oklahoma. Anyway, he's, he's got a carpet bag and he sells elixir and things like that. Anyway, lovely, £8.98. It's only because I heard a song from Oklahoma on the radio yesterday and I got all emotional and nostalgic for my days in theatre. No, it's fine. You can dance as well. You don't need to, no, no. Switch the light off. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, there is in, yeah. Listen, when you work with Munch, it's, the gallery cams on more than it, him, than it miss on me. Next, you have no choice. Go. Yeah, Lewis and Irene winter nap. This lovely, it's all the bears and the squirrels and the foxes all having a sleep. So you get half a metre of this one. It's two and a half metres, you get five fabrics. Then you get the ones on the orange. Then you get the falling leaves, falling leaves on two different colours. And then you get like the rainbow leaves there. £34.95. Right, Adele, what does that say? After looking to John, it's lovely. My favourite is the same as yours. Adele, what are you looking at? What, Cheshire cheese? No, I think, I think we're moving on to something else now. I'm wondering if Adele's watching the Liberty Hour. <laughs> 30, <laughs> 34.95. Oh, it's crashing. I thought that was the price. At night. That's four pounds a half metre for Lewis and Irene fabric. Oh, okay. It wasn't meant to be 1995, but Hannah's put that in wrong. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, these fabrics. She's talking about these fabrics. I did, Adele, I did a play once on a Cheshire drama course called Royal Hunt of the Sun, and that was all about Atahualpa and the Aztecs and everything. I don't know if you're allowed to say Aztecs anymore. I don't know what you're allowed to and not allowed to say anymore, so I apologise if I offend anybody. At 1995, for all of this, all of this, huh? Yeah, you saved £15. £15. And you're paying 1995. Four pounds, less than four pounds a half metre for designer fabric. Fabrica. That's my audition piece for Call My Agent. Fabrica. Well done if you come in with this. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. There's loads. I've got no idea what that is. Yep. 
Okay, this one, you get half a meter of the orange, half a meter of the lime, and half a meter of the sorbet. Should be 20 pounds 97. Oh, oh. Go on then. Eight pounds. Eight pounds savings. You did that without the calculator, everybody. So half a meter of the pink by Tamara Kate. Half a meter of the lime. It's little, uh, hang on, I'll show you on the orange one because you can see it better on there. It's like, um, it's uh, like moths and poison ivy. Is it poison ivy? And dragonflies. That's why it's called wingspan, you see. Might not be what? It's not ivy. It's not even poison ivy. Deadly nightshade, that's what I meant. Deadly nightshade. Yeah. Anyway, by the time you chopped it up and moved it around and done half square triangles with it, be very full of movement. So £12.97 for that, that, and that. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, moving on. What's the matter? She's talking to herself. Cat's memory. Right, cat's on cream, cat's on pink, cat's on blue. We love this one. The attitude. Catitude, even. Oh, not 20 pounds and 97 pence. You get a half meter of each. Remember, already cut. 12.97. Now, maybe the lady you mentioned the other day about having, going to, at, at, not attitude. No, that's the wrong word. What was she got? Agility classes with her daughters, right? Maybe she could take the cats as well. Or maybe could make reusable poo bags. No, at the cat show, not the dog show. Twelve ninety-seven, or you could be ironic, and you could make bags with cats on and go to the dog show. I oh, know. Twelve pound ninety-seven for three pieces, each half a meter, forty-four inches wide, hundred percent cotton, machine washable. Not a fat quarter; it is half a meter. It feels uh, like a poplin, this, rather than a heavy crafting weight. Gorgeous. 12.97. I've got what? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hang on now. One's got more in it than the other. Metre, half. Half, metre. That's confusing. Yeah, metre and a half in total. Yeah, metre of the sand and half a metre of the lavender. 20.97 is how much you'll pay for this after midnight. But today, at 10 to 1, you pay £13.97. Chicka chicka, boom, boom. So how much do you save, Han? No, come on then. Exactly. John, I've got to go. Can you remind me when you're back in, please? Uh, Princess, I'm not in tomorrow, but I'm in Thursday with Jules Fallon and Victoria Carrington, and then back again on Saturday with Stuart. Thirteen ninety-seven. Or just moving on. Well, where are you going next then? I've got Winky Pops. I've got Riley Blake Mermaid, Mermaids. Mermaids. Right, this is a big bundle. Riley Blake. So you've got the Mermaids Diving. Hang on. Is that on there? I've never noticed that before. No. That silver. 
No, that silver. <laughs> I was going to say I've never seen silver on there before. It's not got any silver on it. It's you know the old fa the old labels we used to have that were silver. It's a little bit of one of those. And I thought you got all these goldfish in a silver blob. Anyway, so you get the mermaids diving. You get the essence of Ralph Lauren in the purp uh, the blue and the green. You get the um, pennants or tenants. You get the flowers. You get the um, spots and squints. You get the mermaids. Half a meter of each. Three meters of fabric. How much was it? $44.94? £29.94. £15. What's the matter? Okay. Do you know what tomorrow is, don't you? Giraffe day. Is Wendy Orlando on by any chance? I wonder why the... Oh, I'll tell you later. Yes, there's all these giraffe things on the tables. I was like, what's all this for? $29.94. She's got a giraffe quilt. She's got a giraffe toy. $29.94. Fantastic saving. You get all of that. It's five pounds. It's five pounds for half a meter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, five pounds. That's just less than five pounds for half a meter. Winky Pops next. I've got two Winky Pops, actually. I've got a big one and a small one. Okay. This one first. So in this Winky Pops from Australia, you get the one in shutters, the one in grey, the stripy line, no, not stripy lines, wavy lines, butterflies, books, whatever it is, in two different colours, and the spots. Forty-four ninety-four goes to twenty-six pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, ninety-four pence. Ninety-four pence. Thank you. Ninety-four pence. Three meters of fabric. That from Modar Winky Pop from Australia. Eighteen pounds is what you've just saved if you buy that before midnight tonight. Beautiful. 4.49 a half a metre now. 4.49 a half metre for Moda Winky Pop Fabrics. Yeah, Jen Kingwell. Lovely. Now, Hannah's put this, Haley's put all the other bundles together and Hannah's done this one. So it's already, the reduced price is already through. This, remember I said there's one that we're not crashing. The, what should it be? Oh, okay, then we'll just have a look then. Put the graphic, oh, 40, that's £7.50. You've saved two thirds, no, a third of the price. You've saved 30% off, that is. Uh, I don't know why she's done this one, but she's done it. She built it, you're getting it at 14 47 Really? Twenty-one nine ten. If we get it there, you've written in the thingy. Fourteen forty-seven. Less than five pounds for half a meter of fabric. Oh, here we go. They are we wheeling something around upstairs. Right. I've got the, these by the bundle. These are gorgeous. I love these. Got the one with three in here. These are Japanese fabrics. Twenty nine ninety seven is how much you pay for this normally. You get a shimamoin striped yarn dyed three designs. Eight pounds off. Eight pounds off. Are oh, you not put the saving in that one? Oh, these aren't you. You've not done these. Gorgeous. Keep going through for that. Got one more bundle of two here, if you just want the two. The aubergine and the mustard. Ooh, that sounds quite nice, actually. Aubergine and mustard. I love, a, I love an aubergine. When I'm making my brie, I love an aubergine. 
1998, not today. Cash. Oh. 1498. How much have we saved there? Fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Anyway, moving on. Right, I just need to remind you about this because these are going to sell out if we're not careful. We launched this today from Kerry's show. It's an 18-inch, oh, this one's been locked, an 18-inch uh, rotating cutting mat. Look. I've never seen an 18-incher before. Plus, not only do you get the self-healing cutting mat marked up in inches with your 30, 45 and your 60 degree lines, your circles, don't iron on it, keep it flat. You also get a ruler. Now, your ruler will be 18 and a half inches, so that's your ruler there. 18 and a half inches. Brand new today, exclusive to Second Street. The exclusivity is the grey one. The grey one. Yeah. 39.99. Now, we sold out earlier. We got loads more back in. How many have I got left? Right. So that 15. Got 15 left once you've all checked out. Yeah. Okay, let's try, oh no, right, let's, mm. just be careful, all I'm going to say is be careful, it's going to sell out, uh, two minutes to one, it's going to sell out, so be careful if you're watching on replay, just check, to, to, to ring to check availability, look on the website, shall we, whilst you're checking out on that, because the time's running out with us, oh it doesn't even say it on the, on the graphics, Ready? Tomorrow's menu. Hey, uh, <laughs> Hannah created those giraffes for you earlier. I think they're from different tribes, those two, aren't they? It's, anim it's, it's giraffe day tomorrow. So you've got animal fabrics at 8 o'clock with Vix. This is Vix tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, 9 o'clock, they've got Gerald the giraffe quilt with Wendy Orlando. 10 o'clock, sewing room tools. <clears throat> 11 o'clock, Giraffes in the Tree Fabric Collection with Wendy Orlando. And then at 12 o'clock, she's got Jeffrey the Giraffe. I wonder how well he knows Gerald. Jeffrey the Giraffe toy with Wendy Orlando. She's designed it. She's designed that and the quilt. Jeffrey and Gerald and the tree. Oh, is that them on the menu? No, they don't look that. They don't look like that. Don't, 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 don't say that because they don't look like that. Right, uh, now I'm not in, obviously Vixen tomorrow, I'm in on Thursday when I've got Jules Fallon, debut show, and Victoria Carrington, then Stuart's in on Friday, and then I'm in again on Saturday as the presenter, and Stuart is um, the expert, the demonstrator. So, no, 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 I couldn't, I think that sounded weird, didn't it? Anyway, thanks ever so much for your company today, make sure you check out, especially on this, because they're going to sell out. Uh, enjoy Vix tomorrow and I will see you on Thursday.